Yeah, chat, your Xenoblade's bigger? Hmm. I'm willing to fight on that. I don't know what that means. You guys want to play some video games? I'm sorry, I, I had to start the VOD rereading that comment, so that would be the beginning of the VOD. <laughs> sorry, VOD watchers. They, they said that beforehand, and I had to, like, pretend like it was brand new. I got you with the bit. It is 2 a.m. I am fresh out of a cardio workout, and it is time for some Xenoblade. Tonight, we're storming Galahad Fortress with a new battle theme. And that's right, Mechanical Rhythm. It's probably one of my favorite standard battle themes in the entire series. And, uh, well, more lore. Shit's gonna get crazy. And Nanyel, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Can we turn it off in the menu? Wait, what, what are we turning off in the menu? Oh, can't wait to see what went down last time. Oh, man. What did go? Oh, yeah, that's right. We, uh... We reached the sword. We were on Sword Valley. Actually, we did a lot last stream now that I think about it. It was, it was like... It was... Was last stream the Prison Island stream chat? We did like Prison Island. We did... Uh, we went back to Magna. Then we did uh, Valak Arm. And then we did Sword Valley. <laughs> Holy shit. We did a lot last time, actually. So uh, tonight, I don't know how far we're going to get, but we're definitely going to go through Galahad if I have the means and the power to do so. By the way, I've been playing uh, Lies of Pee Pee. I've been, I, I, I've been, I have been playing Lies of Pee Pee. That game's actually really good. It's really, really fun so far, actually. I don't know if it's going to like stunt in quality at any point, but that game's been really fun. I want to just mention one thing. It's not really a spoiler, but I'm just going to say that um, uh, our, our boy Pinocchio, or P, if you want to call him that, uh, he has he has an organ like a like a mechanical heart They called it his P organ and I was just like you mean the bladder and no, nah, it's not that it's just it's just P It's just the P organ. You can upgrade his P organ. He's what I'm not lying. I laughed out loud I was like damn now. I kind of wish chat saw that It's called the P organ the porgan. Yeah <laughs> The organ fuck God But yeah Oh, we're into dialogue, eh? Hang on, the let me just... Is in here somewhere. Let's get looking. Let me just make sure I can Keep see chat proper. I'm ready for anything. So yeah, Fiora's here. Any Mechon that tries to mess with us. We killed Metal Face, by the way. M well, Metal Face kind of did it to himself, but we killed Metal Face. And we're inside... So just cool. to really sum up things really quick. We found out that one of the face mechs is Fiora. Um, she doesn't know who we are. She doesn't remember who she is. Uh, she saw Shulk and she's like, am I experiencing feelings for the boy? Uh, which, very strange, because it's like, you should know him. Um, then she flew off. We found the leader of all the Mechon. His name is Egil. Egil. We haven't seen him, like, full. He's inside a giant, like, face Mechon. What? Yeah, Tiny, you missed a lot of stuff. So, Fiora's there. She has a mechanical body. She's one of the face Mechon. Then the one who killed her at the beginning of the game... We find out that that's Mumkar, which is like Dunban's shitty friend who ran away at the beginning of the game. And uh, we fought him. So yeah, we killed Metal Face. He's dead. We found out Fiora is inside the fortress here. Uh, this is the Mechon like stronghold. This is where they're manufactured and stuff. And uh, this is on the sword of the Mechonis. So we just reached the end of the sword, the hilt basically, and we're inside the fortress now. So there you go, everyone. This is the first one I managed to catch. I want to say you make very cool music and are funny. Keep up the amazing work. Yo, Bob, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you for coming by just to say, you know, kind words. That always means a hell of a lot to me uh, from the YouTube lads. And um, if you do choose to stay, I hope you have a lovely night. But if not, hey, thank you so much for coming by and saying that, man. And, uh, you know, um, I, I really do appreciate y'all. This community is amazing. Uh, speaking of good music, though. Let me show you a real banger. Uh, it's the battle music in this area. And Nameless Nugget, I love that name. Welcome in, hope you're doing well. Is that Slippery Collision? It is me, it is me. Welcome in, Ralph, hope you're doing well, bud. Oh wait, this isn't it, this isn't it, this is not the song. I've been fooled, it's the surprise, this is the surprise version, damn it. I, I promise you'll get your mechanical rhythm tonight, chat. Um, and, oh my god, uh, it's QB, thank you so much for the 20 months. Almost two years you're nearing on. It's funny, I, I actually thought it, it's been longer, funny enough. I mean that in a good way. <laughs> but oh my god, wait, why is he dead already? What the f- what? Um, thank you so much for the 20 months, QB. I very much appreciate it. And uh, thank you only, Smiles, for the uh, almost three years. Damn, both of y'all are uh, hitting some big numbers. Damn, this tweet doing numbers. Thank you so much, everyone. And I hope you enjoy the, the, the vibes tonight and all the lore and stuff that comes from tonight. It's gonna be, it's gonna be some shit. Mr. Streams Kitendo, I missed having you here. How you been? 
Get to see you as always. I hope you have been pogging, as the kids say. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna Minato bust this guy. Hang on. There we go. W what is that yellow thing in your party? Wait, did you miss Ricky as well? You missed Ricky? He's one of the best partners of all time. He's the legendary hero pawn. He's 40 years old. He has like 11 children. He's in debt. And that is why he's with us. I, I shit you not. That's all, that's all real lore. He's a 40 year old man with a wife and kids. Um, but he's still baby. He's, he's, he's definitely still baby. It's just, you know, <laughs> he's just an old baby. <laughs> we love him. We love him. It's so funny to see people come in and like they, they miss like a stream or two and they're like, wait, what, what, what's like happening? It's always the funniest thing because Xenoblade just goes places like every goddamn playthrough you have of this. Just a bunch of wild shit will just come up. But yeah, I hope you're all doing very well tonight. Uh, jeez. Oh, wait, I, I remember there is something I want to show you guys today that's really funny. In fact, I might even just like open with it just now. Once I beat this fight, I, I went down the weirdest rabbit hole ever chat. And the funny part is it was related to you at first. I was trying to find funny clips to show you guys of other Xenoblade games to kind of like tease it to be like, hey, this is what you have to look forward to, you know? And I, oh boy, do I show you now or do I wait? Hmm, maybe when I hit the next point, I'll show you. Related to you? So yeah, I was just trying to find things that would like make you guys giggle and stuff. And I ended up finding just the craziest shit like ever. Um, I'm probably overhyping it, but it was, it, it's not blushing. No, it's not even the clip chat. That's why this is funny. It has nothing to do with the clip, but it's on that video. And it's the, like the one. I, 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 I can't explain. I'll have to show you in a minute. Let me just let me just get to the next waypoint. And uh, you, you, you're not expecting it. That's all I'm going to say. But yes, it's a comment thread on a Xenoblade video. Is it what I think it is? No, it's not that. But that's that was also really wild, though. It's not the Twitter thing. That being said, the Twitter thing, I guess we could talk about that first. Um, I, I, Like, I've always had this talk before, too, where it's like, hey, fan service... It's okay to complain about it a little bit, you know, because like sometimes fan service is way overdone. It's kind of shitty sometimes, actually. Um, but there's other times where it's just a character being attractive and some people like do like a holier than thou kind of thing where they're like, I'm better than you because I hate the shit out of this. Let me tell you how much I hate it, even though no one asked me and uh, how you yourself are a piece of shit if you like this thing because it has like attractive character. That That's when it's a problem. And I've always had a thing where it's like if someone's doing that, they have skeletons in their closet. Like, it, 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 it's it's sometimes usually, at least I've met people like that around, it's always been a projecting thing. Um, to just like, tr try to like down other people because you don't like a thing. Um, anyways, the reason I'm mentioning all of this is because, and this is going to be really, really weird. And I, I did see the thread, it was trending. This guy said that everyone who liked, basically liked Xenoblade 2, uh, were all kind of sick and a bunch of, you know, files. And, uh, someone, uh, because the guy had his whole full name on Twitter, which, by the way, is a legal obligation if you were convicted of something, but it could also just be someone showing their name. Either way, someone looked it up, found out he's a registered, you know, a you-know-what offender, and, um, he deleted his account. They were like, this you, and, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the projection was crazy. And, and then it went trending, so... <laughs> That, that was just... I, I couldn't believe that, bro. I yeah, that's just... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the internet... The internet's just a place where it's like, damn, if, if I didn't have it as a job, I would be hiding from this place. <laughs> I would be hiding pretty quick. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. I, 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 would, I would get over my chronic uh, uh, internet addiction. Probably. Maybe. I believe in me enough. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I need another chain attack. Bad. Oh, I need another one. Bad. Oh, no. Foolish. Welcome in, dude. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Let's get to see ya. I am in pain. It's not, it's not looking good tonight. It's not looking good right now. Oh, it's all up to Ricky. Come on, little man. Yeah, baby power. Baby power. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, let me... Oh, I, I healed the wrong person. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Also, the volume might be a little low at the moment, just because there's gonna be a, there's a lot of voices when there's a lot of things going on here. I'm just trying to keep it relatively chill for now, <clears throat> and then I'll turn it up for the big fights. 
Um, the dog hurt his left leg on his back and he had to hop. It's so silly. I feel so bad. Wait, the dog? Dog? What dog? Your dog? Oh, I'm sorry to hear about your dog if they got hurt. Also, speaking of uh, animals though, someone said they're getting a new kitten or something tomorrow? I missed who said that, but congrats on the kitty. Hell yeah. We appreciate animal love around here. So hell yeah on getting that pet. It was you? Oh, Tiny. Hell yeah. Well, I bet you must be super excited. I still think I want a, um, a cat one day. I, I would either get like a cat or like... Actually, I don't know. I, I like animals a lot. I would get like a cat or a dog or like a bird or a hamster. But I'm, I'm scared of getting a hamster because I'm like, those things will just like see like a, a floating dandelion seed and be scared enough to like possibly die. Like, I, I don't want to risk that, you know? <laughs> they're, they're too precious. I have like a million saved like TikToks of them and like m most of my TikTok recommendations are like kitten videos and like, uh, and like hamster videos. And whatever, like, I, I had, which one of you, it was Kitendo. Kitendo sent me some, like, really funny skit thing as well. So I have, like, that in my repertoire as well. Oh, God, I got to fight another group. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's a high level. Can I, can I lure anyone out? Hold on. You want a ferret? Oh, I love ferrets. Noodly boys. Yes. Oh, or like a chinchilla as well. Oh, I would love a chinchilla. Oh, man. This part is hilarious. Oh, this shit here. This shit's a nightmare. This shit's a nightmare. We can handle this, though. Here comes the Legion. I got this. I got this. Check out the Buster. You ready? I'll send you more cute funny stuff. Do it. Do it. I look forward to it, Kitendo. I say you have good taste in the funnies. Okay. Let's see. Good. 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 Game Slash. Perfect. That does a shitload. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Think you could take me? Wait, Mel, how do you know about the Morardanians? <laughs> you I'm so proud of you. How do you know? Also, welcome in, Mel. I hope you're doing very well. Uh, you didn't miss anything yet. We just went into the fortress after like the last stream. And I kinda filled some chat in on how uh on how um Fiora is alive. And that Mumcar was uh metal face and we killed him. And the reaction was fantastic. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Emo would. Yeah, Emo would bring that meme up. I forgot we talked about that during the collab as well. Oh, shit. God. Emo's great, honestly. Is he still doing his, like, his uh, 100 million hour stream? I gotta catch some more of it soon. Emo's honestly a homie. It, it, it's weird. I always call him my Australian adjacent, but I honestly, I like, the more we talk, the more true it ends up being. We have, like, a shitload in common. Oh, he's on now. Oh, hell yeah. Well, he should be on after this, too, then. So I'll probably just raid him. One billion hour stream win. Yo, real talk, though. You know what? I'll do it. But I'll have to have Ima as a guest. Only 44 hours to go. Really? Oh, he's been, he's been powering through. Ah, oh, shit. That bastard's still there. All right, hold up. I was like, good to stream and I was liking it. No, he's, he's honestly a great vibe. Really cool, dude. Hey Shady, I've been a lurker or a VOD watcher here for about a year, but I want to thank you in chat for your entertainment and good times. Well, first of all, amazing name, Painfully Lemon. And second of all, thank you so much. Honestly, it means a lot that, um, that, you know, a lurker would even come in and say hi and, and, and say that as well. I I'm really glad you've been enjoying the streams, but it also makes me happy that you enjoy the community as well, because they are a group of really good lads and funny lads. Um, sometimes they might drive me a little insane. But I kind of like when they do that. <laughs> you all are, you all are incredibly lovely. Because the thing is, I drive chat insane more often than they drive me insane. In fact, I think the reason why they would even troll me is because I troll them. And that's the kind of vibe I like around here, you know. But yeah, seriously, thank you so much for coming on and saying that, dude. Trust me, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you would. I guess you would as a lurker. Hey, but for real though, thank you so much for. Uh, coming on by and saying that honestly tonight's just been already full of good vibes and just compliments from people and i, I really do appreciate it from you all um yeah i actually uh i'm glad you've been enjoying the vibes because uh <laughs> october is going to be full of even more vibes special vibes and by that i mean obviously it's spooky month so i have a few things planned i saw some recommendations in the in the discord if you guys have any more for spooky month any more recommendations feel free to let me know in the uh, stream suggestions chat. 
and I will uh, I will keep them in mind. There will be funny spooky as well, like good palate cleanser spooky. So you won't have to be like scared the entire uh, the entire month. Don't worry. I will also probably have things that are like ironically spooky, like oh, you know, maybe the Tingle dating game happens next month, or like Zelda CDI. Those are horror in their own way. So you know. Oh shit, we can't heal him. Oh, we can't bring him back. This is bad. Ricky's gonna have to take the brunt of the force, the, the brunt of the damage here, for a little bit, just a little bit. Gotta keep roly polying, my little man. You got this. Okay, we can make this work. We can make this work as long as homie doesn't aggro on me. Ricky can tank it. Ricky's got almost like ten thousand health. Eating one? Ah oh, shit, he's back on me. Oh, that's not good. Ricky, please. Ricky, please, please, Ricky, turn around. Oh, I need the shadow eye, please. Yes, yes. Go, 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 go. Eat shit. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm turning the volume back up. Hold on. Yeah, I was thinking about that 32. That That's definitely a segment I want to do again. So if you guys don't know, I used to have a segment where I went through like really shitty and also kind of good video game creepypastas. Um, and also video game or like Halloween ROM hacks for like Mario 64. Some were good. Some were genuinely just so edgy and funny. Um, so we can do that again. And La La Land, three years. God damn. Big number, man. Thank you so much for the three years uh, worth of love and support and i uh, hope you continue to enjoy your time around here man you have now grown a second mouth on your chest you've been exposed to the shadiation poisoning um hope you enjoy thank you so much yeah the day crew scrubs one that one was insane that one was insane we mutate yeah sonny the longer you're here you get exposed to the shadiation yeah, shadification also works mel that's fine Oh, wait, actually, you know what? Okay, we have enough people here now. Let me show you this rabbit hole I was talking about. This thing I saved for you all. So I can finally get this shit off of my screen. Okay, so I was trying to find clips of future Xenoblade games to tease you all on things to come. I wasn't going to show you guys yet. I was going to show you guys near the end of this game. But I found one clip, and this clip has nothing to do with what I want to talk about. All right, but Hank, just, just, just bear with me on this one. So... Wait, hang on. That's a bad crop. One second. Okay. So, um, actually, wait. Sorry. Let me grab the internet browser instead. So, this one's called, you know, Noah Slipped. It's a character from Xenoblade, you know, 3. That's Mio. I love Mio. Very much so. Um, but yeah, it was just a funny clip, right? I scroll down and, uh, you know, 608 views, whatever. By the way, after I show this, like, don't, don't, don't be, don't, don't come here and, like, be weird in the comments or anything. I just wanted to show this comment thread because this was the wildest thing I've ever seen. So it was just, when are you going to do Fire Emblem Engage and Armored Core 6 fires a Rubicon? Just a simple, fine, fine question, right? Whatever. Content related question. The next comment, listen, dumbass, I'm not playing FE Engage. How many times am I going to tell you no engage? If you beg me one more time, I'm going to report this to the police and FBI to track you down to arrest you, dummy. Please stop begging me to play FE engage. So I was like, all right, I should have left it here. It's whatever. These are two friends having a bit, right? It's it's not two friends. All right. Um, so they're like, I'm not a fan. You know, I, I, I there's some characters I kind of like, but whatever. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't like Fire Emblem, whatever. I don't want to play them. Bro, chill out, man. Didn't mean to upset you. There's no need to get go scorched earth on me. Now, here's the part where it gets wild because this guy who asked for it continues. He's like, dude, it's because FE Engage is a sequel to Warriors Three Hopes. Not true, by the way. They're not connected. Three Hopes is also a not a non-canon game. Uh, don't worry. You, wait till you see where this goes. I'm working on a fan prequel book called The Forgotten Date. It uh, centers around Chez and Edelgard set a couple years after the band ending, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they have their own fanfic thing then, but, and then they were like, prior to spoilers, if you haven't played Engage yet, if you don't care for spoilers, I'm gonna tell you anyway, the flashback cutscene in Engage, which by the way, the context isn't here, so don't worry, you won't get spoiled. I don't even know what they're really fully talking about here, because Engage does not have any flashbacks involving three houses or hopes characters. Uh, you keep begging me for like a hundred times to play a Fire Emblem Engage. What the f is wrong with you? I'm not gonna play Engage, period. No, this was like a few times in that. I was active throughout the whole year. I was watching something else on YouTube. Constantly upload Overwatch 2 and Fortnite video replies and making... Th so I don't know what's going on anymore, right? But I, in a way, I'm like... I, I don't... Like, I feel like both are maybe in the wrong here. One's too aggressive. The other one won't leave the guy alone. I don't know what's happening. But like, it, it, went, it went even further. 
It'll make you feel better. I can report you and block you even worse. Rant on you, dummy. So please stop begging me. Do you not understand? Yes, of course. I was. I won't be. But I won't be able to view your videos. I don't give a rat's ass. So please leave me alone. Uh, blah blah blah. I won't do it. All right. Do your thing. You think it'll end there? But no. All right. Fine. I wouldn't mind if. Uh, I wouldn't mind if you. Uh, if I. If I post spoilers for Final Woman Gage, you don't care about the game or spoilers. Is it all right with you? And then this comment. This this comment hit. You're the worst user in my life, Kevin. And then he loved his own comment. <laughs> You're the worst user in my life, Kevin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I went full hyena, but like, what is happening? What is happening? Okay, but anyways... Um, yeah, I hear that from other people too, which that made me sad. I'm like, Kevin, you're not even like doing that bad. You're probably, I, I want to, you know, go on a whim. They don't fully understand. I it, like, I, I don't like it, whatever. Like, I don't think, I don't know if you deserve that one, Kevin. Um, like I said, the vid in your comment, buy and play engage if you want it so badly. Don't have a switch play it. All right. Well, I have a, and then Kevin's like, I have a PlayStation five that I get to watch YouTube videos. So, they're watching Fire Emblem through YouTube videos on PlayStation 5. Whatever, we like playthroughs. I don't even know what's going on here about, like, Tears of the Kingdom, Diablo, FF16. I, I don't know. Buy a Switch and FE Engage. Ask your parents. Okay, buy. I don't, I don't know why this person's still talking to them. I'm gonna save money for the system. I heard news they're making a Switch too. It's like, it just, you know, keeps going. And then this third guy comes in. Bro, don't want to be banned or anything, but still, FE Engage or Armored Core. <laughs> and then they're like, I don't know it. I'm probably gonna hate it. I don't I don't know armored core games, but I'm probably gonna hate it, which is a wild comment to say. And then this shit here took me out. I'm probably thinking about playing Genshin Impact, but I hope it comes to the Switch. <laughs> which, by the way, once again, I'm not a fan of Genshin, but I'm not a Genshin hater. Um, I'm not here to make fun of anyone who plays it because honestly, like the lore and everything is cool. The music's cool. I have a bunch of friends who like it and it's all fine, but I don't like on the switch of all places that that is probably the worst place you could experience that game. Um, if it ever does happen, I think they promised it once, but they just can't do it. But anyways, that, that, that was pretty much it. It just, it ends with, I hate all these games. I hate video games. You're the worst user of my life. I want to play Genshin on switch though. <laughs> and I was like, damn, I just wanted to show chat and know what's slipping. And I still won't. I'm going to wait. But like that, that was the, there you go, everyone. That was, that was, that was the comment thread that I found that like, <laughs> you're the worst user in my life, Kevin, that can someone just like, if I make a bad joke today, if I make a bad joke today, can someone just go, you're the worst user in my life, Shady. Genshin on Switch was announced like four years ago. Yeah, exactly, right? So it did happen. They just didn't make it because they just can't... I mean, allegedly, they just can't get it to work on the Switch. The Switch can't run it. Thank you, Shady, for the gossip. You're welcome. That was that, that was the one and like only time you'll probably get like some real tea out of me. Um, But man, <laughs> exclamation mark, Kevin. You're the worst user in my life. Oh man, could you imagine? Oh, it should be you're the worst user of my life, and then it tags the person who who like did the command. Oh, I have to program that in. I have to I have to make that happen. <laughs> that would be so sick. Oh my god. At Noma? <laughs> Wait, what did Noma do? I remember once I found a really weird comment thread that was on that. Oh no, I know the Paper Mario one. I know the Paper Mario one because Critical made a video on that thread. That thread is like 500 comments long. I remember that shit. And it, it was just an innocent comment as well, if I recall. And then some dude was just really mad over the series, which I mean, I was too, but I'm not gonna go attack other people. You know what I mean? Um, And, and like, it got like volatile and it turned into like this 500 comment thread spanning like months or so. I, I don't even remember. It was wild. I can do that for you. Commands, add worst. You are the worst user of my life at user. Is that is that how it works? Also, uh, thank you, Frico. And welcome in, Frico. How you doing, bud? Good to see you, as always. Actually, I should probably copy and paste that. Didn't realize how widespread that one was. It 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 popped off, man. It popped off. Miss Nomer, who was VTuber Miss Nomer. It's funny because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure her name was based on that. The funny part is though, is that uh, I don't I don't remember what Miss Nomer means. Chat. <laughs> what is a Miss Nomer? And don't say a jellyfish girl. I love when things escalate way beyond what they should. It's always it's always wild. 
Especially in the, in the gamer community. Because in the gamer community, that shit can pop off over anything. It means something is named something unfitting. Oh! So, like... If there's, like... Hmm. Unfitting. Let me... I, I tried to think of an example I don't have. Uh... I'll have to think about that. It should be such an easy example. My dumbass was gonna go, damn, it's like if there was a bunch of chairs, but one was called Salmon. Which I don't think works that way, but sure, Shady. Good job, bud. Uh, I'm gonna, yep, Salmon. I don't know, I tried. I try. I genuinely, I genuinely brained really, what the hell? Ian? Ian, what? Huh? After I- after I was dumb as hell, too? God, this, oh my god. Thank you so much, Ian, for the 10 goddamn gift subs. And I went to a, 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 quite a few lovely lads as well, so enjoy your ad-free experience. Thank you so much for doing that, man. Your nuts are huge. They're kind of huge. They're kind of huge for- after- after that feat there. Thank you so much, bud. I really, really, really appreciate that. Once again, y'all really never have to do it, but thank you so much for doing that. Um... And, you know, as I always say, it, it always goes a long way for me. So thank you. Th 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 so thank you? What the hell? So thank you very, very much. And, uh, god damn it. I'm about to, I'm about to smooch the, the, the computer screen. I won't, I won't actually do that. But you know what I mean? Like, metaphorical. Thank you so much, man. God damn. And Frico, have yourself a lovely day. Take it easy with work, man. Oh wait. Where are we? Never mind, you're not leaving. Looks like the control room for <laughs> I thought you said you were leaving guys. for work. Hang on, I gotta reread that. I'm sorry. One second. Let me just get past this. There, I've been silly tonight. Hmm. So this is what supplies the Mechon with ether energy. Let's kill the provisions. Shulk! What's that? What's that? Lies of oh, piston. Looks like fun. Ricky want to ride. You'll become a pancake, Ricky. We didn't come here to mess about a furball. Time to bounce on. <laughs> Hold on. He would. If this, we can stop that piston, this fool would bounce. We might be able to shut down the blast furnace. Let him ride. Nice I don't want him to die. He'll just go. Cut off the Mechon's ether supply. Ricky, say we try. I'm not trying to make him a pancake, yeah, Abby. Also, hi, Abby. How are we supposed to stop something that massive? If we can stop the turbines driving the piston, mm -hmm. it should work. All right, let's shut it off. And the turbines should be nearby. Let's kill. Let's kill the provisions. Right. Let's search for them. Okay. Um. But yeah, Frico. Uh, I. I, 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 re I finally reread that. Um. Work. I. I. I <laughs> I'm so sorry for reading that wrong. I. Uh, I hope. I, I'm. I'm glad to hear things have been doing all right. You know. Otherwise, from work. Work can be hell. But uh, you're always. Uh. You know. Always good for powering through that shit, and 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 and, and as the kids say, Frico, get that bag, homie. Get that bag. Um, but it's it's so good to see y'all. I hope you're all doing really well tonight, and uh, thank you again, Ian, as well. My God, <laughs> that that actually like melted my brain. Um, but yeah, Avi, welcome in. Yeah, do you like Ricky, Avi? Ricky, Ricky is the little guy. This is him. Um. L quick lore for you. He is 40 years old. He has a wife. He has like 11 kids and uh, He's in debt because his kids ate all the food in the village and that is partly why he joined us They were like you're gonna go be a hero now to make back the debt um, But we love him. He's very cute. He's still baby uh, He looking kind of squamshy. I can see why he has 11 kids. What do you mean you can see why he has 11 kids? What do you mean you can see why? <laughs> also, this is my favorite girl here Melia. Her design goes so hard. Her design goes so hard. But yeah, I hope you're doing well, Avi. It was very fun playing some uh, thing of What? What the hell? I forgot what I was going to talk about. Hang on one second. Not playing, sorry. I was- I caught your, um... I caught your Pikmin stream, what, yesterday. I wasn't able to talk because I was in the middle of, like, work and stuff. But a pogger stream, as always. Avi's been getting her Dandori up. Ah oh, shit! I'm very proud of Avery. Avery, I'm very proud of proud of Abby's Dandori. Ricky looks like he got game. What do you? What? Huh? Ricky wanted. To, don't bring up the Ricky wants slop slop post. I swear to God. 
Got it. Thank you, Dandori Master. Okay, okay. But that being said, I I wanted to like tell you without spoiling you, but there's there there are ten optional Dandori challenges that are meant to be like super hard. But if you want 100% and get everything, you have to complete them. And, and like I'll warn you from now that like the final like five like parts of that thing of those challenges like made me go insane. But you you can definitely do them. You you can definitely do them. The boss gauntlet. Wait, are you are you in the final area, Abby? Boss gauntlet. Hmm. I played the Pikmin 4 demo. The game is so fun. Oh hell yeah! Yo, you got it. You got to play the whole thing, Mel. I, I honest, honest, honest to God, honest to God, honest to the Hylia. Um, I think Pikmin 4 is my favorite one out of the entire like quadrilogy. And Pikmin 4 is really good. I don't know if I should do anything else before. Um, did you do? Did you do the? Did you ever complete that Glacier Akon? Akon? Like the like the rapper guy? Yo, banger music time. Um, did you do the thing with the other character? That really short story mode? Did you Ian, what the hell? Again? Again? Your nuts are already huge? They're gonna explode at this rate. What do you mean? Oh my god. Well, just for that, I can't fail this fight now. Thank you so much, Ian, for 10 more gift subs. What the? Oh yeah, a Chad for real. A Chad for real. You really don't gotta do the thing, man. But thank you so much for doing the thing. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, chat, I mean, in, uh, enjoy yet, you know, more uh, ad-free experiences. You can't fail now. Okay, I'm going to do my best. All right, this one's for Ian. If I fail, it's also for Ian. That, that's my way of getting out of this. But thank you so much for the additional 10 gift subs, dude. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for being pog as hell. For Ian? All right, for Ian in capitals. Let's do this shit. Okay, let's, let's put him in a daze real quick. Okay, banger music's coming on. Banger music's coming on. Let's go ahead and heal Gunban a bit more. Alright. Yeah! Banger! Banger time! Let's go. Turn that shit up. We got this, lads. We can do this. We can do this. It's gonna be a little tough, but we got this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Groove out. Groove out. To me, to you, even. Because the music's about to stop. <laughs> Alright, here we go, everyone. Interruption time. But we got the chorus. We at least got the chorus, everyone. Alright. Let's keep this up. Let's keep this up. He's not gonna hurt us. We read the future. We read the future. We're good. God, we're doing so good on this playthrough. I'm actually genu I'm genuinely surprised. I'm, I'm proud of me. Electric Nutbuster, let's go. Don't gatekeep my music, Shady. I'm trying so hard not to. You're the worst user in my life, Shady. Oh man, I'm so I'm so sad Abby like just missed that comment thread that I showed you all. What a rabbit hole, my god. Also, like rabbit hole sounds like it'd be derogatory towards Abby. Okay, let's see. Um, we got new armor. But seriously, thank you so much, Ian, once again, dude. I really appreciate that. And and Idiot with Brain Cells, have yourself a lovely night. Thank you so much for coming on by. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope to see you again if you did. Take it easy. And Chica. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. God damn, so many wonderful lads and lasses and peeps all up in here. Good to have you all in. I am pogging very hard. You know what? These gloves are kind of sick. It drops my defense by a little bit, but the E to defense goes way up. Also, did you say there was too much money in your balls yet to, like, let some go? Ex <laughs> yeah? Yeah? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take the excuse. I'll, 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 I'll take the excuse. I'll accept it. That's it. You're the worst user in my life, Shady. There it is. There it is. Don't be such filth in the Banui's presence. You're right. All right. I'll be nice to Abby. But I'm always nice to Abby. I'll have you know. I'll have the Lorazma, you know. That was bad. Right, Abby? Tell them I'm cool. Yo, look at his little... Look at his little, like, tiger suit. That's amazing. I'll, he can't wear it, though. Someone else is wearing that, apparently. That, that's some heavy armor. I, I, oh, I don't want to give it to him, though. Shit. I did not want to give him that. Eh. You know what? Let him, let, let, him, let him keep it. I'll let him keep it. Who's wearing the tiger suit? Unfortunately, it's not going to look like a tiger on them. So we can't... We, we, we can't be like, ooh. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, Twirl's hair, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna have to keep the anti-mechon weapons because we are in mechon, like, homeland here. Do I want to do that? Nope. Do I want to do any of this? Nope. Put me inside the fridge, please. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Hang on. <laughs> Eyes emoji? <laughs> um, there we go. Yeah, you know, I think I will give him... Uh, actually, never mind. He can't wear them anyways. All right. Screw that. We, like I, as we always say, this is the buy panic game, the buy disaster. So, all right, we got a weapon for him. Di Dinosaur sounds like like uh, like a like a meme way. Someone will say dinosaur in like two thousand and nine. Look at all these dinosaurs. Quirky, funny dinosaur. Um, let's give him strength up. Ian, yo, thank you. So you know what, Ian? Hell yeah. Thank you so much for doing that. Chica very much deserves a sub. So I, I really appreciate that, man. But thank you so much, Ian. For real, man. As I said, as I will always say, because I always feel obligated, you never have to do the thing. But thank you so much for doing the thing, dude. God damn. There you go. Just for that, I'm turning off turbines for you. Crazy, I know. Nothing says, nothing says true love like turning off a factory for someone. That's right. I made our ec ecological footprint better. Or whatever. That's not the right word, right? Something footprint. Carbon footprint. I don't know. Yo, there's like a key item there. How do we get back there? Around that way. Hold on. My balls are deflating at a rapid rate. <laughs> you know... I, I feel like I feel like in in like in this context that might be a like a good and healthy thing maybe. I think the command I sent earlier the correct one uses oh it's money sign user okay I'll I'll change it up into that then yeah. Thank you by the way Freako I, I appreciate it. Maybe during a break point I'll try to uh, I'll try to throw that in so we can have it by tonight. Um, for real man thank you and Fandomia welcome back in it's good to see you as always. Hope you're doing well. I uh, hope things are very, very poggers. Poggers on the beat on God for real, for real. Uh, with Riz. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, uh, uh, 100% emote. And thank you, Ian, for the gifts with the Phantomia. Damn. Damn. Nice one. We did it. Sub chat. This should prevent them Sub from chat. mobilizing any large mech on squads for now. Hopefully we Thank you so much, the allied forces chances. Oh, that's why oh, we turned that off, brother. right? So, it, another thing if you guys missed it. Uh, everyone on the Bionis is finally going to go to war against the Makanis. Not just like Homs and shit. This, like, this time, like the high NT are joining in as well. Um, so, we're turning Friends, off... Can, can. We're, we're turning off some of the power sources. So, like, you know, the war will be a little bit easier. It looks like the door's been unlocked. Nice. Let's get down to the blast furnace. All right. If we're lucky, Fiora might be down there. Oh, I think I heard something. One second, lads. Um, thank you, so Ian, again. I think it's the fin. God damn. No one's safe. Holy shit. <laughs> thank you so much, Ian. What the hell? I'm about to say the biggest secret of my life. Are you ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? I despise pineapple pizza. I did it. I did it. I'm a problematic streamer now. Finally, I've done it. I've done it. I'm problematic. I hate it. I hate pineapple pizza. And pineapple's my favorite fruit. Yeah, that's not a secret. I've told it before. Okay, hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me give you something. Okay. Let me drop another food I don't like, maybe. Hang on. Let me drop a new one that I don't like that you guys have not known before. Okay. Um. I. Shady, you're the worst user in my life. Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Okay, hang on. <laughs> what else don't I like? See, I like most other things. It just happens to be these few. Oh, I hate cheesecake. I genuinely hate cheesecake. And I love sweets. There we go. Does that one hurt your souls, chat? What? Yeah, there it is. There it is. And thank you for the gifts up to Chloe, Ian. Damn. You know what? Chloe mad deserves it as well. Thank you so much for doing that. God damn it. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, like, fight you now. Not actually, though. Thank you so much. And QB. 
as well with the gift sub to Nameless Nugget. Thank you so much. Enjoy a banger of a song, Ben. Hang on, I just need a minute with this song. All right, all right, we're good. Get the hell out of here. Thank you so much, Ian. Thank you so much, QB. QB beat you to it. Yo, QB with the intercept. Let's go. But no, for real though, guys, thank you. Thank you so goddamn much. If, if that hype train was still going, that shit would have been like far off now. Thank you so, so, so much, everyone. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll know what I did. I'm not going to question what I did. Just, I am glad that I can be a, a, a content creator, <laughs> cringe, that can uh, make you guys enjoy stuff enough for you to be doing that, you know? I, I really, it really goes a long way for me, so thank you so much, everyone. Um, just for that, I'll drop another secret on you. Something I like this time. Um, I mean, I like a lot of things, though. Uh, okay, this is, this is more of a funny story. So, uh, my cousin actually, uh, you guys, you guys actually might know him. Well, some of you know him. The one called, like, Corona G that comes by every once in a while. He's, I basically consider him, like, my older brother. You know, we've grown up and, like, we've been through a lot together. And he's also the reason why Shady's in my name. And also, the person who got me, like, started on guitar, kinda. And, uh, oh, I think I heard something. Okay, hang on, I think I got a donation. I'm gonna open up my alerts so I can actually see. Because I, I tend to really miss the messages. But, um... Uh, he had a, he had a kid. Um, he had a kid, so I went to go see his kid. He's his dad now. And everyone was telling baby stories, and, uh, we're talking about how, like... Uh, the people in our family, when their babies have, like, mad chaotic energy. And, um, apparently when I was a baby, I, I got really bad. And apparently I used to just, like, draw, like, permanent marker on the carpets. I used to eat bugs, which I, t I told you guys about. I used to, like, eat, I used to eat, like, silverfish, um, before my parents could catch me. Which is disgusting. Silverfish disturbed the shit out of me. I stuffed a grilled cheese in my dad's VCR. Apparently, and that was the new thing. I didn't know about that one, but that made me laugh. I was like, really? I just, I just did that? He's like, yeah, I just, I just found a grilled cheese in the VCR. <laughs> Apparently I did that often. And QB, thank you for the gifts up to Bug Eater. I'm going to take that as affectionate and not derogatory. Thank you so much. And Ralph with the, let me see, with the $5 donation. Thank you so much, dude. Um, they said Shady the Snail also doesn't like cheesecake. Maybe you guys should hang out sometime. He really wants to meet you. Sure. As long as he crawls into this jar of of firecrackers and salt. If he can do that, then we're good. But thank you so much, Ralph, for the $5 donation. And, oh my goodness, so many so many crazy awesome things happening tonight. Happy Havoc, thank you so much. Oh shit, I, I messed up the raid. Not the raid, but <laughs> the chain attack. Happy Havoc, thank you so much for the raid. Hope you had a lovely stream. Welcome in, raiders. And um, if you don't mind me asking, what were you up to? I was just telling chat stories of when I was a baby because uh, my cousin recently had one. And um, how I used to stuff like grilled cheeses into VCRs and eat bugs. Um, but yeah, no, the baby chat is like super chill. That baby's chill as hell. Doesn't cry over anything. Um, I got to hold it. He, he, he's very squirmy. He likes stretching a lot. Um, I, he's like, what, like 10 days old? At least when I, uh, when I was holding him. And um, he just wants to sleep and drink his goddamn milk. And I'm like, you know what? That's a vibe. Dude does not cry. He eventually will probably and be stubborn as hell. But he sleeps the exact same way that my cousin and I do. Like, the same exact pose. And I was like, that that's dope. That's dope. He's one of us. He's one of us for real, for real. <laughs> um, people keep saying that he looks like me when I was a baby. So I'm like, damn. He could, like, if he ends up, like, looking like me, that would be kind of funny. Or, like, getting my hair. So one thing, chat, a fun fact. Um... I'm one of the only people on, like, both sides of my family that has the hair that I do. Most of the people in my families have, like, straight hair. Or, like, slightly wavy hair. I have, like, super wavy thick hair. And I'm, I'm still trying to figure out who that comes from. Ian, what the hell? Also, Regal, welcome and in. Uh, Ian, what, what are you doing? Excuse me? What do you mean another 10? Homie, that's so many subs. That is so many. Are you... You're sure that's... You're sure this is fine, right? I always, I always have to mention that just in case. And I'm, I'm five more? 
You now have normal sized balls. What is happening? Dude, thank you so much for an additional 15 subs. Dude, that's... I can count. 35 subs, and that's not counting the individual ones. Thank you so much, dude. Oh my god, the donation message? I, I read it. The snail one? Or did someone donate again? Hold on. Oh no, I read the donation message. Um, thank you so much, Ian, for the 10, for the 10 gifties. I very, very much appreciate it. I don't know why I said gifties. Sorry, the 15 gifties. God damn. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I miss anything during talking about all that. One second, everyone. Um, god damn, though. Thank you so much. You're playing Half-Life Horror Mod called Afraid... Horror Mod? Why did I say that? Horror Mod called Afraid of Monsters. Oh, shit. Okay. I actually, you know, it's funny. Uh, I, I guess, were you doing that just for fun, or was that because of, like, Spooky Month coming up? Because I actually want to do some horror mods as well, but on, like, Mario 64. <laughs> but I hope you had fun, Havoc. Um, I missed a big Naturals Gandalf. Wait, when did that happen? Excuse me? You go, do you guys remember Big Naturals Cave? Just for fun, though, Spooky Month is good. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, and honestly, spooky times, any, any time is good time for spooky time. And QB, thank you for the gifts of the Happy Havoc as well. I very much appreciate that. And, um, shit, you know what? I don't have any mods in here tonight. I just realized there was no shout out. One minute. There you go. Check out Happy Havoc, especially if you like, I don't know, spooky things or Half-Life. <laughs> Which, I, I, I'm gonna go on a whim here and say that's not the only thing they stream. But, uh, I'll, I'm gonna use it as a selling point there anyways, yeah? No mods, we riot? Uh-huh. I don't think so. Not on my watch. Which I'm not doing a lot of, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's okay, I trust you all. Actually, I will be taking mod applications soon, hopefully. I'm also trying to get... I, I'm finally... I, I'm, I'm taking a bit long, but I did say by the end of September, I do want the merch store to open. So, we still have by the end of this week for that merch store to open. <laughs> I got your guys, you know, design ideas from that one secret stream um, for some basic shirts and stuff. So uh, I, I might go ahead and do the thing soon. Mods are gone post bread. Yo, in my stream, it's okay. I like I, I, I like gluten. I can handle it. Post that shit. Post, post away, lads. Is your PO box still open? That's what I forgot to do. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it's still open. It's still open. Please feel free to send anything if you would like. Totally up to you guys. Um, I have to have a P.O. Box opening stream, like, this week. Oh, God, I forgot to go to my P.O. Box. <laughs> Shit, and I know people send stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try and make that happen this week. Um, but yes. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die. Every month I will be doing a P.O. Box stream. God, what did I do? Oh, God, this is a bad way to go through here. No! Oh, no! Oh, God, I'm gonna die! <laughs> Oh, someone said they wanted to drink this. I think it was Mel. I want to drink it too, Mel. Oh, God. That's why you never opened my box. Yeah, I never got... I'm so sorry, everyone. I, I, life has been so busy. I had, like, three doctor's appointments this week, which makes me feel like I'm a goddamn, like... Like I'm dying. <laughs> I'm not, by the way. I had to go for my very first ultrasound. And, um, I had... Every time I go for, like, a medical thing, I always have so many questions that I feel like I'm, like, bothering the people. So I decided to, like, leave it because I was, I, was, I was gonna make a joke with the lady there. Because I was like, oh, can you see stuff in real time on the screen? And she said no. And then I was like, but I... Like, two minutes later, I'm like, wait, I, I see real time stuff. She's like, okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's real time. And I was like, okay, fine. Fine, I want to ask questions. Because I was... The next thing I was gonna say was, if there's a baby there, you gotta tell me right away. Um, but I left it. Yeah, I'm pregnant, everyone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's a scrimblow, everyone. It's a scrimblow. I didn't send anything, so I feel pressured. Oh, no. Well, first of all, haha. <laughs> big funny, but also, um, nah, I don't feel pressured. I'm, I'm, I'm excited that you guys sent me stuff. It, it honestly means a hell of a lot, because, like, you never had to, you know what I mean? And it's one of those things where it's like, if it didn't work out, I would close the box. So, like, thank you for allowing me to keep that box open. Um, I really appreciate it, everyone, and I can't wait to see what y'all sent me. Who's the father? This is gonna be, like, one of those, like, Miyamoto moments where they ask, like, who, like, Bowser Jr.'s mom was. God. But thank you so much for the gift sub, QB. I'm hungry. I gotta grab a snack just now. I didn't expect to go so hungry. Thank you so much. And Frico, have yourself a lovely, lovely day. Thank you so much for coming on by. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope to see you again if you did. Take it easy. The alerts aren't working now. Wait, are the, are the alerts dying? Is it because of all the shit that came through? Did we, did we overload the alerts? 
Hang on, let me, let me, let me, let me do a quick test. Um. Okay. It, it should, it should, it should hopefully like reactivate here. My bad. I'm gonna. You see, I, I, I do have to fight you now. You and your <laughs> normal sized balls. Oh man. Oh man. What a bit. What a bit. And it's not your first time doing that bit either, if I recall. Shady Cicada just subscribed. I love it because if I do like the uh, the fake donation thing, I'm pretty sure it says like John, which is hilarious. Yeah, because like, you know, jo <laughs> like John Twitch. It's part of the meme. Wait, hang on a minute. That's not a test donation. What? <laughs> yeah, it's working. QB, goddamn. Thank you so much for the $3 donation. What the hell? That's not John. Maybe it's cubed John. Why are they all yellow? Oh, no. Aw, oh, dude. What is the rise? What is the rise in the difficulty here? It's fine. I can deal with this. And welcome in, Uwu Knight. Amazing name, by the way. I need to see what an Uwu Knight is like. Welcome in. I hope you're doing very, very well. Tonight's been wild. Chat's been... Chat's been supporting the hell out of me for... I, I don't even know why, but you know what? Thank you all for being so lovely tonight. Oh, it's got spike damage. Damn. But yeah, I hope you enjoy your time here. Uh, Knight. Okay, let me let me let me take this fool out first. He's kind of scaring me. It's a knight that goes ooh woo. We appreciate that around here. It's funny you say that because we also have in the Shady Cicada lore. We also have a knight that technically goes ooh woo, kinda ish, sorta ish. I guess she's not really a knight, but we do have like a an OC character in the community called ooh woo. <laughs> ah shit! Oh no. And thank you for the gift sub to ooh woo knight Ian. God damn! You see what I mean? The subs are going crazy tonight. Well, you know, enjoy the ad-free experience if you choose to stick around. Um, thank you so much for coming on by. And thank you, Ian, as well. Seriously. I will draw this night if someone shows me it. Oh, Uwu? Hang on, I can I can I can bring up some Uwu for you. Hang on. It's actually funny you mentioned that drawing because we actually, at the end of every single stream, we do have a fan art segment where I show off fan art the chat draws over the span of like the stream. It, it could be based on uh, me or a thing like related to me or the stream or like a joke we made or the games that we're playing or have played um, Hang on. Let me let me see if I could Let me see Actually, there should be a recent one because uh, Nana's been drawn Nana's been drawn her pretty often. Yeah, here we go Yeah, 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 yeah This is this is uh, one of many designs for her um, uh, Yeah we have we have many OCs in this community now that like we've come up with like together. Um, this one originated from a community member, and then there was like a bunch of fan art of her. She's been in like games that we played for like customizing your character and stuff. But that's her. Her name's literally Uwu. She's got like the Uwu ish kind of face. She can't open her eyes, by the way. But like, it, it, she when she's happy and chill, her eyes are closed. But yeah, there you go. All right. A Wooga? No, I agree. But funny, funny, okay, another funny piece of lore, Fandomia, is that in that OC verse thing, because of like, she spawned from like Tomodachi life, um, the character she got married to in that game was me. <laughs> and we have three kids. <laughs> the, 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 the lore, the lore is heavy. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you. I'm not complaining about it, let me tell you. Wait, we're not supposed to send you money? Yeah, it's, it's illegal. It's illegal. You're going to jail for it. Thank you so much for $5 donation, dude. What the hell? For. Thank you so much. Every time I say fur, I keep thinking I'm saying the second syllable of my name. Like, 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 it's, a sh like, like it's a shitty nickname for me. Thank you so much. Fur, for real. Uh, fur real, even. I always appreciate having you here. You've always been lovely company. And just thank you so much for that. Thank you, everyone. God damn. No, don't worry. Your name's amazing, fur. I also just love the word. And like, a, you know... <laughs> You never gotta, but thank you so much, Ian. For real, dude. It always means a hell of a lot. The support tonight, everyone. Chat, I don't know. I don't know what the occasion is. I, I, I really don't know, but just thank you so much. Once again, you do not have to do the thing. Don't feel obligated. You don't have to, you know. You don't have to do it, but once again, it always means a lot. It always does help out, too. I get to keep doing what I love. Uh, last time I'll say it. But yeah, just thank you so much. Glory, glorious Jerome. Jerome. Excuse me? Ah, shit. I think he's paired with... Actually, he's not paired with them. We could maybe sneak attack. Let me just... Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're not dealing with... We're not dealing with Glorious Jerome in, 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 yet. Because <laughs> he's going to be super strong. Thank you for the gift sub, too. 
uh, not a donation, but also the gifts up to Jerome. <laughs> God damn, chat. What is going on tonight? Jesus, thank you so much. And uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you to Only Smiles. Thank you to QB. And Suka, what is going on? Well, did tonight's like a party? So many cool so many cool peeps coming on in and all the subs and everything. Hi, Suka. How you doing? A two-year-old baby. Thank you for the 43 months, Suka. And I hope you're doing very, very well. We were just uh, showing off art. And uh, you would know what art is because you're really, really goddamn good at it. But also, I hope you're doing well, Suka. We love you around here. Did I just get something else? I think I did get something else. Hold on. Let me check alerts. What is happening? I got a donation. Hang on. $5 from Shady's Mouth. You really, you never really think about it, but the inside of your mouth has a flavor that really only someone else can enjoy. <laughs> this is Sunny, isn't it? I'm just, you know what? I'm gonna, I, I don't, I don't want to give the credit to Sunny if it isn't, but I'm just gonna say that Sunny. That is that chat. What do you think? What do you think? Either way, uh, I, I hate, I hate that mess. I hate everything about that message, and I will fight whoever sent that. But thank you so much for, for thank you so much for the five dollar donation and in a weird way you're right i just hate that you are thank you so much for the donation um that has that has to be sunny yeah there's, it's like an 80 percent chance i personally like it <laughs> yeah nugget all right there you go you got some approval uh ricky bud oh he's dead dead he, he said not bad and then hopped in the goddamn, like, NyQuil. Are you good? Are you, is he coming back? Oh, th okay. There he is. Alright, let's walk nice and slow so that doesn't happen again, yeah? If I clone myself, I could taste the inside of my own ma- QB? <laughs> you know, there's so many other things you can do if you clone yourself, you know? Oh, there you go. Yeah, so you can find it there. Uh, um, I almost called you Nightbot. You can find it there, Riggle. Or, uh, if that looks a little too confusing, you can also check pinned messages in my announcements in Discord. And, uh, it's formatted a little bit better. Okay. Alright, wish me luck, everyone. This actually might be kind of tough. Alright, go. Go, lads, go. Drum is on. He's such a high level that some of our attacks are not gonna land. In fact, a fair amount of our attacks won't land. You only checked mail once before, right? Yeah, once before. I was supposed to check it last week, and I totally forgot. Which, once again, my apologies, everyone. I'll, I'll do my best to check this week. I'm doing mad cardio, so I'll probably just, like, jog there and, like, with a backpack. And I, I and hope that that's enough to carry everything. Alright, to me to you, everyone. Let's do this. Good. Let's keep it going. Okay, stack the red. Stack the red moves. Damn it, that's it. And no worries, Chica. Have yourself a lovely night. It's always a pleasure to have you here. You are very pog, and hope to see you again soon. And dream about sheep, but they look like cinnamon buns. And they are edible, but you don't have to eat them. It's morally, it's probably morally wrong, but they probably are delicious. But that's for you. That, 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 that's your choice to make once you dream it. Chorus time! Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna take it nice and easy in the back here. We choose to fight! Yo, thank you. Yo, how's, how's that real? What? Thank you for the gifts of the cinnamon sheep. And now the music ends. It's gonna get. We're gonna get jump scared by the music. Thank you so much, QB. And now I kinda wanna see a drawing of that. Oh, I didn't do it! Oh no, did it work? It worked. He dodged it. Jesus Christ, that was last minute as hell. Yo, yo, wait. Oh, the interrupt was so late, it didn't interrupt the music. You'll draw it? Oh, hell, you know what? I would love to see it over night. Ah, oh, shit. We always appreciate artists around here. The tag didn't break. Okay. We got a good rhythm going then, quite literally. Now, do let's do bitey bitey. Let's make the robot bleed. I can't believe that works. Okay. Good. Keep the chain. What do you mean it ends here? No! Ah, uh, pee pee. That's fine. Yeah, Ricky was very good. He did great, Ricky. Okay. I tech the beat. I tech it. That's how we gotta do it. Do it right when it ends, huh? 
That's the actual skill expression that is rewarded that I want to see more in video games. Not interrupting a song. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, oh, shit. Okay, hang on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I should focus on this first before I talk to chat. He's gonna burst, apparently. Burst a nurse, even. I regret to inform you that the e-girl you've been talking to has leaked your DMs. It's Jover. Why would Ricky... How would Ricky... Does Ricky even know what an e-girl is? He would call them, like, e-pawns. <laughs> but also, what... Who am I talking to? What DMs got leaked? Hang on a minute. I need to know about this. Ricky... Ricky? Are you trying to get me cancelled? What, what, what even was that? Daddy Pawn looking for an e-girl. Mel? <laughs> Daddy Pawn. Daddy Pawn looking for an e-pawn. E How did Ricky leak my DMs? I, by the way, I wanted to throw up after saying that. But also, thank you whoever donated that. Thank you for the $5 donation. Also, what? You know, I can kill him before this ends. There we go. That's how you change the future. Who's my kitten pawn? Stop. Stop. This is what I meant by chat torturing me. Right here. Disgusting. Disgusting. But also, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Thank you for that. <laughs> now, never show your faces around here ever again, chat. For the love of God. <laughs> Y'all are on a wanted list now. Alright. Let's see. Is this... Can this hurt Mechon? What did I get? What, what did I even get? The Snare Striker? Uh, it, it does not hurt Mechon, I don't believe. Sadly. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll hang on to it at least. Alright. Shulk taught Ricky about the Manosphere. <laughs> Shulk taught him about Alpha Males? The whole... The whole... Uh, uh, alpha Male stuff? Amazing. Amazing. Alpha Mo... Uh. Ricky's gonna Ricky invest in crypto. <laughs> just 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 kill me now if that ever happens. Kill him. Um but yeah, sorry. That was that was a wild fight that I'm surprised I did. Uh, welcome in people who came in. Welcome in once again, Suka. I hope you're doing well. Um would you believe I randomly had a dream about you the other day? It was it was <laughs> I don't know what, it was like a random throwback to when you and I were playing Animal Crossing. Um, in the, uh, in that, in that Discord server. When we were chilling with the other lads and stuff, and you showed me all the stuff you drew. But it was us just chilling. Chilling and playing Animal Crossing. Banish scheme is just crypto. Oh, you're right, there are crypto no pun. You know what? There's even like alpha, there's probably like alpha male quote-unquote alpha male uh, no pawn as well. Sorry, I meant incels. <laughs> An incel pawn. Uh, and I have to go now. I need to wake up two and a half hours. Oh my goodness, Lemon. Well, you know what? Yeah, any sleep is good sleep. So absolutely get yourself some good rest. Thank you so much for coming on by. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you again if you did. Um, it was a pleasure having you in here. Nap well, friend. And uh, thank you so much, QB, for the gifts of the crypto pawn. I hope they don't see that. They don't deserve it. But thank you so much for that. Yeah, how, how is there a crypto pawn for real? Do they have a picture? They don't. Damn shame. Damn shame. R <laughs> Ricky is on the Sigma pawn grind set. Oh, wait, hold up. I think we made it, chat. Yeah, catch you around, Lemon. Shulk, is that... Spear ones? Loads and loads of spear mechon. Remember those spears have like Bionis blood ether stuff going on and it melts any being on the Bionis. So we really don't want to be touching that. Oh, there she is. And there's the lady of the hour. It's Fiora. Well, we're fighting Fiora now, everyone. <laughs> Didn't think it would be coming to this, did you? And we're not even at the end of the game. This isn't good. You, you would think this would be the end of the game in, in any other kind of RPG. Okay, we're gonna need to take out the ads. We're gonna have to kill these dudes first. Maybe I get them to focus their efforts, actually. Okay. I'm gonna heal Dunban because he's getting smacked. Holy shit. He's getting schmixed, actually. Damn. 
I don't even know who I'm attacking. I can't even make it to the... I can't even make it. Oh my god. Find me? I'm trying so hard to find you. Whoa, shit. Bro, what the hell? Okay, no. Okay, hang on. No, G get up. Get up and take the aggro. This is bad. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. Okay, get the aggro off me, quick. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, I would do Shadow or Battle Eye, but it would, it would kill my ass. Screw it. Oh, no, you know what? That wasn't worth it. It's fine. It's fine. We're somehow still in this. I don't know. I don't know how. God, yeah, I shouldn't do it. God damn. Bro, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah, I, it made me say bro. Oh my god. Okay, I need to focus. I can't dodge that. I can't dodge an ether move. Good thing it only does 53, but that's burn damage, so that's gonna that's gonna Never mind. It's over. Bro my god. Gang is just jealous Fiora's girl bossing her way to the top. <laughs> She's on that Mikannis grind set. That was really bad, chat. Okay, we're gonna need um Okay, well, first of all, we don't need these. Oh, they're, they're locked in, those strength ups. We should probably go uh, craft some gems, maybe. Um, but let's 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 upgrade our stuff, because we haven't upgraded in a while. But yeah, that's what I mean. Some shit's going to get insane, chat. Some shit's going to get insane. Okay, let's actually... Let's upgrade our Monado Arts. Well, Buster's really low. What the hell? These should actually go up as well. Ah, shit. Okay. Whoops. Never mind. A little bit of enchant. What does Ricky got? Oh, we have Peekaboo? This is new. Confuses Mechon. I mean, that actually might be kind of good for this fight. If he, like, goddamn lands it. Strength up is good. Yeah. I just feel like doing too much damage will, like, send the aggro to me. But honestly, it hasn't been screwing me over that much. Oh, happy, happy. We should have been upgrading that. There we go. No, it was you can do it. I need to upgrade. I forgot again. It's not happy, happy. That's the party meter. Uh, you know what? That's still fine. Oh, I keep upgrading the wrong one. Silly me. Here's an AOE that we can maybe use. But we'll we'll try this again the normal, like, our way here. And then we'll, um, we'll see. Let's draw aggro real quick. Um, okay. I, I, I think I have, I have a bit of an idea of what I want to do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. But I'm gonna, um... What are your arts, Ricky? What do you what do you got here, little you little, you little schmumpkin? What what do you got up there? Um, everything he's got here is pretty good. Let's see, inflicting bleed. What does this do? Dealing lots of damage. But this does more damage and inflicts bleeds. So do, do we really need this one? Let's try Pikachu. And let's upgrade it. Pikachu. That's how Pikachu sounds, chat. That's his actual voice. I'm the new voice actor of Pikachu. Did you guys know that? I'm actually the, the detective in, in, in Detective Pikachu as well. Hey, it's me. Yeah, I'm Detective Pikachu. Pikachu. See? I wish that was what Pikachu sounded like. You wish? I wish that's what, like, not that one. Do <laughs> you guys remember the giant chubby Pikachu in uh, Sword and Shield? And he just goes like, he goes, P. And it has just, like, reverb around it. That shit's so cute. Okay. This isn't good. You know what? I'm gonna have them engage at will and see if that does anything better. Also, I should not have ran in first. Okay. Banger music. Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. That shit's so funny. I love it. I love it. Do you have that card? Of, you have a card of that Pikachu? Uh, I'm a little jealous. I, I don't even like collect Pokemon cards, but I would very much want that. Okay, I'm gonna not spam arts too much. I just want to, like, status ailment them, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> Good, we can block that. And we better block that, because holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Alright, music interruption, let's go. To you! To me! Alright. But also, welcome in, Elena, hope you're doing well. I can't remember what the actual... Co oh, there it is, the underscore. Yeah, welcome in, Elena, hope you're doing well. 
Do I risk the chain attack or do I use it to revive chat? Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm not gonna risk it yet. Probably best I keep it to revive people. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Unless unless Dunman's about to die. He's full of beans. He's full of beans. Okay, we got one down. Wait, we killed everyone. Let's go. We did it. Okay. Hopefully she doesn't spawn more. I'm sorry, Fiora, but we got to do this now. Let me just make sure I get behind you. It's been a crazy day, but I'm still breathing, so I'm good. Well, hell yeah. I hope you get to chill now, Elena. Uh, sit back, relax, grab a snack. Kiss a cinnamon roll. I don't know. I've been thinking about cinnamon rolls recently. I could use some right now. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Smash Pal. <laughs> Anyways, be prepared for some lore after this. I, I actually don't know what happens directly after this. I can't remember, so... I guess we'll see. Oh, wait, you know what? Never mind. I do remember. Shit, shit gets nuts after this. Again. So prepare thine selves. As soon as we take her out. Notice how there's no talking, by the way. Not, not saying that's anything special, but uh, Fiora's been pretty pretty quirky since we found out she's alive. Also, her body's mechanical. Which, uh, I wonder, you know, there's a, we, have, there, we have a lot of questions. And don't worry, there's a lot of answers. Alright. Um, Alright, side shot it is. Peekaboo. Pikachu. That's me, that's me, I'm Pikachu. Happy, uh, happy fourth birthday to me. Your parents invited me. Yeah, I'm Pikachu. Hey, your parents got any Jack Daniels in their, in their pantry? Yeah, Jack Daniels makes me evolve. I'll turn into a Raichu. Yeah. <laughs> that used to be my favorite bit when I first started streaming was when you invite that one character, when your parents invite that one character to your party, but it's like some dude in a suit who, like, hates their job. <laughs> He used to be, uh, Spider- It's me, I'm Spider-Man! Yes, uh, shout out to Uncle Ben! Yeah, you got- You got any Hennessy? Your parents got any Hennessy in their pantry? <laughs> Awful bit. Awful bit, but I can't stop. Bro, how come- Yo, she is not losing any health. Let's try this again. I wanna know the context behind the holy effing bingle command. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say never put that one in. But that's that's from um there was this one hacker who hacked into like some like airports database and got like all this crazy information among other things and their reaction to hacking into it was holy fing bingle and they spoke in like uwu speak and shit. It, it was genuinely wild. Yeah, their name yeah, that was it. Nyan Arson Crime You. Crime You. What is going on, chat? Is she, is she- is she just super armored right now? Is this scripted? Sublime cure? What, what do you- what do you mean? Stop- stop doing that. Hello? Maybe- maybe we should, uh, maybe we should topple her? Hold on. Oh, we can't topple a face mech on camera. Oh, hang on. Uh, explain it to me. I don't, I don't know what's happening. She's healing? Is she- yeah, she is healing. Okay, can we- oh, you know what? Purge. Let's purge. Let's purge. Let's see if that'll help. Maybe this will stop her from doing crazy shit. Okay. Let's dig in now and see if this works. Uh... It, it, it doesn't. You may have bugged the fight. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I, I, I've actually never experienced a bug like this. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. Oh, you, oh hold up. Hold up. There was a unit? <laughs> there was a stray unit. Oh god damn it. All right, fine God, how was he here the whole time and not attacking us? What? I've never seen that Anyways, we figured it out I oh, wow Power sounds like shower says Ricky That's right chat. Ricky said hey gamers take a shower. That's that's the real power up do it. Take take a shower, gamers. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A little bit of this. Okay. He was just socially anxious. 
You know what? I can see it. I can see it. He seems like the shy type. The teddy bear energy, right? With his drill hands. There we go. All right. Oh, that was... Okay, she can't get hurt past that. Stop! Don't you recognize Shulk? Fiora! Fiora, please! Don't you remember us at all? It's no use! Everyone, it's time to retreat. Got it. Yo, we could have... We could have done... I, you know, I get it, though. We don't want to kill her, so... Move! Shulk! We don't want to kill her. All right, here we go, everyone. Um, hello? Yes, catch, catch, catch Melia. Ricky's flying and holding Ryan up. Uh-oh. You all right? Yeah. I think so. What do we do now, Shulk? We ain't gonna last long here. Fiora! Try and remember! It's us! I pity you. Oh boy. The big man's Without here. the power of that sword, I doubt you would ever have made it this far. So, you used people and mechs to get far. Don't go blaming tools. You Apocrypha. are a tool. Huh? Activate. What's the Apocrypha? What is... Hmm... Hey, it's coming from inside the Makanis. Uh, oh, hey! What's going on? It, it just turned off my Monado. Look out! So they can do that now. Shulk! I'm... Uh, okay. Shulk, Not looking good. Right here. Holy shit, Ryan? He couldn't do that at the beginning of the game. Man, just took down a mecha and just, just by beating the shit out of him. Fiora! Stop this right now! How could you? Shulk came here to save you! The scolding word? Do you hear me, Fiora? Listen to your brother. Oh? You must run. Oh? She's she's good? Fiora! Fiora! Oh whoever you are. Please run! The machine is not under my control. Hmm? Not under your control? Is it him? Most surprising. I admit, I never expected such resistance to becoming a fate. Hmm. Yeah, he, he's, he's controlling. Fiora, what have you done to Well, her? we can't really do much with the, the Monado off. Of their creation, all mech on our mind to control. Should a passenger defy me, I force it to obey. Why make Homs into mech on? Yeah, why? Why are you making them attack by honest? We still don't know why, like, this is even happening. If you wish to know, you have only to submit yourself to me. Mm, nah. <laughs> All will become clear when you attack by honest with a new body born of Mechonis. No. Never! Who would ever submit to you? You can't just... Forget about him. The, we have to get out of here. And then expect me to but, join you. But what about Fiora? If we die here today, she will be... She will be lost forever. Yeah, we, we gotta get the hell out of here. I have rendered the Monado useless. You have no hope of victory or escape. <sighs> you chunk of scrap! So it was you who did that to the Monado! You did, the Monado yeah. is a tool that regulates the waves of the very ether from which the world is formed. Therefore... It can be counteracted simply by releasing opposing waves. But that how easy, can huh? you? The questions end here. Hand over the Monado. After all, it is no longer of use to you. Hmm. Never! If the Monado really is powerless, then why would you want it for yourself? Ooh, true. 
I will never give it to you. Why is this never. sword so special? You know, other, other than what we have choice. experienced. Be oh shit. By my fist, or slain by your old friend. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> and he, she does Help have the nano machines, Ozzy. Also, welcome to Ozzy. Oh boy. Yeah, as you can see here, he's liquid ocelotting her. Gold face, level 60 in the red. Yeah, I don't think so, everyone. I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of locked in. My Monado's kind of locked away. I don't really know how this is gonna go, but I'm, I, I guess, I guess we'll try a chain attack. You know what? No, maybe not. Maybe we don't do that. Because it's the game title. <laughs> what? Z the Xenoblade Chronicle? Oh god. Fiora, excuse me, girl. Please don't do that. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get a save. Uh, oh wait, never mind. She made us target her. All right, screw it. Okay. I love that his name is just straight up Goldface. <laughs> Coming out like a Bond villain. God. And how you wish? Welcome in. How's it going? It's going good. We just hit some more story. It's getting wild, and I'm screwed. But welcome in. Thank you for almost nine months. You almost, you almost became a sub, baby. I very much appreciate that. Hope you the stream tonight. Ah, shit. Yeah, we can't hurt it anymore. We can't hurt the mecha. No, not now. Huh? You good, girl? Shall we go back to gold face? I don't want to. I don't want to kill Fiora. More than the drive. Keep it up, Ricky. That's not, that's not how it goes. Excuse me? Alright, alright. We got this. We got this. I, it, it, right, chat? Okay, maybe maybe we don't got this. What is going- Yo, he just broke the entire area. Excuse me? You believe in me in moderation? You know what? That's justified. Because, like, this shit is- This shit's a little intense. Oh, boy. We can't even stop that, can we? Honorable blow. Okay, that looks like an AoE. I don't think we can stop that one. But I can try. Oh god. Let me build it up, please. Ah oh, shit, never mind, it's happening. It's fine, it's fine. I believe in you not dying too badly. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna have to take that, unfortunately. I'll take that, thank you. Let's do this. God. All right, that blows not look honorable. Yeah, that was kind of that's kind of bullshit. That was kind of bullshit. Anyways, we're in luck, Chad. I was just kind of fooling. It's scripted. We just have to survive. There's no way we're able to take them on. <laughs> You're the worst user of my life, Ego. Oh, th here's the song. This. That boy is at risk. This song's dope. <sighs> You're gonna love it. Shulk, don't let him die. Oh. Help, Shulk. Oh wait, that's Fiora. That's her voice. Who are you? Hmm? This is the end. Hmm? So it is Fiora? Heir Maybe? to the Monado. Whoever you are, please lend me your strength. What was that all about? I won't let you do this! Fiora! How dare you defy me! Now let's go, let's go! Worthless machine! Get his ass, Fiora! Fiora! Wait, oh no. Thank you. No matter. How much you yearn for revenge. I will not permit you to have your way. What is that red light? <gasps> the Monaga. Huh? But how? What do you mean? Hmm? Uh oh. Oh boy. No, stop! Oh no. Please. Survive. Will you die for them? Oh. What is this? Uh, What's so special with that red light? What's going on? Yeah, no. Yep. Yep. Not good. Let's get out of here. She's fine, right? I, I don't. It's not looking so fine. I'm sorry to say, Shulk, everyone. Where are you? 
<laughs> Thank you for the sub. <laughs> Shulk, are you really just going? Shulk? Shulk, get Hello? back here! We are... Homie, you're, you're on the edge of like a million miles high. I don't blame him though. Oh boy. Well, Shulk, no! Smartest idiot in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's a wild move by Shulk, but honestly. That no, that is not possible. Hmm? It cannot be. There was something about that red light. It reacted to our Monado. But, uh, yeah, jumping seems like the option there, because Galahad's blowing up. Yo, the high end here? Alchemoth? Hello? But yeah, thank- uh, welcome in, Chaos. Thank you for the resub. Very much appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. The fortress has collapsed? Melia's brother. What of Melia? And Shulk? The observation was based solely on long-range intelligence. We cannot be any more specific. <sighs> Ooh, good guess, QB. You don't I need wonder. to worry about them. But oh, hey, Dixon. Take it easy. I've got a pretty good idea where they are. How? How do if you know so much? Attack, you better do it now. Their fortress ain't completely destroyed. Or do we just sit here and wait to die? Shall I perform the divination ritual now? Yo, Elvis, our boy. Forgive me, sir. Come save us. That will not be necessary. From now on, we will seize our destiny with our own hands. Nice. We don't need to see the future. Yeah. The Mekon forces are on their way. Yeah. No doubt about it. Who said Dixon is so fine? Window? <laughs> what are you saying? I like the look in your eye there, lad. It's time. This is war. I feel you wish. Alvis, Alvis is so good. I love Alvis. You second that? We got Dixon fans. You know what? It it we we actually had a uh, a whole like thing about this one time where I was like, yeah, who who here thinks he's attractive? And everyone's like, he's kind of old man hot. <laughs> and I was like, all right. Anyways, this is a very important scene. I'm not gonna explain anything. But once again, if you have never played this game, this is only for people who have never played this game or don't know how this story goes. You you can make guesses as to where you think this is all going. But this 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 scene is actually very it's important. It's been a long time. Since I last had this dream. Just maybe not yet. Maybe Shulk. I reached out for a piece of scrap metal. And then I fell. Into the ground. How, how, how was he looking at himself? That is the area where the game began. There's gonna be more to that. But, uh, he fell and looked at himself. Was I? By the way, this- this next part, I- well, I'm not gonna say anything. Just enjoy- enjoy this Was dream. I dreaming? Ugh. Vera! What's that? All right, everyone. Your favorite arc? Yeah. It's a good arc. Well, first, before I go, <laughs> Makanis. Bionis. Where are we, Chet? It's the Makonis' severed hand. Those were its fingers. But, uh... Let's, let's, let's go check this out here. Fiora.
Fiora. She's still breathing. She's alive. <sighs> Can't take that. It's attached to her. The tears in chat was for a different reason. But she's breathing. Wake up. <sighs> and it actually sounds like her. That's not the other voice. Wake up. Hmm. She needs water. All right. Let's get some wa wa Walter? Walter? Walter. Let's go let's get some water. And let's uh let's pray things let's pray things work out well. Hmm? I'm not going to tell you how things turn out. This game's full of <laughs> full of surprises both good and and depressing. Well, let's see what happens here. <gasps> She's unable to drink it, so how does he get her to drink it? Yeah! That's right! <laughs> They let them kiss. Fiora. <laughs> Just in a awake. really funny way. But they did it. Um, do you remember? Mm. My name is... Sh oh, I can't believe it. My first kiss. <gasps> you do remember me. Fiora. Oh, of course cute. I do. Shulk. She's okay. <laughs> Funny, but she's cute. She's good. It's cute. I love this scene. I love this scene. Kiss again. What? But that it's good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh man, we finally got her back after all that heartbreak for so many playthroughs and all the I, rest in peace, Fiora. I never forgot you or the others. We got her back. Then we got her back. Why? Because Man. I wasn't me anymore. I wanted to call out, but I couldn't. What do you mean? What did you mean? When it happened. When Colony 9 was attacked by the Mekon. Now we can finally look at this cutscene and not be as depressed. If, if they show this flashback again, because at least we know... <laughs> I At the I very died. least, she's back. Stop punching my eyes. I'm sorry, I know. I I'm emotional too right now. Rip through me. I couldn't remember anything. There was no sound. No light. Okay, no so pain. she technically did die. Um, but we'll get to that. When I came round, I had the body of a machine. Yeah, there you go. And it felt like there was someone inside me. There was a whole other voice in you. But yeah, she basically did like die, but <laughs> which Someone is depressing. Else. But at least she's the one okay who now. was controlling the mechon you were in. Yes, that voice. But I could still see and hear. I was there all the time. Except uh, I had no control over my body, and I couldn't talk. That's why it seemed like you didn't recognize us. Yes. Inside my heart, I was crying out desperately. But you didn't hear me. Nobody did. Hmm. We always believed it was you. It's okay. You don't have to say that. I know it would have confused me. But... The person inside you. Do you know who, who it was? Who is the random person, Jack? No. I heard her voice when she spoke, but I didn't know what she was thinking. Alter ego? Something else? There hmm. was something she urgently needed to do. Hmm. I understood that much. What do you think happened to her? There was the weird red light. Maybe there she's There was sleeping. the... Or 
Maybe she's trapped like I was. There was the red light resonating I with the Monado. Stays trapped. Oh wait, what? Hijacking your body, treating it like it's her own. Oh shit, Shulk's mad. She seemed friendly though. I, I guess. I say good riddance. Jeez. And let that be the end of it. Um, Shulk, I don't think she's totally to blame. Yeah, she kind of she kind of helped us. I, I get his emotions are crazy right now though. She needed my body for something. I don't know what it was. I just know it was important. Hmm. I want to help. Why would you? I knew she was using my body. But I didn't hate her for it. She was kind. She was taking care of my body. I could feel it. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Yeah. And she did everything she could to protect you. So, back when we were fighting... Against Egu, she knew what I wanted to do, and did it for me. Oh. Huh. So, I want to help her if I can. Please, Shulk. All right. Then we'll do everything we can. To I like, find out what I like how understanding he can be, too. <laughs> Shulk, Shulk's a Thank good character. You. I like Shulk. He has his Welcome moments where back, you're like, please do, Fiora. but he's, he's kind of great. Oh, yo, yo, I'm yes, yeah, yeah, it's cute, it's cute, I don't know, that was a good bit, that was cute, I like it, it's cute, oh, I love them, I love them, what do we do now, oh, we have to find the others, I know they're alive, I can feel it, everyone's gonna be surprised when they see you, everyone being, oh god, yeah, we have Ryan, a whole group, Dunban, and there are a few others we met along the way. Charla, Ricky, and Melia. Yeah, Melia. I just know you're going to like them. Mm. It looks like you've been through a lot as well. Yeah. Yeah. But nothing's going to separate us now. Come on. Psh, no you, Suka. How about that? Huh? Anyways, chat. Now, I can finally tell you about the one fun thing this community does and why I love them so much. The Xenoblade community. They, um... They always talk about a party member named Seven. And Seven is just Fiora, because she's the seventh party member. And they've been doing that ever since this game came out in, like, 2011. Just to hide that spoiler. And it's, to this day, it's been like that. So, whenever you talk to anyone and, and you want to bring up Xenoblade, and you want to mention this whole party member here, you say Seven. Because it's fun. It's nice, you know? And it's cool being nice. But yeah, she's uh, she's here. I, I'm going to say straight up, I don't like use her like at all. Uh, but she is really cool. I know you can make her like crazy. Um, but I actually don't use her that much. I will upgrade her though right now. Because I'm going to need her for a bit. Not my streamer. What, for not using Fiora? Okay, I'll, I'll at least use Fiora here. I have no choice. <laughs> In front damage. I like that there's she has like an in front critical move, which is kind of cool. Flicking break. She's pretty fun. She is pretty fun. I just like suck. Inflicting days. That's good. What else you got here? Second gear. Tense all muscles and body. Removes debuffs and creates a regenerative aura. That's kind of cool. Got some light support vibes to it. Single enemy creating aura focus. Oh, you got a Dunban move. Look at you. Absorbs ether. Why not? Um, produces a special field and inflicts paralysis. Okay. Let's go. Um, get a little bit of this in here. Uh, but yeah. Welcome to next area. I might grab a snack really quick in a second. God, I hope I have some. Okay. I'm kind of running low. <laughs> Uh, Bob Top, thank you so much for the 18 months. My cruise trip is next week, so I won't be able to join these streams. I'll be sure to take a lot of pictures for you all and make some art. Hell yeah! Well, I cannot wait to see the art and the pics, of course. I hope you have a lovely trip, Bob Top. And thank you for the 13 months. You know, I hope you continue to enjoy your time around here, and I hope you enjoy however long you spend here. Um, but yeah, seriously, have a lot of fun on that. That sounds awesome. A good chill cruise sounds like a damn a good time. Uh, improve strength, buff up, buff up, uh, just physical damage, movement speed. 
Very speed of the roar from battle. This one's through the gauge. Special armor from Mekon is to be equipped. What? Interesting. I'll leave her on that. Okay, let's explore a bit. But, uh, how was that? <laughs> to those who have been invested, I hope you enjoyed that little scene. Because that, that shit gets me emotional. It was part of a bit to take all those pictures, but not gonna lie, I at least wanted, like, two of those pictures. It's cute. It's cute. I'm happy that, like... I'm happy that, like, the romantic interest who dies actually, like, did come back. And it's all- it's all happy. It's still kind of bleak because this is not her body. Like, she did- like, she did pretty much die and got a robotic body. But at the very least, she's alive, you know? And they were adorable at the start. And I, I remember seeing chat, because it's the reaction of anyone who, like, knew who plays. I'm always like... Because I remember when, um... I remember when, like, Matt first played. And when, like, your guys' reaction when you saw Fiora die. And everyone's like, well, what the hell? Like, we're having such a good time with her. And now she's just gone. And it's so hard to not say, like... Just wait, like... <laughs> just wait, like, 40 hours. It's so funny. It's so funny. I don't, th I don't think I can do this, by the way. Wait, she's alive? Yeah. Yeah, she's in a robo body, Bob Top. And uh, she was an enemy at first because she was being controlled. There's like another voice inside of her. And that voice is also kind of nice. And I, I don't, we don't even know. All, all I know is uh, we fell from like a million meters from the sky, landed on a beach, and she got her memories back. Or she always had her memories, but she's in control of her body again. It's hard to explain because it's just it's confusing as hell. Also, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. And she and she has her like old like you know battle like voices back kinda. Oh shit. I'll see people react to that part. I'm always just going, yeah, exactly right? It's like, do they know? <laughs> they don't know. Alright, Fiora, I'm sorry to say this, you're still gonna die. <laughs> in the fight! In the fight. It's like that one dude who said in Minecraft. Which, you know, screw that dude. Oh no! That's fine. We got one kill. We got one kill. Yeah, we got Fiora back, Justice. We got the cute kiss scene. And their head and you know the foreheads touching scene. It was good. She just came back. I'm sorry. At least we got one kill out of that. To those who don't know, if you die and you spawn back here, you, you get to keep all the experience. So that was still progress in a way. But let's go see what the arm has to offer, you know? Now, I'm gonna say this. So this area is actually not one of my favorites. I like it a lot. But the area after this, that's where shit is becomes like it, it was once I got there where I was like, okay, this is like probably like my favorite game of all time next to Breath of the Wild. And the song that plays there is one of my favorite video game songs ever. And maybe we'll reach it by tonight. We probably will. Maybe. I actually don't know. And Zach, have yourself a lovely night. Thanks for coming by. Hope you enjoyed the stream. The next yeah, the next area goes so hard. Next area is fantastic. The sense of progression you get in that area, too, is just so condensed and amazing. It was worth my to change my schedule for the stream. So happy I'm here today. I'm happy you... I'm, well, that makes me happy to hear, Mel. I'm so happy you're enjoying. I love being a scrimble man who jokes around and, and, and says blip, 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 and that. But I also, I also love when people are really into the game and the story and stuff, too. And we can all be, like, hyping up and getting emotional together. It's a lot of fun, you know? And don't worry, Justice, my sleep's, are, my sleep's like that, too. Again, I've been uh, doing some hardcore cardio workouts and physical workouts again, so I'm hoping it puts me to sleep. Drop the metal pipes. I got you. <laughs> Fiora, I think you Silk. dropped, like, an arm part. Fiora! Huh? Are you, are you okay, Fiora? What's wrong? Sorry. My body feels a bit strange. I think I just need to rest. Oh, man. I'm sorry. It's okay. Poor Fiora. We can take a break here. She's been through enough shit, man. I wonder what happened after the fortress. Yeah, where's our friends? Where did the others all end up? Where is Ryan his massive pillows when we need him? <laughs> yeah, Mel. The Monado's light is fluctuating. That mechon, 
really messed it up. Hmm. But still, I have to protect Fiora. Shulk. Hmm. Can't you sleep? Sorry. Did I wake you? No, it's okay. I slept really well. You want to eat? You must be hungry. No thanks. Right. But I'd like you managed to, to bring stuff. food through all of that? Oh, yo, the Xenoblade theme song? Okay. You know it's gonna be good. Oh, look how nice he is. They're having, you know, they're having, like, food and drink again. Like they did the beginning You should again. eat. Even if you're not hungry. You need to get your strength back. <sighs> no, I'm fine. This body has its uses. I never need to eat. I never get hungry. Oh, it's so weird, though. I just run on water. Don't worry. I mean, like, that's convenient, <laughs> but damn. That's just sad. I prefer my old body. But this one has some advantages. Shulk. You can leave me. Oh. It's okay. Oh, my heart. No, wait, don't say what? that. What? I mean... Look at me, Shulk. This body is a Mekon body. So I should live here on Makonis. This is where I belong. You don't have to do that. The Fiora you knew is dead. Just think of it like that. It's for the best. But I can see it's not true. I mean, you're right here. I'll never forget how I felt when I thought I'd lost you back at the colony. I should have done something. I thought if only I had the power to save you. Shulk. No. No more regrets. Mm. I will protect you. Aww. Besides, there's someone else inside your head. We can't leave her there. Yeah. <sighs> I guess not. Oh, come on. We're having a tender moment, you son of a... Mekon! <laughs> no! Not now! Kill! Shulk. It's time to kill. Let me... Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Right. Away you. Come on, Manado. Don't let me down. Dude, solo match? The Manado bends to your will. Elvis? No. I won't let you take her from me. This time, I will protect Fiora! Yes. Hello? He activated it through sheer right. will? I can do this. Through sheer will. Bro, I don't know if I can do this, chat. I, I actually don't know if I can do this. Okay. Alright. Alright! The Monado's back in action! <clears throat> Never mind, that's a lot of damage. You're right, Stream Edge just charged the Monado. Thank you, chat. Thank you, QB, for that. That I actually did not pay attention to. Ah, oh, we got this. We got this. You goober? All right. I am the goober who's got this. Observe. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Piece of shit. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. We're determined. The Shulk is pissed. All right. Mm. Let's go. Easy. Easy. The Monado. It worked, but... I mm. feel... Worse than before. Hmm. Whatever he did to the Monado He's is... He's kind of feeling like Dunban a little bit. Interesting. Dunban had to force it to work, too. What's that sound? Wait, actually, what's that sound? I'm sorry, we got... We got angels no. now? No! We're surrounded. They're like, we're surrounded. That one Mechon's looking around like, where is he? What was that about Dunban? Remember how the uh, Dunban wielded the Monado and he felt pretty awful holding it? In fact, most people feel awful when they try to hold that thing. Uh, but Shulk's starting to feel uh, kind of bad too. Where are we? Oh, hey, there he is. Oh, you don't remember? Yeah, so Dunban was the first person to actually, like, handle Bonato. You're up, Ben. But the Bonato didn't choose him. He just tanked Charla. the pain. <laughs> Which is why his arm's all messed up now, and he's left-handed now. He just somehow tanked it. 
To you, to me, he's back. I don't know. I've only just come round. Where are the others? I look for them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh. It's a time it's a time to ship them. Ryan. It's a time to ship them. Thanks. Huh? For protecting me back there. Yeah. It got rough, but at least you got out safe. Like in the theories. Look at me. I'm useless. Ryan, no, wait! Can't even keep a promise. Ryan! I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? In the old days, Shulk was kind of frail. You know, like everyone's a the morale's that low. Gets bossed around by the other colony animals. It was me who used to be there. To You're save amazing, him. though. That's why I promised Fiora. But now look at me. Ryan. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Ryan I know. The chat needs you. The chat loves Ryan. Do you remember Colony 6? Always Ryan time. Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the Colony. Thinking about it, I realized they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, yeah. I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, they could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defense Force suffered its fair share of pain. And not just physical. Mm. Friends and family. Alive one day, gone the next. It all became so normal. You end up wondering how you can possibly make a difference when war is so futile. I'm not the only one who felt like that sometimes. But nobody Don't ever gave up. And you know why? Don't take it because <laughs> you were strong? We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, you'd lose everyone you loved. That's so messed. So we had to keep looking straight ahead. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Yeah. Don't go doubting yourself. Yeah. Even if things get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Get it? Yeah. I get it. <laughs> so now what? <laughs> you get We're it? We're looking for Shulk and Fiora. It, it's a joke. I might be like a third wheel, but I can still lug around the heavy stuff. Finally. Third that's wheel. the Rhine I know. You're a fourth wheel. You just don't know it yet. Um, I meant that in a good way. There. Were you talking about that guy, Gabo? Oh. Not just about him. Oh. Why do you ask? Oh. Oh, nothing. Oh. Just... You know, <gasps> seems like tough competition for a guy like me. Oh! <laughs> Ryan. Hmm? Hmm? Do you think Shulk End and game. the others are okay? Of course they End are. Game. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> Mel's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Back Welcome to your in. old self, I see. Right, we better get looking. Welcome in, Li Livy. Why does he have horns? Oh, it's just an accessory. It's just a fun little accessory to up his defense. He's st he's still normal normal lad. That's why she also has like the bird help like the bird wings. <laughs> hey, I hope you're doing well, Livy. Welcome in. Anyways, how many alley oops can we get in the row chat? Let's see. One. Damn it. If I can get three alley oops, I win the lottery. You ready? Damn it. Oh. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Damn it. Come on. Give me three. Come on. Okay. Oh. Two is pretty good, but... Okay. Last try. Let's go. Okay, this is the last try for real. Okay. Okay. Yo! Three alley-oops! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We scored! Chat, wait until you find out what the record is. Not for me, but the record online. Some dude on YouTube got like 17 alley oops, <laughs> and to this day we we just don't know how. Like the, like it was just such a minimal like minimal odds. There's a record, <laughs> yeah. Some dude scored like 17 alley oops. It was crazy. Oh, what the heck is an alley oop? It's it's it, it's 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 right there. It was that. It was just a straight up alley oop. Now alley oop is. <laughs> Alley-oop is, um, that's what, like, some people say as a saying when they, like, jump or dive into something. 
I, I actually don't know the origin of it. Oh, hey, Sharla. Acting like you beat me to it. Sharla, no! Oh. You've been shot? What'd you get shot for? Oh, caps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does she want the big alley-oop? It's true. She wants the... Yeah. So you get three in a row, I'll do the biggest one. What's that sound? Someone's in a fight. Up ahead. Oh, one second. We didn't even have to play as in. Shulk! Ryan! One minute. I know I got an alert. Give me I got you back. We'll turn them into scrap. Yeah. Right. The lads are back. Let's do this shit. Ozzy, man, thank you for the five months. You just made the chapter seven of Xenoblade 3 and, and saved you know who. I'm not mentally, mentally prepared for what comes next. You're in for a wild ride, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, obviously, but I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. And thank you so much for the resub, as always. It's been a, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Um, Here's the original three team, chat. The gang's back. Let's go. And I believe they have anti-mech on stuff. Actually, I don't know if Charla does. Actually, Rhyme's not... Oh, I gave him a non mechon weapon! Ah, oh, shit, right. Hold on. We can fix that real quick. Uh, 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 enchant. Okay. Is someone asleep? Oh, it's him. Okay, we're good. Easy. Not Ryan time. He, 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 I, I, I allow him to Ryan on his own. He gets freedom. Ryan freedom. And her rifle's getting really hot again, chat. It's getting hotter. I, I almost missed Charles rifle getting hotter, and that sounds so funny, just out of context. But I really did miss her rifle getting hotter. You have the link to the 17 in a row alley -oop. I think I do too. Chat, if you want to see it, I can Good show y'all. Um, I don't I know if you actually want to see it. Shulk. Thanks to you. Ryan. Oh, oh. Ryan, it's you. Cute, cute reunion. Finally, let's go. Fiora, she remembers us. She sure does. Yeah. She's been through Imagine lot. how Dunban's gonna feel, chat. Imagine how Dunban's gonna feel. I can see. Wow. If only we could find Dunban. Yeah, he'll be blubbering at the sight of us. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever cry in front of you two. Oh, does that mean so he cries? He does cry. He said he doesn't no cry. Watching. Yep. He's well, always been like that. He He's cries a, a lot, Chet. But he hates anyone seeing him. <laughs> There's the lore. I never knew. Nope. I don't believe it. <laughs> Her lap is cute. Her voice is just adorable. Take it easy. Dumb Ben does cry. I'm okay. I want to see my brother. I want you to see your brother Let's too. Let's go, Shulk. You gotta see him. If you can't walk, I'll carry you. <laughs> I'm much heavier now. I've been pumping my guns. <laughs> I love the angle to really show his guns being pumped. That shit I always can killed see. me. <laughs> Ryan, you really looked after Shulk for me. Aw. I wanted to, but it feels more like he's the one who's been protecting me. That's not true. It's okay. I know it, you know it. I'm not here to protect you anymore. Nah, come on. But you are here for something. Yeah. What I did just now. It don't matter how strong you get. You ain't got eyes in the back of your head. Yeah, that's actually so a I'll pretty good line. <laughs> Ryan, you... Ryan, you're like a whole new person. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's good you've become so dependable. Yeah. Was I that undependable before? The character development Take has been great for all compliment. the characters. Ha! You haven't changed a bit. What would we do without you? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. You want to see my brother I do, cry, chat. You want to see you want to see Dunban yeah, cry, right? Wouldn't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see him cry. It, it's just funny cuz if you guys don't know, at the beginning of the game, someone said they wanted the OG3, like the real OG3. So hang on, let me um I can I can set us up with that for a bit. Um at the beginning of the game, when Fiora, like, dies, uh, Dunban's like, don't worry, Shulk, like, I won't cry. Like, this and this happened, like, she she gave her life to save you, so I won't cry. I will shed no tears, and it's just funny knowing that, like, when he's alone, he, he, he just does. He just does cry anyways. 
Which are honestly like good. <laughs> like that that that's good. It's healthy. Cry. Cry if you need to cry. It's just really funny, like that's such a little sister thing to just out like the just out his like dirty laundry like that. <laughs> it's so funny. Classic putting on a front. Yeah, absolutely. He truly is just a himbo. He, he's just he's just an older himbo. He's a himbo in his like 30s or something. So yeah, that's just how they get, I guess. I want to see him crouching collectively hug him. I'm saying, <laughs> by Charlotte, smile. May your rifle get ever cooler. <laughs> Easy as hell. She does a shitload of damage. We're not, like we don't even have a healer now. Is this smoke coming out of you? Wait, what? Is there was there smoke? Whoops. Thanks for showing us Dunban collecting it, implying he's not dead at least. You know what's funny? You said that, and I got scared for a second thinking there was smoke in my room. I- I- Tired Brain's hitting. T tired Brain is hitting. I was like, yo, am I on fire? The only reason I'm scared though is because one time, uh, a fire did almost start during a stream. I don't think chat remembers because I like- I didn't panic too much. But one of my heaters broke, and it was off completely, but there was heat coming out of it, but not from the fan. It was generating so much heat, it was coming out of the vents, but that's because something was overheating badly. And I went, no, 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 no. And I like ran away from the mic to unplug it and just put it in a corner somewhere. Or like away from anything. It was like away from walls and shit. And I was like, I don't want this thing setting off. Um, but yeah, I, I've had heaters break really weird on me. I, I had one had get like intense burn marks all over it. And I was like, okay, maybe it's time to, maybe it's time to remove this shit. But you guys, you, you guys could have, you guys could have witnessed a demise. Not of me, I would have ran like hell, but probably of my room. And all my belong- oh, that would have sucked. Oh yeah, I would have lost my job too, that would have sucked. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty bad now that I think about it. Let's kill an Oopa, let's see if we have enough strength for it. They're in the yellow, that might level us up. Everyone, save the guitar, yeah, I gotta save the guitars. Everyone. I gotta save my switch. But the thing is, you can't really be doing that, you'll just die. I, I have learned a bit of fire safety though. At the very least. So I could at least try to put it out. If it isn't too bad. But man. Fire is a big fear. A big fear. Fire. Get it? All your collectible Zeldas and Xenoblade stuff? Yeah. I have to like... For like insurance, I gotta like take pictures of all my belongings. They won't be able to replace it all, but they can still replace some things if that shit like ever does happen. Ooh, sword drive looking hot. Let's go. Let's go. Bam. God, the chain's still going. Fiora is not part of this chain, I just realized, because she's down, but that's fine. Still got mechanical rhythm playing. Topple his ass. What do you mean? Ratio him, come on. That's fine. He rhymed time pretty hard. Fire's not to be messed with. Yeah, you don't, like, I don't think some people realize how quick a fire, like, starts. Like, once it starts, if you have, like, depending on the make of your home, your house will catch on fire from the heat alone. And that fire will spread way faster than you think. Oh, 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 oh. Poor oil I need to have to worry about it anymore. Oh, I can become like a french fry. Let's go. Can have a rainbow without Ryan, baby. I'm saying, Node. Welcome in, Node. Hope you're doing well. It's finally Ryan time for a bit. We have the original three team here. I know some people in chat have wanted this for a bit. It's been a while. There was jokes about Ryan never coming back into the party. Well, here you go, chat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Squishy cabbage? Is that what that said? Yeah, squishy cabbage. That's what you guys would call me. That's me, everyone. It's me, squishy cabbage. Affluent Bileth? Bileth? Yo, Xenobay Bileth? Blah, blah, blah. Holy shit. My wife? Has turned into a frog? I'm not- I'm not- I'm not dealing with that. Soup creature. <laughs> Soup creature. God. That has to be in the bot somewhere. We also better not be calling me Soup creature or else we're gonna have a bit of a fight. And I know how to throw hands. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't know what I'm saying. I'm buffed up. Have yourself a lovely night. Thanks for coming on by. I hope to see you again soon. 
This song is so nice. It's so chill. This really is another calm before the storm kind of area. Ah, yes, the Radio Carpia. I'm guessing that's the wrist. <laughs> Funny name, but I'm guessing that's the wrist. Actually, no, it might not be. I don't know. Good throwing hand sound effect. I should be a Foley artist for real. Just give up music and just do that instead. God, I miss her funny jump noise. It's so good to have Fiora back. And to think that's, that's not the end of the game. How can there how can there possibly be more? We got our revenge. I mean, we didn't beat the big guy. I guess that's you know. But we got our revenge. We got we got, we got the girl back. What is it? I can. Here's something. Oh? What? Was it the sub? I can't hear anything. Because I heard the sub. Maybe our sense of hearing isn't strong enough. Thank you so much, Chris. No I really sound. appreciate it. Thanks for your squishy. More I love squishy. One. Watch out. Something's here. What's here? <sighs> Thank you so, so much, Chris. Oh? Humanoids? Hold on, chat. What the hell does that mean? Why are there humanoids? Oh, here's the rest of the gang. And cabbage, you got the squishy cabbage combo. Yo, thank you, Chris. Damn. Also, how you doing, Chris? It's so lovely to have you here. Friend stop for Ricky. <laughs> Thank you so much for the squishy cabbage sub. And also, oh, friend stop Ricky for Ricky. Ricky's very hungry. And Ricky's sleepy. If Ricky not rest now, Ricky not keep going. All right, fine. Mm. Well, we can't have that, can we? <laughs> we'll rest here before going any further. How are you? I'm doing Melia, really good. Do you need to rest? I'm having a lovely night. I am night. fine. Good. Are you fine, Melia? Okay. All right. What what if I told you this is another cute scene that you're going to enjoy? In fact, it, well, you'll see. This shit's really good and the music's really really cute. Hmm. What's this? Kill upon Ricky have big fight with fish. Ricky win. Grilled fish taste yum yum. Ah, dum dum eat too. <laughs> I thought you said you couldn't move if yeah, you didn't Yeah, weren't you exhausted? Oh, Ricky very tired. But Ricky very hungry too. Huh. How considerate of you. Huh. Ricky not understand dun dun. Hmm. Don't try to hide it. You realized Melia was lagging behind. She would never admit it. how tired she was. He did it because Melia That's was the real tired. Reason you ask. That's why he said he was tired. Hmm. Now that's good fish. Even in this strange place, at least the fish tastes like it should. Ricky, glad done done like yum yum fish. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, this is why he's a dad. He May knows. He's tired. Oh? But Ricky tired too. And Dundun not look happy. <laughs> What's this? Am I that transparent? Here comes an, a genuine moment from this little man. Which Ricky unexpected. Ricky wants to hear Dundun's story. Ricky, listen carefully. He's so silly, but he... Ricky is the hero born. But he's such a dad. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. Well, seeing as you're here, I'll tell you. Also, this is, yeah. this is his song. Ricky, listen. I have a sister. Her name is Fiora. Mm -hmm. Ricky, no. She wears silver armor. Shulk look everywhere for her. Indeed. Shulk and Fiora, everyone knows they like each other. Yeah. But they're just not ready, I suppose. They're mm -hmm. the perfect match, but if they don't hurry up and tell each other... Even Ricky know that. <laughs> I suppose everyone does. But now Fiora has become... something else. She forget Shulk. She forget Dun Dun oh, yeah. too. They don't know that she, she remembers. Did. But Shulk won't give up that easily. Knowing that he's out there looking for her fills me with hope. I just wish I was there with him. Dun Dun, take care of them. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, little man. Dun Dun, watch over Shulk. Dun Dun, watch over Fiora. That is all a daddy pawn can do. Ricky make mistake. Dun Dun not Daddy Pon. Technically. Well, I am her older brother. But just like Daddy Pon, watching <laughs> over family. Same watch over. Dun Dun do what he must. It's uh, so silly, but it's so I cute. Have it. You know, I never it's imagined like, I'd be getting such advice from you. Yeah, it's actually like emotional. <laughs> Ricky have big family of little pon. You sure do. Ricky raise and say goodbye to many little pon. 
Ricky knows some things. Yeah? You can say that again. I had you all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he really said, look after them like a dad. And that shit was just, oh man. That was adorable. And he actually, like, knows when people are feeling things. He's like, I know you're tired, Melia. I'm gonna do this so you can get some sleep. And then he's like, I know Dunman's got like issues too. Are here. Unfortunate. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone safe. He actually is one of Everyone's the most mentally stable strong. characters. It's kind of Ricky hilarious. Is right. It is simply a matter of when we will happen across them. Yeah. Everyone landed in the same area. They have to be around here somewhere. Friends, look here. Yeah, that's my favorite Ricky part of this area, Mel. Yesterday when Ricky goes scouting. All the cute cutscenes. Because everyone's morale is like a little low. But because they have such good camaraderie, yeah. and it's such a good group of I like where this pipe leads. great written go, characters. Go. Ricky has feeling Shulk and friends they are can on cheer each side. other up. Feeling? Well, I'm willing to give your knob on instinct a try. As am I. The pipe it is. Now, there's... I don't want to ruin the moment. I'm going to after the song ends. Alright. We're entering the... When you really think about it. It's a great way to take a break from all the action, too. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. It's really, really nice. And the funny part is there's more... <laughs> there's even more lore. <laughs> so Dunban is dead. <laughs> you're honestly, you're free to say so. Everyone shrimps over this man. His design is so good too. He still is like my top cosplay like uh, idea. Cause I too would like to be like this man. He's so cool. He's so cool. Riki is a dilf too. I mean like, no, yeah, huh? You know what? Why am I even acting like I'm surprised? This has been chat all night. You're the worst user of my life, Shady. <laughs> there it is again. There it is again. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? I might. It might be better if I just find the party first before we go fighting random ass ponies. <laughs> Mushroom Kingdom. Here we come. That's my favorite line from Bob's Burgers. From Linda or whatever the wife's name is. It's true. What soup are you? Uh, an empty bowl. Because I hate soup. And that's actually a real thing. I'm not memeing. <laughs> chat, chat loves joke, uh, making memes about a it. But like, I, I, hate, I actually like ate soup. Malia! So there's a village here, Shulk! and everyone's Guys! fine. Weren't they approached by random humanoid You're people? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> you ready for this shit? And <laughs> we found Fiora. Oh wait, hang on. Get ready for this first. He's not gonna Dunban. do it. He's not gonna cry, is he? Fiora. Aw, it's cute though. Do you remember me? Mm hmm. Sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. I'm just so glad you're alive. Oh, dear brother. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Shulk, is that your childhood friend? Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Congratulations. I'm glad she is safe. Thank you. Okay. I couldn't have done it without you. But how did you all get here? And what is this place well, anyway? Here, here we go. <gasps> what are these, chat? <laughs> that's not Mechon. These people helped us. Huh? That's, this is their home. That's not Mechon. They live on the hand? Hmm. Your surprise is understandable. We are the Machina. The Machina? The people of Mechonis. Oh, so the Mechonis does have people. It's not the Mechon. The Mechon aren't the people of Mechonis. They are actual human type people <laughs> that live on the Mechonis. You mean machine people? Hmm. You look as if you have many questions. Who just said that but to Ian's please, balls? I'm gonna fight you. Take a look around our village first. We will talk after that. I will be waiting in front of the building we call Junks. There's a, there's a certain Makina character I have a crush on, but you're not going to see them yet. Um, but yeah, I remember this surprising me because I was like, I thought the Mechon were the people of the Mechonis. It turns out the Mechonis actually has people. Um, and they're humanoid, which is interesting to think about. 
It really, like, Mechonis really is just the inverse of Bionis. Like, it's just, you you have your human types, you have your animal types or whatever. Well, you don't really have animal types, do you? But it's all just, like, machine instead. Also, this song is cool. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the old party. Ye old party for a bit here. Alright. This song is really nice, though. I think I said that, like, 50 times. Yeah, there's the birds. Unless the birds are the FBI drones people have been making jokes about. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, machine people. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a store here. Oh, we can finally buy new shit. It's been so long. We need some armor. Desperately. We need new weapons desperately. What do you need? The doves are spying on us. They're, they're spying on us. Why'd that dude sound like Dixon for a second there? Did you hear that? All right, I'm going to sell some of my shit. Actually, I should... Mm. No, I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to sell it all. Okay, you're gonna live here now. What on on the on the hand? Honestly, I, I don't I don't blame you. It looks kind of peaceful here. There's ma cool machine people. There's like a full field area, like some nice planes out there. It looks pretty nice down here. And they don't seem to have a problem with the Homs, which is interesting, because it seems the Makanis things are you know they're eating the Homs and shit. So there is there is like some kind of grudge there. Why are these ones friendly? Anyways, like I said, this isn't a side quest run, so we're going to sell all this shit. And no worries, Finn. Have yourself a lovely, lovely night. And I'm glad, I am glad this stream is solely on playing some Xenoblade. That always makes me happy to hear. And hope you enjoy if you do, if you do choose to try it. This has a lot of replayability. Um, doing all the extra stuff and fighting all the special enemies and trying to like clutch your way through it is also a lot of fun. Getting all the weapons and, and secret stuff. So I, I full recommend. Uh, I recommend the whole trilogy, because it'll end up being one of the best stories you've experienced, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming on by, and I hope to see you again soon. Okay, so these hurt Mechon again. So let's let's get these and upgrade a bit. Get one for Ricky. Let's get... um uh, Murder knives, by the way. Everything's Machina. Fiora's weapon is murder knives. <laughs> Girl, what? I'm gonna buy it for her just 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 cuz. Just cuz murder knives. Man, she's great. Oh yeah, here we go. These are all parts for Fiora. Actually, no wait, there's a brave cap here. Give that to Melia. Um, she Yeah, so we can change her stats around. You can essentially like <laughs> you can like respec her with different like uh machine parts. That's kind of how she works. If I recall, that's how she works. Um, which is really, like, actually kind of cool. Okay, these are all for her, though. What about here? Speed frame. I can give her something, but, like, I don't know what I want to give her. Hmm. We have to lower defense quite a bit to bring up ether, so I don't know if I really want to do that right now. Let's see. Yeah, the, some of these drops and stats are insane. Holy shit. I don't think we need any of these, to be honest. Looks pretty bad for everyone. Let me just quickly go through this and I'll look at y'all. Murna's an amazing name. I, I I I love it. I love it. It's so it's so good. It just it, it goes with Fiora's vibe. Cause she is very nice, but I, I could see Fiora absolutely beating the shit out of someone if they cross her. Which I mean we've literally seen. So I don't even know why I'm guessing it. Burninate. Yeah, you know what? PP. Yeah, PP attack. Ricky is angry. Okay. Sure. Summon Earth. You know what? Yeah, we need some Melia moves as well. Because we love Melia, right, chat? I don't know why I said that sarcastically. We do love Melia. I love Melia. I love Melia more than anyone, really. It's true. Does new parts change your appearance too? It does. And there is one certain frame that is just very interesting. I'm not going to complain. I... I like that frame, but, you know, it, it it's an interesting frame is all I'm going to say. Here you go. Okay. Um, did I buy armor for anyone? I think I did, right? No? Let's see. Let me see the wholesome frame. I Which one Which one is that frame, chat? Was it, is it the speed frame? Oh, yeah, right, right, right. The weapons. Hold on. Machina sword. Machina biter. Machina staff. Did I buy any other Machina things? I didn't even... Oh, I got her murder knives. Here you go. It, it is speed. All right, hang on. Just because. What do you need? And we also might actually, like, need it at some point, because I might end up using her. 
Um, so we can mix it up. We can mix it and do a little bit of speed there because it doesn't drop too much. So please uh, keep a lookout for Suka. I think they're trying to turn me into soup. Suka, are you trying to turn people into soup? Do it. I want to see it happen. I want to see Suka. Yeah, there you go. That's one part of it. It gets interesting, but that there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good frame. As I said, I won't complain. It's just it's just really funny that that's there. But uh, I can tell that the creators, the, the, the devs, the writers, whatever, they love mechs. They love mechs a lot, a lot. And you know what, chat? I do too. I do too. So I'm fine with this. Also, um, chat, there's a child in here. I thought this was a mech on when I first played the game. There's a, you can see the small baby in there with like his like cool like anime hair. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Or Orcatic's body isn't functioning properly. He was born before me, but he's growing at a much slower rate. Interesting. Yeah, there's baby Machina and little like space carriages. It's cute. That is true. Suka is a he him. Oh, no! Oh, God! Sorry, that wasn't in reaction to Suka. I'm so sorry. That was me walking into the portal? <laughs> it's like, oh, no! Men! Oh! Huh! Oh, God! Anyways, this is the Nopon Arc Sage. They are, like, thousands of years old. I don't think they're canon, because you can meet them in every Xenoblade game. They're here for challenge modes. I did not mean to come here, so I'm going to leave. The Robocade is kind of cool. Oh, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. We'll visit him later, but you can get extra. They're, they are canon. Wait, wh where does it? When does it say they're canon? <laughs> Me when men. It's funny. I don't even try to be like a a, a, a men, a men like. <laughs> but then, but but then I meet some online. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> I understand. He's right there. Ah, uh, there's a quest to skip up with no pawn training to become like the Arc Sage. Really? Are you sure it wasn't like a cryptid, like, I'm gonna become like the legendary Arc Sage, but like, they don't know if he's real or not kind of thing? How are you? Either way, I don't care, but like, interesting. Have you finished looking around the village? Yeah. Let's do some lore, shall we? We need to see more lore. I say they're canon, I'm Takahashi. You know, I can't argue with that one. I can't argue with that one. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Takahashi. So, are you Mekon? In one sense we are, and in another we are not. It's literally just it is a fact that the weapons humans. you call the Mekon were created by our civilization. However, we were born from the Mekonis. Hmm. By your understanding, it would be correct to say that we are the same as Mekon. A form of mechanical life born of the Mekonis. Is that correct? From our perspective, you are forms of organic life born of the Bionis. Life born of the Mekonis? So there is life here, just like on Bionis. <laughs> Explain yep. to us why you invaded our world. What did we ever do to you? Yeah, get straight to the point, I honestly. I understand your feelings, but please, there is much yet well, to tell you. Why are your inventions you. eating Dunban, us? Dunban, please hear her out. But... These Machina, they're good people. Fiora? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? W why didn't you tell me sooner? Yeah, I'm she's, okay. she's not doing so really? well still. Nonsense. I am a doctor. Oh, you do are? Do not worry. I specialize in people in your situation. So you've dealt with other harms? Just as I thought. You were transformed into a face unit. Oh, she does know you about You are them. experiencing a functional breakdown in multiple locations. Oh, oh no. I just keep lying to you all about things, huh? Anyways, I don't worry about it. I will take you to my laboratory. The chief will answer your questions. Don't worry about he it. He is waiting for you in junks. Smile. For us? We will speak later. Shulk. Yeah, she's pretty much I'm having, like, organ failure, Fiora. in a sense. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. Charlotte's, Charlotte's great. Really the mom of the group, honestly. 
she has like sick one-on-ones and she's always like i'm gonna look after you know doctor i'm also experiencing a breakdown can you help me too yes yeah, synchro just you wait synchro there <laughs> i already teased the chat i'm like there's a machina that's what these these lads are here called these these robo people um uh there's one that i i very much have a crush on i wonder if we'll see her today we might oh okay okay dunban jeez man's like show me my sister all right you ready huh he's massive <laughs> I get a kick out of seeing people's faces every time. He's massive. <laughs> I like how Dunman's we like Jesus. We were told that you were waiting for us. That's right. I've been waiting a long time, waiting for you to accept my request. Mm -hmm. Request. But first, let me ask: the sword the young man is holding is that the Monado? It is. Hmm. And the destruction of the fortress on the sword. Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although, unfortunately, we were unable to stop Egil. Egil? Do you know him? He claims to be the leader of Maconis. This Egil that you fought is one of our people. He's a Machina. He's my son. Oh! Your son? Okay. Actually... My request is about him as well. Ah. Yeah? I want you to kill Egil. Jeez! He's that bad, huh? Hmm. Yeah, no, he actually wants it. To be- okay, so now it's kind of looking like, hey, maybe, uh... Maybe... They don't really want to have the Homs eaten. This is Egil's plan. But why does he want that? Why are they being eaten? What's the point of that kind of death? Instead of just murdering them. There's still so many questions. And we're back on Alchemoth. So we're going to have to put a pin in that. We got the, uh, the allied forces. Kentucky Fried Homs. They might taste good, but it wouldn't be morally right. You know what I'm saying? Now, no pawns on the other hand. Dearest Homs and Nopon representatives. Pop them like nuggets. My humble gratitude for accepting our invitation. They really I brought this old Antiqua, man. Regent of the Hyentia. We all know who you are. Atharon. You Hyentia have kept yourselves safe, remaining spectators to our destruction. <laughs> Why call upon us yes, now? Yes, yes, let the guilt As tripping continue, lads. As stated in my lads. invitation, it is our intention to form an allied force from the peoples of Bionis. With which we will confront Mekonis. <laughs> Look at you. One little scratch and you're already crying for help. Oh my I god, dude. I cannot deny this. The attack did serve as the catalyst. But the fact remains Chill, that we things ended have racism. Changed. Stop now. We're when gonna we be... needed help at the oh Battle of Sword Valley, our cries were ignored. Give me one good reason <laughs> why we should bother. I, I get his anger, though. Huh? But damn. I understand your anger. We were our working together now. Our was inexcusable. However, please hear what I have to say. Listen to why our stance has changed. <laughs> yes, literally you do this or you Stop defend yourself alone. You like, like, but no promises we'll stick around to the end. We High okay. Entia were mistaken. We believed that if we were attacked by the Mekon, our power alone could repel them. But a brave group of young heroes showed us the error of our ways. When the Mekon descended upon Aerith Sea, Shulk fought with a courage I have never seen. I was most surprised to see that this group was comprised of different races. Homs, Nopon, High Entia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Although different, they trusted one another as friends. As just one inhabitant of Bionis, I desired to... No, I felt compelled to become strong like them. Mm. Their strength came from the Monado. I mean... Bravery like, only gets you so far It's not just world. the Monado, man. Then you will not join us? Hold your horses, son. I said they didn't win with bravery alone. Okay. But they wouldn't have got far without it. Yeah. All right. You can count on our help. The we have, Nopon will join we have no too. reason for racism, the so just Hong join together Hong anyways. The bird people are friends of the Nopon. We will fight 
together. Yeah, the Nopon were just fine with it. They're like, yeah, well, yeah, we'll Dixon, join you. Are okay. you leaving? Yeah. It's just I felt this sudden pain in the neck. Huh? Is that your response? Pain Don't go the jumping the gun there, Prince. I'll leave the colony's forces with old Atharon here. You can use them however you want. I've got somewhere I need to be. Hmm? Might I ask where? A battle's more than just a head-on assault. The sooner you realize that, the better. I better go and remind Shulk and all. So, so like, you know of their whereabouts. How are you gonna come get to us? I told what? you. I've got a pretty good idea. Man. Dixon. Yeah? If you should meet Shulk. What? <laughs> I have something I want you to tell him. What? Got a tracker on the Monado. Yeah, at this point, like, yeah, it's kind of hard to doubt that, huh? What's that pain in his neck? Do you think if I yanked on his braid, his wig would get snatched? Who, Dixon? <laughs> wig? You want us to kill your son? That is no small request. Yeah, that, that's, there that's are quite hardly any of us macking her left on Mechonis. Oh? Back when the Bionis and the Mechonis were fighting, the Bionis almost completely wiped us out. Huh? I suppose the Bionis just didn't want us around. Hmm, that's a different version of the story. Lady Maynard for us. In the end, Maynard. the two Lady titans Maynard. wounded each other and entered a deep slumber. Hmm. Who was Lady Maynard? We've heard the that name. The creator of Mechonis. Huh? You could say that she is the Mechonis itself. Huh? It's all like you saw all this. Hey, didn't Ain't someone get called Maynard earlier? <laughs> I know I look young. But I'm actually quite old. He was there during the fight. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. Jesus. You can't be serious. The people of Makonis must have a longer lifespan. Just like we high end here live far longer than Homs. I get that. But he can't have lived that long. But why do you want your son dead? From what you've told us. Well, we gotta talk I about all that in a minute. You want us to destroy the Bionis rather than kill your own son. Agil was a brilliant young man. Clever. Strong and kind to the less able. Okay. But he never forgave the Bionis for what it did. And he swore to take revenge. Mm. So he wants to do to us what the Bionis did to the Machina? Correct. Agil is trying to eradicate all innocent life on Bionis. But why? He has like, to be fully why? Just revenge? Didn't you ever try to stop him? We tried once. A lot of people were killed. He killed his own people. He's blinded by revenge. Even Lady Maynard herself couldn't convince him to stop. Where is Egil now? Most likely the Mechonis capital. He's trying to restore its former glory all by himself. Guess where we're going. I feel sorry for him. Oi! What are you talking about? Did you forget what he did to us? Naruto moment. I haven't forgotten or forgiven. But Egil's clearly suffered a lot in his life. You don't feel any sympathy at all? Shulk moment. All I know is this stinks. Who cares what he's been through? Ryan. <laughs> I understand about Egil. But why us? You should be aware that Shulk's sword, the Monado, has the power to destroy Mechonis weaponry. It's said that it was once the sword of the Bionis. Doesn't the very sight of it make you quiver? Zanza. Huh? huh? Oh, just talking hey, to myself. Hey, that's a name we haven't heard in a bit. If huh? you're gonna kill Egil... You'll need all of that sword's why, power. Why did he bring that guy That's up? How strong that Egil random is. giant. But enough talk. You must be tired. He, I mean, he did say he Take made the Monado. Think it over. Until the young lady's treatment is finished, feel free to spend time in our village. He did say he made the Monado. <laughs> <laughs> th thanks, homie. I don't know what was funny about that, but I love you. She has done well to survive such injury. What do you mean? Is she sick? He's dead, right? Yeah, he got, Since he got you seem impaled. to have knowledge of Homs medicine, I'll explain it like this. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Oh. Am I correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a mechon? That's oh, no, right. don't worry, Mel. That was a fan thing that you saw. She has been I, I know what you saw. into a mechon's central nerve unit. Her blood can now circulate through a mechon's components. I don't recommend looking up names, though. To anyone else, don't want to spoil yourself, but for compatibility with the Mechon. they do some That's gasification why sometimes. Has depleted. But you can treat her, can't you? Please. Of course. Even as a Machina doctor, I cannot turn a blind eye to this butchery. With our equipment, 
She will regain her strength, but mm -hmm. she will be stuck with this body. I cannot restore her flesh and blood, Hom's Man, body. That's sad. That's okay. I don't want to be a burden to Shulk. Oh. I don't care if I have a machine body. Just make it so I can fight beside him. Viora, uh. leave it to me. If that is your wish, I'll do my best. So she's like out of vitals. Most of her organs are gone. She's breaking down. She can't be in like her face mech. She can't go back to being human. I must implant a new circulation system for her immune functions. But we have one problem. A problem? I don't have a piezoelectric unit, which is required to control such a system. As long as she remains on this bed, oh God, this the ship. life support machine can compensate. Uh, but I forgot to move I had to around do this. freely, she must have the piezoelectric unit. Okay. The same unit is used in Mechon, so if you were to find some Mechon parts... Mm -hmm. But where? <laughs> well, outside I remember... of the village at the base of Digit 5, there's a beach. I remember getting my ass handed to me trying to Debris do this. Debris from above washes the shore there. You might be able to find one among the Mechon wreckage. Okay. We'll take a look. The beach at the base of Digit Five, right? Yeah, yes. we're we're. Uh, it gives off a faint red glow, so it might. We're giving be her the gamer CPU setup, PC setup. If we could find it like an like a GTX RTX, if we could get like an R RTX like forty seventy. I mean, she actually might. You know, she she'll. That's like what, like the power of like ten thousand switches. We'll have ultra super HD Fiora. But can she run Doom? Oh, she could probably, like, simulate Doom. At, 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 at her rate. But yeah, let's go, let's go get the parts for her, yeah? I, I, I have a good ending point in mind. It's when we get to the next big area. Uh, because I think we can pull that off tonight. And I can, I can at least show you guys a bit of, like, you know, one of my favorite songs in the entire game. We can play FF16. Oh god, I gotta go back. I keep forgetting about that goddamn game. <laughs> we gotta go back, because, you know, once you go flat... Happiness flyer? Damn. I'm about to end this man's whole identity. While metal music plays. And Pikmin 2. Oh, and Tears of the Kingdom. Oh. There's so much to do. There's so much to do. Although it's not a bad thing. <laughs> That's like the least bad thing someone could tell me. Shady, you have more video games to play. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm <laughs> I'm happy. Why is the music going so hard? It's sick, right? Mechanical rhythm is what it's called, and it's uh, it's that good shit. It's that good, good. It's that slop, slop. Right. Let me tell you. Let's do this. Make him a sadness faller. <laughs> yeah. All together now. <laughs> a Debbie Downer, if you will. The downing is for falling. Have you heard of the tragedy of Darth Fiora the Mecha? <laughs> God, she really is having a moment like that. Now, now, chat, can we have a Theseus, a Theseus's Fiora? Is she still the same Fiora? <laughs> Things to think about. Ah, shit, I messed up. Got so many annoying phone calls just now for a dental appointment. Hey, teeth, wish I had dentures. Suka, I actually, if it helps you feel better, I've actually been going through the exact same thing. So, like... With medical stuff, I tend to be fine, but dentist stuff, I have the most anxiety with. And I have had multiple appointments. Because I had to get, like, a root canal and stuff, like, a few weeks ago. And, yeah, they, they will not leave you alone about appointments. But you got this, Suka. Honestly, once you get it over with, you're going to feel so much better. As always. And, um, it'll be worth it in the end. And also, also, do what I did. If you just, like, if your dentist is just, like, a good person... <laughs> Mo which most of them are. Uh, I just took my Bluetooth uh, earbuds and I was like, hey, can I like listen to this on like low volume? And they were like, absolutely, if it helps. Um, so you, you could totally do that as well. I have to set up a blood work appointment. Oh man, I had one of those too lately. <laughs> but those I'm fine with. Oh, I never told... Did I tell you guys about that story? I think I did. I think I did. How I got a uh, Caribbean lady. And I I'm Caribbean as well. And she like noticed that I was somehow um she's like oh you from like guyana or trinidad i'm like i'm both um which is usually like not a normal thing um 
and she was like, okay, like, auntie's gonna inject you now, and, like, that's how, like, you know, uh, like, the older people say, they either call themselves, like, auntie or uncle, or you say it as, like, respect. Uh, so she's like, you know, auntie's gonna give you a shot. She goes, you okay with shots, right? You're not gonna scream, right? You're not gonna cry? And I said, no, I'm not gonna cry, I'm fine. She's like, when the auntie sticks to you, you might cry. <laughs> I was like, what? And she's just, like, laughing. She's like, don't cry now. Be a good boy. And then she says, like, something in Hindi. She's like, do you know what this means in Hindi? I'm like, no. She's like, it means good boy. She's like, I might have to say bad boy, though, if you start crying. I'm like, I won't cry. I swear, it was it was so fun. She was great. She was great. I was just laughing my ass off. I'm like, oh my god. It's been a while since I've met someone so goddamn charismatic. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Nah, it was great. It was great. Like, I don't mind shots anyways, but that shit, I, I hardly even knew I was getting a shot. I, I'm, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda did. It, like, that, that shot was actually kinda painful, but... <laughs> I mean, I, it was whatever, man. It was fun. Shady good boy Cicada, yeah, I, hey. I can be, I can be nice sometimes. I mean, I'm a, I'm a rebel, I'm a, I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy and a bad bitch, but, you know. You know, sometimes I can be nice. Sometimes I got that respect on me. So wholesome, uh, also I can tell some people, uh, heating up in their briefs. <laughs> Oh, over the good, the good boy talk? <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, it, it was great. Because, like, I, I went there, too, and, like, it, it, it said I was going to have, like, a five-hour wait. But they, like, spe like they speed-ran those shots for people to the point where I only waited, like, an hour. They didn't want to deal with that shit, either. Just probably why it hurt. But yeah, to those who don't know, and this isn't meant to be like a concern thing, but like I like I have high iron in my blood for some reason recently. That happened like just this year. And they don't know what's going on really, and they want to know if it's like bad or not. So I've, I've had like blood tests, I had like an ultrasound. I've been going for like regular appointments here and there, along with the dentist stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, I hate this. Um, but it's been fine. Like I, like, I feel fine. It's one of those things where the only time I didn't feel fine is when they were like, hey, you might not be. And I was like, well, shit. If it's just a diet thing, then that's perfect. Then I just gotta fix that, and that's fine. You can't be eating metal shavings? <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Uh, apparently, it could be a genetic thing, because I already have- I already- like, I inherited a blood thing from my mom. I mean, it's called- it's straight up called the blood disease. It's not contagious or anything, it's just- it's called blood thalassemia. And it's one of those things where, like, as I get older, it might, like, actually take form in, like, many different ways. But as long as I can, like, be happy and play video games and, like, chill with y'all, then I'm good. And I'm good. I was really worried about it originally, and I was like ranting to it on, like, to you guys on stream. But as long as I can just keep doing what I love, I'm good. Around the treadmill, like at the high ass speeds for a long ass time tonight, working out again, I feel good. Oh god, there's so many of these lads. Did you also mention iron in the water? I thought it was that justice, but it's not, because I have stayed off of that water for like, like ever since I talked about it. And maybe it's still in circulation. Maybe that it could still be that. But it seems like it might not be. But yeah, the only reason I was curious about that is because the iron level seems kind of high for my family in general and my friend upstairs. So I was like, yo, what if it's our tap water? <laughs> um, it still could be. I would be happy if it is, because at least that way I know. But yeah, they had to check my lever liver because they were like, if you have high iron, it could like shred your organs. But I feel good, chat. As you can see, mm, mm, you can't see me flexing, but mm. and you're embarrassing Ricky. Looking forward for chilling with Shady for years to come. I'm looking forward to it too. So, you know, at the same time, even if I am being positive, you know, wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck. Um, there's some there's some unfun things that run in my family involving blood. So I'm I'm hoping I'm not one of them. Is all I'm saying. I didn't mean to make this a weird like downer. Either like it's not like you know. I'm still here doing what I love. Gonna gift 1,000 subs someday? No. No. That means you will perish someday. Under my rule. You will crumble in my fist. I'm kidding. I would... I would... I would... I would... I would, I would, I would just pog. <laughs> the fact you would even want to do something like that means a lot to me. I will trust you will be healthy for as long as possible. Well, then let's go. And that long as possible better be over 100 goddamn years. Yeah, good, good. Bun smack him. Whatever you said, Ricky. Hit him. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Manifesting it. Yeah, there you go. Manifest it like Nintendo. Have Nintendo announce, hey, Shady's liver is fine. Coming soon, 2024. And here's a remake of a Mario game. Not a complaint, by the way. The, re the remakes are, are ones I'm really excited about. I don't know if you guys saw my reaction to Thousand Year Door. I think you did. But I'm pretty happy about it. Sending good liver vibes your way. Thank you. Can you guys send good organ vibes in general? Because all of them need saving. What else can you do but kill time until it kills? Yeah, exactly. Like, I look at it that way, too. And that's why, like, I... And, like, this this is what I'm not even capping on. But, like, I don't fear, like, getting older. I mean, unless at least to, like, shit like that. But even then, like, I'm never like, damn, I'm turning 30. Like, this is messed up. I'm, like, depressed over it. Because the whole thing is, like, why stress about it until you're actually, like, old? Then you wasted your time. If you feel young and you still feel, like, healthy and you're still doing shit that makes you happy, then, like, just do it. Don't, don't, you don't gotta, you know, we don't gotta complain about it all the time. And that's why, like, people in my generation, sometimes I'm just like, I, I get it, we're all out to vent. But time, there's times where I'm like, damn, it's just bumming me out, like, we don't gotta talk about this, have fun. Y'all look young, y'all look healthy, y'all are doing good. Just, uh, just live your life, you know? God, and listen to bangers like this while you fight robots. Can I borrow some of your iron? You know what's funny? You know what's funny, Suka? All of my friends have asked the same question because so many of them are have low iron as well. <laughs> like straight up anemia like you. <laughs> They're like, hey, could you share? And if you were like Patori, I'm pretty sure she has like anemia as well. Um, and she was like, hey, could you share some of that? And I'm like, damn, I could if I would because one of the treatments if my iron ends up getting like too high is to donate blood. And if we were the same blood type, I, I, I wonder if that would actually work. Oh, please don't snitch, asshole. Because if that's the case, I wouldn't even mind doing that. It would actually make me feel better where it's like, okay, at least this is like helping people. Because you know OST, Do Not Miss. I don't, yeah, there's like, even some of like the corny quote unquote songs in uh, like Xenoblade X are absolute bangers. Even, even the NLA music. I said it. I said it. It's a good song. I said, it's just kind of, it's just kind of hilarious at times. My mom's going over 60 in a few years. She's uh, even had cancer at one point. She destroyed it, by the way. Well, hell yeah. Cancer. She's still healthy, dancing around, having fun. Well, oh, that, that makes me so happy to hear, honestly. Like, honestly, though, like, your mom's strong. Power to her for that. For real. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I have, like, an uncle who's, like, in his 70s and, like, parties harder than me. So I'm like, all right. You gotta, you gotta, it's all in the, it's all in the perspective, you know? Ah, oh, shit. Jesus Christ. But yeah, screw that. That, that. That's why the charity we're doing actually uh, is cancer related. Because screw cancer. Eventually, Shady Con happening, but probably next year. I'm thinking next year's summer is a good time for Shady Con. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, uh, <laughs> I'm going to do like a, like a weekend charity stream. It's going to be a three day long thing. Not like, th not like 72 hours, but like three days of streams. And... Uh, it's going to be a charity stream. Going to have guests. Going to have segments. Gonna, I'm going to try and plan this all out. And uh, it's for... Uh, the, the charity that I'm already looking at is called PCRF. It's for um, treatment of kids with pediatric cancer. I feel like that's a pretty good one. And there's like... I, I like I tend to like look at these charities like pretty intensely. Because like you need to, you know... You need to see if it's a scam. They're legit. So I figured that's a good one. You're going in person. <laughs> It'd be actually kind of sick if there was like some kind of meetup somewhere where like the community members like watched it live and like hung out with each other. Just like an impromptu meetup. Um, I'm also thinking of Shady Sik or sorry, so, uh, Shady Con merch as well, where the proceeds go to charity. I might get some art. Oh, not might. I will get some artists on that if I manage to do that. Um, I would like to have like Shady Con art in general. Um, it'd be cool. Maybe some like like charity pins and stuff as well it can be neat gonna break into shady's walls at shady con <laughs> oh man you know what do it justice you'd be fine company <laughs> how about you do it in europe <laughs> i've been looking at i've been looking you know I've, I've been i've been thinking about this one finland place this one finny look, looking place you know i almost said finny licking I survived shady concerts. Oh, that's... You know what? Yeah. Yeah. We also gotta have our own ball pit. Not actually. That would be too much money. 
I, I'm trying to think of like, I, I have a few fun segments in mind, but I will have milestones as well. And chat can help me with that. Eventually, I will make a charity channel in Discord so people can put in ideas for stuff to do, but also milestones. So if you guys donate enough, I will do something that will probably pain me, but I'll still do it. Because it's for the kids. It's for the kids. Maybe I'll play through an entire game that's like garbage. Or maybe I'll play through, you know, Barbie Horse Adventure or something like that. A uh, drink soup? I, we can straight up make that one. That's an easy one. Yes, if you donate enough, I, I will I will eat soup on stream. Or sorry, drink it. Yeah, because it's goddamn weird ass food smoothie. Yeah, Barbie Horse Adventure. I know Justice has been waiting intently for that one. So there you go. That'd be great. Yeah, right? I promise I can pee in the... I can pee in the palm pit if you want! We're really going for that lore accuracy, huh? Gotta piss in the... Yeah. I still can't... I can't believe that that con was a thing. The more and more I read about that, like, it's such a... It's such a crazy rabbit hole. Dash con. And this whole time, I didn't know it was a Tumblr thing. I thought it was called Dash Con because it was a type of brony con for, like, that Rainbow Dash one or whatever it's called. It, yeah, it's not Rainbow Dash, right? Yeah. Um, I thought it. I thought it was. I thought it was about like. I thought it was a Brony thing. Which, by the way, I learned about BronyCon, and uh, that one's actually like like the community. Like, there obviously there's weird people in every community, but the community itself is like actually just like just people just having a good time as always. That's how it always kind of is. Uh, but I watched a really fun video on it, like the amount of camaraderie and memes that started. It was by uh, Jenny Nicholson, who, by the way, love her. She's such a good YouTuber, content creator. Um, but yeah, it's just peeps having a good time. But then you have DashCon. It's like, what like what happened there? Jenny Nicholson rules. Oh, yes. Okay, good. We have Jenny Nicholson fans. Good. She slaps. She's so good. Did you see her one on like the Christian like musicals? That shit killed me. Uh, time, time for me to sleep, but first, Shady, could I get you to give a title to your attempting to make an 8-bit theme in 10 minutes song? Totally not for any specific reason or anything. Eyes emoji, huh? Okay, um... Uh... Okay, hang on, I got one. Um... I. Uh... uh I, I want to tell you something like race car theme, like racing themed. Uh... Um... Dr drive, Dr drivey, Dr drive. Oh god, I, I don't know. Oh, middle man, I don't know. I'm not good with names. I'm not good with names. Um, it's chat. What's a cool word for driving fast? Driver? Mm, maybe something a bit more, like more than one word. Mile to the minute. Ooh, gas, gas, gas. Uh huh. Take your time. Okay, okay. Um. No, wait, no, but you got it. You got to sleep, though. Okay, hang on. Let me... I, I got this. I got this. I'm gonna get... Pedal to... You know what? Pedal to the metal works. I think pedal to the metal can be pretty good. Either that or, like, Mach 5. You can pick one of the two. Or, like, Gear 6. Because it's it's better than Luffy if I, if I do it that way. And then it's a fun reference. What about Mach 8? What about Mach 9? <laughs> I mean, hey, it can be Mach whatever the hell you guys want. As long as it's got Mach in it. Oh, Mach 8 because 8-bit. You know what? That's actually pretty good. All right, you know what? Fine. Mach 8. Why not? That works for me. That works for me! Man, I keep, I keep saying that, like, in that, like, voice. And I realize now that, like, chat doesn't know why I say it like that. It's just rare that I say it like that, but no one knows why I go, that works for me. It's from a Mario, like, teaching game. And, like, when you pick the right shape or something, there's just some guy that says that. And, I, like, I think it's Mario, but I can't tell. But this is, like, before Mario had, like, a voice. Like his, you know, Charles Martinet. Um, and it was very off-putting, because you have, you have, like, a child being like, find the square. And you pick it, and then you have, like, that works for me. It's like, bro, get away. Remember of Vine Sauce? Yes, Vinny did do corruptions of it, I remember. They even got the kids to say 666 somehow. And that was back in the day when Vinny always made uh, jokes where he was like, Is that Satan? <laughs> Whenever he did corruptions. I'm sorry, Splendid Botus? Botus the Rock? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, no, 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 don't go that way. No, 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 no. Come here, come here. Lure him, lure him, lure him. We don't want to fight Botus. 
I'm so glad you say it too, though. Boaties these nuts? <laughs> Dear Lord, chat. Dear Lord, chat. Is, is there more Bochi confirmed yet, chat, or no? Boat is spinted. Wait, hang on. I, I gotta, I gotta, hang on. I gotta robo voice this one. They'll kill him in time. I can do. Yeah, they, they got this one. Uh. Have yourself a great night, Q Metal Man. And uh, hell yeah, Maki, it's a good one, man. Yeah, definitely not doing it for anything, though, right? Eyes emoji. <laughs> have yourself a lovely night, dude. <laughs> I can't wait to see whatever it is. I have a few guesses. I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't think it's... I don't think it's... Yeah, they have to, though. They have to. It, like, it was so good. It was so good. I'm still learning both these songs on guitar. <laughs> Photos printed. Bro, why would you... Bear. That's obviously not what he's saying. That's all. <laughs> Erm, actually. Erm. He's saying the very proper in English words, Bogo's Vinted. In case you didn't know. He shall help us defeat the Mechon. <laughs> Alright, chat. Would you like another effect? And no worries, QB. Have yourself a lovely night. This is definitely the cooldown time. Wait, what the hell? Chat, I swear it said 5 a... Are we on daylight savings or something savings? Because I swear it said 5 a.m. like an hour ago. Am I... Am I tripping out? It, 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 is it supposed to change? Was I tripping the whole time? Yo, I still have more time then. To play games. You're tripping. Oh boy. Well, maybe that's actually time for sleep. But still, I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going to do it. All right, but first, uh, we're going to go... We're going to use a funny effect to uh, help ourselves get in there. Unfortunately, my, my pitch wheel is kind of broken, so I can no longer do the warble. I have to, like, I have to, like, repair it somehow. Let me see if I can try. Let me... There you go, everyone. Are you ready? It's not for another month. Okay. So I time-traveled, clearly. It's not, it's not my own delusions, Chad. It's obviously time-traveled. Come on now. Call me John... Tibbies. John Titor, sorry. Ch Titor. John Titor. Alright, let's do it. Can you do the woman pitch? Oh, you mean the gender knob? Which actually exists? Yo, uh, on, on my soundboard. I just realized how out of context I can sound. <laughs> Welcome in, Snowy. Oh my god, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello. Welcome in, everyone. I was just telling chat how my physical interface has, like, effect knobs. There's, like, a pitch knob. And then there's a gender knob for some reason. <laughs> You guys want to hear me turn it? Okay, you know what? Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it for the Raiders. You guys want to hear me turn the gender knob? I can't believe that's a thing on this. Hang on. But yeah, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid, Snowy. Everyone, please check out Snowy. I can't give a proper shout out just yet. There's no mods in here. I know. Oh, here we go. Actually, this is the perfect time to do it. Shout out. Hi, Snowy. She is very, very cool and very chill. Please check her out. And uh, thank you so much for the raid. What are you up to? What are you playing? And uh, welcome in. I'm uh, I'm Shady Cicada. I'm a variety streamer. I stream all kinds of things. Nintendo games are like my favorite, but I, I play whatever. Um, I love lore, <laughs> and I love Xenoblade and Zelda, my favorite series. Um, so if you want to hear me geek out about just everything, feel free to stick around. If not, thanks so much for coming by. I always, you know, appreciate it. Thank you for saying hey. And uh, I compose video game music for a living. That is my full time job. And and YouTube, like I compose music on YouTube as well for a full time job. But yeah. A good time. Animal Crossing, really? Uh, how was that? <laughs> I, I need to go back to mine. I'm scared of all like the all of the uh, all of the weeds and like roaches in the house now. But uh, I've been meaning to go back. Like I I, I want to like you know regain that feeling I had during COVID playing that game. It was fun. I'm glad to hear. Oh yeah, you guys want to hear me turn the the, the the gender knob on this thing? All right, hang on. All right. Apparently, apparently. <laughs> this is supposed to be the female side, supposedly. Yup, perfect. <laughs> very, 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 very good. Oh shit. Yeah, I want to turn it the other way. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me double Y chromosome myself. Not even possible. It's possible now. 
<laughs> Hello, everyone. Yep. That was fun. Good, good knob. Thank you, knob. Um, the weeds after a while. I can imagine it'd be a headache. I already know, like the neurodivergent in me is gonna go crazy after like having to clear all those up. And like, I know some of them like hide behind houses and stuff too. But I'm glad you had fun, Snowy. I'm glad you had fun. We should, uh, New Horizons it up, uh, so your dream was a prediction. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Actually, I was talking about it with chat the other day. I want to do a stream again as well, where I visit, like, some, uh, community members' islands. Um, Steve Urkel? Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot about Steve Urkel. Holy shit. I forgot he voiced Sonic. Like, like, the, the car- the original cartoon Sonic, it was him. But I- I- I, I can- I can definitely see it. Anytime he's like, Smokey's no good! It's like, alright, I can hear the Urkel in ya. Wanna do that too? Yeah, right? It'd be fun, because honestly, like... I don't know. I feel like our, our communities are pretty goddamn creative. So it's fun to see what y'all can come up with. Especially me. I, 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 like, I... I guess I can be creative on, like, the music end, but, like, visually, I... It's really hard for me to, like, be creative with stuff like that. So you guys always kind of, like, inspire me to do stuff. In fact, that might be, get me to, like, actually play the game more again. So... Blade Boots. Can anyone use these? Uh, Melly can use them. She's just going back to like jungle wear vibes. You know what? Th you know what? That's not no. That's like a negative drip. I don't want to give it to her. I'll give it to Dunban. <laughs> the drip works there. Everyone has to have. Ev starting now, everyone has to start getting good drip. Especially our little man here. This baby has to have the best drip. I can't believe we give him like heavy duty armor. To those who don't know, if you're just coming in, by the way, uh, this dude is 40 years old, has a wife and 11 children. And he's in debt. But he's great. He's still baby. Can we give anyone else any armor here? Holy... Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's it's the funniest piece of lore. Hmm. No. Nope. Nah, nothing for her. Alright. Keep moving then. Same. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, Achilles? Oh, man. Nah, don't worry. I was about to... <laughs> You should have said joke. I was about to join you. I was be like, yeah, me too. Me and my me and my 14 kids. I always randomly tell chat. I'm like, yeah, chat. Easy on me. I'm pregnant. But that's because it's true. Get his ass. Very good. Very good. All right. But yeah, if you guys don't know Xenoblade, uh, well, you came in at a came in at the wrong time for context because we're we're like we're like we're we're getting close to Act Three. Which is like the final act, but um, it's it's really good. It has my favorite story in anything ever, any piece of media. Um, the twists and turns are insane. Uh, the gameplay is really really fun once you like understand it. Um, the music is like has some of my favorite soundtracks ever. The characters are fantastic and really well written. Uh, it gets really serious and like sad and emotional, but it has its really you know cute and funny wholesome moments. Um, the characters actually kiss. Okay. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes they like to tease romance. Nah, nah, nah. Not in this game. This game has a lot of, like, subverting. <laughs> and I like it for that. Ah, boy. Also, we do have a power that lets us see the future. So we can kind of see, like, like a fatal move like that. And we have eight seconds to stop it in real time. So if I do... If I give, like, my guy, like, a speed buff there... Now it won't hurt him. Very, very cool. Oh, shit. Another raid? Yo, hello. Oh, my God. Cell. We got the Space Cat Raid. Welcome in, Raiders. Thank you so much. How you doing, Cell? What were you up to? What were you playing? It's good to see you. I'm glad you enjoyed my dumb tweet, by the way. Made me happy to see you laugh at the word Weebus, but it's a good word. It's a good word. <laughs> but yeah, welcome in, Raiders. Hope you're all doing well. I am Shady Cicada. I'm a variety streamer. I stream all kinds of games. I play Nintendo stuff mostly, but I play whatever's fun. Um, big JRPG guy as well. Xenoblade is one of my favorite series ever, next to Zelda. I love lore, I love stories, and this has one of the best stories. Um, so if you guys are down for some a good chill vibes, feel free to stick around. If not, thanks for coming by and saying hi. Um, I will shout out Cell as soon as I get a chance, but please check her out. She's an awesome VTuber, and uh, she has a good taste. She's also very wholesome. I always mention, I, al I always have to mention her Twitter feed because she just shares the most wholesome things. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, you know what? I'm not a bust. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, hope you're all doing very, very well tonight. 
uh, wholesome on Twitter, a gremlin on stream, <laughs> as it should be. I say that, but I think I'm a gremlin on Twitter and on stream. So, <laughs> there's there's no saving me, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No one asked about my Twitter feed. Ah, oh, crap. Oh god, wait, dumb man's gonna die. Oh, we gotta heal him. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> I am done, man. You know what? We might as well just chain attack. <laughs> Respect. Mad respect. Yeah, yeah. We all, we all a little bit gremlin around here, yeah? That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Down at Shady Con. Down at Meat Con. But yeah. Love the gremlin vibes. <laughs> I'm so glad you do, Snowy. That's how you gotta live. That's, got, that's how you gotta survive out here. Alright, now I have a chance. Let me shout out, Cell. Hopefully there's no... Hopefully the cooldown's over. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Go check out Cell as well. That rhymed. Check out Cell as well. She's very swell. Um, and she's hella cool. That doesn't work. But hey, there you go. <laughs> That's right. I got bars. That's right. Eminem been real quiet. Probably because he's avoiding me. <laughs> Probably because he wants nothing to do with this. Probably because if he hears that rap, it'll make him bad at rap. But y you know deep down, it's a banger somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I might try to do... So I have this funny challenge idea. I'm, I might do it this week if I'm not lazy. It's, it's like 80% chance I'll get lazy and not do it. But... I like to do these music challenges. Uh, it's one of the things on my YouTube where, like, I'll make a song in, like, 10 minutes or something. Um, or, like, I'll make an anime, like, opening in, like, 30 minutes. I have one where I want to do this on stream. I I've mentioned it for, like, years now. I want to try and become a SoundCloud rapper on stream in one day. I have to make a name, make a logo, make the song, upload it to SoundCloud. Um, I, I have to, like, I have to, like, give it the works. But like that 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 involves me having to rap and I can't rap and like make lyrics. Which, but we'll see. It'll be funny. It would it would just be a good funny time. And I'm literally sweating after hearing your bars. <laughs> Damn, call me the Hershey Factory because I'm just producing bars. There we go. That sounds amazing. Uh, maybe maybe I'll do it if I have the strength. My ass has been so tired. But I would love to try it. I won't let you become a SoundCloud rapper. Too late. DJ Yeedy meets in the house. We just got something. I, I don't know what we collected, though. I don't remember. Frozen gauntlets? No. Armor? No. Ooh, a new hat? Yo, we got the jungle fit again? <laughs> oh, man. Does he need it, though? We Actually, I might give it to Dunbit. Yo, it's a full fit for Ricky, though. He's got, like, the Totoro. Wait, he looks like he's skin Totoro. Jesus, I'm, I might give it to him. What, what, what does his outfit look like? He has like the Jesse Pinkman hat. You know what? Let's give it to him. That that is that is a cute fit. He now he's full baby. Let's go. Let's go. All right, fine, done. Is you know Blade Two reference? What skinning Totoro? All right, here we go. Your nick. Oh wait, your nickname. Wait, your nickname is Shady Bon. bon why is it Bontis? Oh, Botus. Yeah, what's the reference? The cat? Driver? Blade? Blade. I'm starting to lose my mind now. It is... So those who don't know, it's 5 a.m. here. So I probably should be ending this soon. I just want to get to the next big area. But I'm slowly losing my, uh... My vocal integrity. I also spent the whole weekend screaming because I was at, like, a, a party. I know, crazy chat. Imagine parties. I know. Cringe, right? Same? That's right. We're the same time zone, aren't we? <laughs> You, uh, you exist in the cursed hours, huh, Snowy? Honestly, though, like, I don't know if you, like, I don't know if you get, like, the same vibe as me, but, like, I kind of, like, I, I kind of like it because there's, like, it's just a lot more calm at night. There's no distractions, no noise. I really, really, I really prefer it. Also, it helps me get work done way faster, so. All right, Ricky, victory to you. Losing vocal integrity. He's ready to become a SoundCloud rapper now. Oh, God, you're right. Oh, it's happening. It's like the yassification. The rapification. Nah, it's gonna be a sick rap. You wait. You wait for it. It's the best time if you want to chill. Absolutely. And that's why it's fun to have some uh, online friends as well. Because you have different time zone lads who can just have like deep talks with you at night. 
Because <laughs> my, my IRL friends ain't up at this time, let me tell you. <laughs> They're definitely not up at this time. They got the 9 to 5s. They'll like, they'll like wake up and they'll be like, bro, I, I saw you streaming. Like, what? Are you good? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm hanging in there. Uh, what time is it? 5.09 a.m. And the funny part is this isn't even bad. I definitely enjoyed streaming as long as I did tonight. Normally end around 1.30. No way. Oh, so you went like extra hard. That means you really enjoyed the Animal Crossing. I'm happy to hear that. It's fun having, it's fun having a good like late night stream with the lads sometimes. When you have a good chat, you don't want, you don't really want to end it. Not that I would talk good about my chat or anything. <sighs> now you're all gonna call me Sundari or some shit. It, 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 whatever. All right. Sometimes I do appreciate. I, I, I always appreciate. You know that. But still, you know. Can be a little cringe sometimes, chat. <laughs> can be can be a little cringe sometimes, chat. All right. I said it. I said it. That's right. Fight me back. Do it. I dare you. Fight me on it. Stalking Converse? <laughs> what the hell kind of name was- What? Why the butt call me- Oh my god, that's a good one. Cringe but free. Exactly. The number one quote. Don't kill the part of you that cringes. Oh, sorry, no. Don't kill the part of you that is cringe. Kill the part of you that cringes. Cringe is good, chat. I'm at the bed. Good luck in games and have fun. Yeah, thank you so much, Achilles. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope to see you again if you did. But if not, thanks for just coming on by. Appreciate having you here. Oh, eat shit! Yeah! Oh. Okay, that was- okay, good, good. Solid shot. <laughs> so damn far away. We learned it by watching you. I take no res- I take- yeah, I, I have to take responsibility. I have seen chat in other- I have seen you in other chats saying shit that I would say. I've seen you making up scrimblo names and stuff now. I see people making jokes that I make or like the whole like Mario dies fake spoiler. Yeah, I'm definitely responsible for some shit. For those who don't know, we have this thing to, like, avoid spoilers. Um, whenever someone's, like, seems like they're about to do it, or, you know how people get too excited in a chat sometimes and they want to, like, spoil the game for you? Um, either I or, like, chat will always just, like, um, uh, defuse it by going, Mario dies, by the way. He dies at the end. Mario dies right here. And then, it, like, it just, it just dilutes the real spoiler. <laughs> Me saying Mario dies in every single Ema stream. You see? It's <laughs> and then chat always gets mad. They're like, what do you mean Mario dies? Like, that's spoilers. What the hell's wrong with you? It's great. It's a good bit. Making scribble names is contagious. It's true. Saying Blorbus is just fun. Wait, Mario... You see? I'm sorry, Cell. It's true. He gets beat over the head with a metal... Pu there it goes. There it goes. It just happened. Off screen. It happens in this game. Off screen. Spoiler... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I know. I know. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to spoil the game. He does die, though. Although, I do find it funny that we made so many jokes about it, like, the other day. And then we got the announcement that Charles Martinet was leaving as the voice of Mario. <laughs> that shit, I was like, damn, we need to, we need to stop making jokes sometimes, because we end up just manifesting stuff by accident. Not the first time it's happened. We usually manifest something good, though. We'll make jokes about like, oh man, it'd be cool if like this game got remade. Like I was complaining, I was like, damn, I really wish there was like a traditional Paper Mario that came back or like a remake of Thousand Year Door. And then, yo, know, I mean, you know what happened. Speaking of Mario dying, you should play Mario in the Music Box someday. I might actually do it for uh, October, Suka. If I remember to do it. If I have enough time, because my backlog's insane, but uh, I do want to try it. I also have Mario, shitty Mario horror ROM hacks uh, for October. As well. We're gonna be reading some really bad and funny creepy pastas. Maybe some scary ones too. There might be some Resident Evil in there. If you guys really want to see me do Mort ass, I'll do Mort ass. Do you plan on streaming Mario Wonder? Yeah, I'll stream that one. Um usually when like a big like Nintendo game comes out that I'm super excited for, I'll play it on my own. But like Wonder, I'm kind of like I'm kinda of like, yeah, I'm excited, but like I'm not like like, going Pog over it. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to stream it. And maybe I will be Pog when I stream it. I will also be streaming the ultimate, the ultimate horror game uh, in October. Uh, and it's the new WarriorWare game where I'll be on webcam doing all the funny moves. So, um, that, that's the horror. Because I, I, I saw the poses they make you do in that game. And I, I, was, I, I, was, I was concerned. He plays games without us? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, chat. And I hate to say it, but after this, if I'm up a, little, a bit longer, I'm going to play Liza P without you. 
That's right. That's right. But yeah, that new Wario game looks pretty fun. That's coming out in like, what? Like, next week? Jesus Christ, there's so many games. I think it's coming out next week. So many games. Liza P, it's really good so far. I'm liking it more than like some Souls games, honestly. What do you mean you don't exist in our consciousness? I mean, you guys can think about me if you want. But when you do, you have to think about me pulling out the sickest dance moves. With like a really like smug smile. Because I know I'm like a cool gremlin man, you know? A cool gremlin. Cool little gremlin lad. Like that, you know, you know the, the, the cicada menacing emote? That's me. God, this song slaps. Wait, is someone confused? Oh, never mind. Just a mech on. Yeah, that's me. Oh, I got a cool jacket I gotta show you guys. Um, I finally found the denim jacket that, like, fits really well and looks really cool. Um, mainly because, like, <laughs> sizes are so tricky over here sometimes. Um, but it, it's from the official Pokemon site. They were selling, like, this, like, uh, gray, like, black, uh, Pikachu, uh, denim jacket. And it's called, it's called the Marvelous Misfit series. And on the back is this Pikachu with his fists up and he's, like, ready to fight. He's got, like, a smile, but, like, he, he looks like he's, he's got, like, the gremlin look. And then on the front, there's, like, a little patch with, like, this, like, like, I don't give a shit looking Pikachu. Like, he looks very uninterested. And it's really cute, but it's also kind of badass. I gotta show you guys some pics of it. Alright. Alright, we're almost there. A lot of enemies, holy shit. WarioWare comes out in November? Wait, what? No! Okay, hang on a minute. What's coming out in October then? Hold on. Games coming out October 2023. Well, I got your hopes up. Sorry, chat. Let me see here. Let's see. O games in October. Uh, Roblox on the PS5. Great. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. I've never touched Roblox. I don't plan on touching it. Oh, it's it's just Wonder. Okay, never mind. No, uh, no, uh, no WarioWare. Sorry, chat. That's next month. The month after, I mean. That's fine, though. Oh, that's right. It's, it's Detective Pikachu that comes out next week. That's what it is. I don't know if I'm getting that yet. But I kind of, I kind of, I've kind of been on a Pokemon high. Wait, Spider-Man's coming out the same day as Wonder? What? Holy shit, man. There's, there's, oh my god. There's so many games. It's coming out the same day as Wonder. Well... Well, I mean, Spider-Man will be my play alone game, I guess, and then Wonder I'll play on stream, so it'll work that way. There's Sonic? Oh yeah, I guess there's Sonic too. Also, hi Retro. I didn't say hi to you, but how, how, how you doing? Good to see you. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. I can't believe I would lie to my chat like this. It's time to own up. It's time for an apology video. Hang on one second. Do, do you guys feel apologized yet? Do you guys forgive me yet? No? Okay, hang on. I'll play a different riff. I'll play, um... Hang on. Hang on. Let me let me apologize harder. I can apologize harder than that. Yeah. No, I can't. I'm rusty. Ugh! Pee pee. Hang on. Ah, it's so hard on acoustic to do that riff. Ah, oh, it Come on. Close enough. Whatever. Uh, do, you, do you guys forgive me yet? I'll believe you start crying. Okay. Uh, boo hoo. Uh, I'm I'm in I'm in massive tears. Oh, you know what? Here, I'll play you the classic. Do you want the classic? I can give you the. Cl Hang on. Hold on. Hang on. I can apologize even harder than this. I'll give you my favorite one. Out of tune, by the way. I'll do it out of tune. Mhm. Mm All right, you ready? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get evicted. You ready? Okay.
Zoo sticks, everyone. Uh, I used to be able to do um, uh, what is it? R River, rivers in the desert. But I don't, I don't remember how that song goes anymore. It's like, uh -uh. no, you know, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Maybe one day I'll do it though. Oh, oh, all right, that was fun. I, uh, I'm forgiven now. Yeah. You forgive me? All right, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> I remember it. I, I, I actually think I do remember it. I don't know if I have the air for it. I'm going to get lightheaded. You do forgive me? My forgiveness starts at $89.95 plus tax. You mean the cost of a video game in Canada? Oh, sorry. I mean, I mean, once you add tax, now nah, it's like $100 for a game now. I love it here. I actually do love it here, but I, I, I don't love the economy. Okay. Let's go, let, let's go give Fiora the battery. The piezo, whatever. I'll absolutely download this whole VOD so I can have that as my alarm sound. If you do it, can you like... Can you like have a clip of that one day and just like send it to me? I need to, I, I like, I need the proof that like... That, that is your alarm noise. Sin's gone. I can't believe it. Uh... YouTube is wild, man. Alright, let's go save her. FF Remake is 95 on Steam and on sale it's 55. I hate it so much. Yeah. Yeah, cheap games? Nah, never heard of them. That being said, the Yakuza games are on sale, at least on PSN. And uh, you can get like Yakuza 6 for like $10. I might do it because I've never played it. And I want to do- I, I want to at least play that one and 7 before 8 comes out. I've been behind on the Yakuza stuff. Or, sorry, Like a Dragon, I guess. They rebranded. Please let me get up there. No? I didn't mean to fall and redo all of this. Oh, come on, Shulk. You can make that. Homie! Stop interrupting me, dumb man! I'm cooking! Okay. Here we go. I can't wait for Rebirth, by the way. Holy shit. The, the amount of things they're showing for that game is wild. Like, first thing is, uh, it's fully open world, as far as I know, there's no loading zones. So it's huge. I didn't actually think they were going to do that. Um, I, I just didn't think they would be able to do it, but they did. Uh, we got our, you know, flashback. I don't want to spoil too much, but we got our flashback. Um, we have our buddy-buddy thing going on, if you know what I mean. Koi Moon? Hope I pronounced that right. Thank you so much for the raid. And welcome on in, Raiders. I hope you uh, had a lovely, lovely stream. What were you up to, if you don't want me asking? Yeah, hey, welcome in. I'm Shady Cicada. I stream all kinds of games. Uh, I'm a variety streamer, which I guess that made the point clear. Uh, I love Nintendo stuff. Xenoblade and Zelda are my favorite series ever. I love video game lore. So, like, of course, Xenoblade. It's my favorite story ever. Uh, and uh, we just like to have good, cozy, chill vibes while we just, you know, get immersed in games together. And uh, I, I also compose music for a full-time job. I compose video game music, actually. Video game and anime music. If any of that feels like it's down your alley, feel free to stick around. But if not, thanks for coming by and saying hi. I love your music. Oh, thank you so much, Sweet Beans. Damn. I'm so glad to hear that uh, you enjoyed the tunes. Hope you enjoy the ones to come as well. Did you find the unit? All right. Let me just finish welcoming because this is going to be a cutscene again. I don't want to inter interrupt it. But really, thank you so much, uh, Koi Moon. I actually like that name quite a bit. Let me, let me give you a shout out. Real quick. Koi Moon. I am modless tonight. So I am, I am, I am, uh, I am, I, I got, I'm holding the reins. Let me try to get the zeros right here. There we go. I tend to misspell, like, shout out sometimes. There we go. Yeah. Check out Koi Moon. Thank you so much. Playable, uh, Kate Sith. Yeah, I'm pumped on that. I'm pumped on that. The Kazoo song. I, I did perform a song. That is true. I did kill the mods. Love Nintendo games too, man. Heard this game is heard that game is really good. You got to give it a shot sometime if you really like JRPGs and like good stories. It's it's a really nice like series. But yeah, have have yourself a lovely night if you are heading out. But thank you so much. Okay, 
Let me... I guess it's going to go straight into the cutscene on its own like this. Alright, cool. I think we found it. Is this the Paizo electric? Okay, I'm also going to say real quick though, if this is a story that might intrigue you, we are in like... We're not ne we're not at the end game yet, but we're getting pretty close to like the final act. So I would say be weary of spoilers if anything. Big unit. Yes, that's it. Well done. Leonardo. Will Fiora be okay now? Yeah, I'll just She'll be fine. Talk in chat so I interrupt. It will just take me a little time to reconfigure and install <laughs> the unit. She's Leave gonna be fine, to chat. You get some rest. But Ish. Aw. Shulk, do you want her to see you looking exhausted when she wakes up? He's so up? worried. It's You're cute. right. I'll try and get some rest. Thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, by the way... Mm -hmm. Yes? The chief says he wants to speak with you. Is he going to say, kill my son again? I think it's about Egil. Yep. I'll Why haven't you killed him. my son yet? And he then he wants laughs. Egil stopped. And so do we. But I need to sleep on it. Good. You mustn't overburden yourself. We will help you in any way we can. Thank you. I gotta stop Ego the Waffle. Oh, Charlotte's still hanging out here. That's kind of cute too. So we couldn't play as her then, probably. She was just here watching. That that's that's really nice. Or maybe she just said it and I just totally zoned out. Um. All right. Well, let, let let's get more lore. Okay, we need to talk about a few things before we continue though. We're gonna get to the we're gonna get to the next area and then I'll stop and we'll do fan art. But, um, which actually I'll do the speech after. We need to talk about the story real quick here. So. Uh, things to recap, since some of you are doing theories on what you think, where you think the story is going to go. We found out that, uh, the, the dude over there, big, big Machina man, was around since the beginning. But the way he sees it, he sees it as the Bionis killed all of their people, or like most of their people. And then he said, maybe the Bionis just didn't like us. That's really, that, 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 that is a big shift in narrative when you really think about it. That, that's, that's saying, oh, hey, our home might be the shitty one. We don't really know. But that's kind of curious. On top of that, he said that uh, they were guided by Lady Maynith, which who we found out is essentially the Makanis herself. They said that she's the creator of the Makanis and also the Makanis. But we've heard that name before. I'm not going to tell you where. You could probably recap on your own and figure out where you've heard that name and why that's going to be the, why that's so interesting right now. Um, and then when we mentioned the Monado, he just randomly says Zanza concerningly, which is a name that we've also heard. Um. So, you know, unpack that yourself. If anyone ever has theories, of course, you can feel free to share if you've never played the game. I won't tell if you're right or wrong. I will say one thing. One of you guys today had a theory, and it was actually right. So the girl's gonna be, okay, I knew she would. You can rest up for today. We'll talk after that. This is not a game where I'll be doing any kind of voice acting, because, like, <laughs> you know, they do it themselves. Also, I like how they're like, go talk to him, and he was like, go to bed. You're tired and stinky. Okay, dude. Fine. I'll go sleep in your bionicle pod. Welcome. Alright. Cutscene time. I didn't go get a snack. Ah, oh, damn it. Should have gone and got it before the cutscene. Now, is she okay, Chad? Is she okay? Um, oh. How are you? Sleep well? They're the yes, bionicles, just very well. Yeah. I. Wanted to, uh, um, talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? <laughs> Are you gonna yes. kill him? We agree with you. Oh. Egil must be stopped. Okay. But we can't act now. Oh? Why is that? Before we came here, oh, the we heard alliance. of plans to form an yeah. allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Mumkar was using. The one that shoots green fluid. Oh, right. He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. It can literally dissolve the harms. <laughs> we have to go back and warn them before it's too late. Well, it, it, here comes another moment. How the hell does he know about all of this, well, chat? you could always ask me to do it. He's just on the Dixon. Machina's village? Like, what? What are you doing here? <laughs> what, what do you mean? You're telling me you knew, the, found us. you knew the Mechonis had people too? Why? Then why'd you war with this them? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your and uncle. And Bob's your uncle. I don't know what that means. You're looking well, Dixon. They know each other. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other? Kinda. 
<laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. The hell? He tells us about the outside world. And we give him technology and information. Oh, that's cool. Why did you keep that to yourself? <laughs> that information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? I guess that's fair enough. These Machina mm. cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. Yeah, that's fair. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? <laughs> so this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. Well... There's some I extra it was lore. Fine, as long as it helps shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's We've out been working now. with mocking and stuff. So that weapon. This whole time. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but it disintegrates anything it touches, but only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm. Bet that would come in handy. Dixon. Huh? I'm only joking. Bro, that's not funny. Anyway, that's for not now, funny. just don't let <laughs> any of it touch you. I'll Bruh. come up with something to counter it. Okay. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. All right. Just you get like a negative take juice. care of that eagle or whatever his name is. Eagle? <laughs> if you take him down, the allied force might not even be needed. True. All right. Okay. Let's do it. You guys ready to take down Eagle? Not tonight. But you ready to take down Eagle? Let me think about it for a bit. But not tonight. Next stream will probably be... Actually, chat, by the next stream, we might hit the final act. If we do really good next stream. Oh man, I love this song. Just play when Melia's dad died. <laughs> Fiora. She okay? Oh yeah, they they haven't they haven't hey, talked in a while. Mind up yet. Basically, it's adoptive Dixon. dad. Listen, dumb man told me all about it, the goal of your mission. So you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive, and now you've got her back. So you're all done now, ain't you? Yeah, the story's <sighs> over. What are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. He got it right. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs. There's that. But that ain't everything. Oh? It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or mm. more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> God, the song. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming in. I'll tell in. you one thing. Yeah? That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high-end-tier prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Hmm. Of course. But it looks like the prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. When the Allied force attacks Maconis, you don't need to join the fight. Let's go? He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callion said that. Well, I know where we're going. Do you know where we're going? Too. He looks like a sissy, <laughs> but he's got guts. Six and chill. Yeah. Chill, bro. I think that's the type of man he is. <laughs> so what are he you looks do? like a sissy. He really? Me to let him know. We're oh going to the Macaulay's capital. He truly is a boomer. I don't know. I can't forgive the Mechon for what they've done. He knows about that. He knows about the manosphere. I think there might be another way. Oh. You're too soft. Oh. Do you really think that? Let him do his top mode, right. you He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mechonis. Yeah, that too, I guess. I but, heard yeah. about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. Yeah, Dixon does not hold back. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hmm. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Yo, she's awake. Hell yeah. Fiora, are you okay to be walking around? Seems fine. Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenard is pretty good. And not just with machines, 
She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. Strange. You went to get the things you needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. This is how you raised the social link. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter Yo, the where accessory we go, she's got going no on in the back how difficult there? it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. That's cool. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right it's path. okay. I agree, Justin. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. Yeah. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. Yeah. About the Allied Force. It's time to go to the Maconis, the yeah, other overworld. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. I'm pumped on it. I'm pumped on it. I'm putting my controller back down. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting too pumped. I do want to okay. see more story. Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just I mention like my Vinaya. name. That's why I did that. She'll lend a hand. Venea. Is she a machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You figured it You've out, Duncan. Real Rhine moment. And you say she'll help us. The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil. But she doesn't like what he's doing. But yeah, it's his sister. She should Egil's be a sister. big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but we'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> well, she. <laughs> Good luck. She um, she is a shape, tiny windowless. Fiora, don't forget, I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, Would you like to send a diagnostic I'm report? I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Oh? Is that possible? We're working on it. Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic oh? information to regenerate your missing organs. <gasps> Sorry. Bring her back. It's unfair for me to give you hope. Bring her back. Oh. To be honest, there's very little chance. Mm. But but there's still a if chance. There's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Yeah. Thank you, Leonarda. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Dixon, why are you? Off you go, kid. Hmm? I'm counting on you and the Monado. Oh, okay. Don't let me down, Shulk. Please be nice. All right. He's had his moments, but he still thinks Shulk's cool. Just like me. I think Shulk's cool. Oh, shit. We're, okay, hang on. We got more. Oh, this is Egil, by the way. This is what he looks like. The dude in the gold mech. Whoa. Why did that face betray me? Interesting pictures in the background. And that light. No. That is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that former made life. me lose control. Mm. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. Pretty messed up to erase their memories, but okay. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. So whose memories are they erasing here? Hmm. Interesting this character here. Female. Char Charla, huh? She was with the boy who wields the Monado. Why Charla here? A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. Hmm. So it is this male. A male. A male face mech on. The boy Shulk. Getting his uh, memories wiped. Remains huh? a thorn in my side. <laughs> he didn't catch Juju. I would Could enjoy you imagine? Watching my minion crush him. He's still my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. <sighs> it's so messed up, though. Oh man, so messed up. There is another character chat. 
But I don't know. Uh, who who could it be? I don't know. It could have been. It could have been anyone. It could be Zord again. Zord two. Shulk, take this. Yeah, it's Mario. It's Mario, chat. I almost said get. There's a path leading from the base the of Silver Face to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. It's funny we because in the village don't have any need for well, it. Well, actually, I don't want to say I want to spoil but it. But it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk. Fiora. Things are gonna get interesting. Take care in your journey. As always. We will. Linada, thank you for everything. Yeah, for real. You kind of a goat. Like the goat, sorry. Whoa, almost sound like an insult calling you a goat. You're the goat. That's what like the cool kids say. You're the goat. You're kind of a goat. I can <laughs> Christ. Alright, we're gonna get to the next area. It's it's not too far from here. And then we will do art and end the stream. Fiora got her update? Yeah, she's all good to go. And she made this cute promise where she's like, I'm going to protect you, Shulk. Don't worry about me. And then Dixon showed up, Mel. Um, Dixon showed up. And he knows the big Machina. He knows all of them. Apparently, he trades knowledge of the world to them. And they give him, like, like technology. And that's what he's been bringing to Colony 9 the whole time. He just kept it a secret. Because he's like, oh, if I told people, all the, you know, Mechonis haters would go and, like, you know, attack the place. Which, I guess he, there is some truth to that. But yeah, he just showed up randomly. We also found out that we don't have to take part in the war. Apparently, Prince Cali and Melia's brother was like, You do your own thing. You, you, you solve this problem in your own way. So we're gonna go kill Eggle. <laughs> and we got to see Eggle. Oh wait, oh shit. Let's kill these ponies first. If I go a little too quick, it's gonna be a problem. She runs on Windows 11 now? Ah, oh, that's a shame. She's doomed. <laughs> She's doomed. That's the search function doesn't work for shit. Yo, try, trying to find a simple file. Don't got you, homie. Say more, cause I'm confused. Give it, give it, give it, give it. Oh god. So I'm, I'm here to I'm here to uh, announce. Um, you know I, I'm I'm glad you all liked my YouTuber apology. And with that, I've chosen to become a better person. So I will now be, well, moving my platform and streams. To kick. Kick these nuts? Not mine, but like someone else's. I got you. That was that. That one did not work. That took too long for the for the punchline. <laughs> oh god, and it didn't even work because it sounded like it was for me. Oh, I hate this. I hate I hate these. These? I almost these nut myself by saying I hate. Uh, you know what? I, I'm getting tired. Clearly. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, that that shit, that shit hurt. That shit hurts way too much. Please don't. Please, I'll throw up. Don't do it. I don't know if I will, but I probably will. Did you just do two damage, Ricky? Come on, be better. I don't know. He's apologizing every week to farm content. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you think I am? Some kind of content creator? Who appreciates algorithms and views for money? As a job? Come on now. What kind of what kind of cringeness is that, huh? Psh, next thing you next thing you tell me, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be streaming and people you know will actually like give me gift subs and stuff because they're nice, crazy. And then and then you'll tell me I'll just play fart sounds on my pad to get the comedy across without having the comedy myself. You're the best user of my life, Shady. And then a quick and swift never mind. This is what I live for. You may not realize it, everyone. But this is what I live for. 
I live for the you're goaded, Shady, and then the quick like the quick never mind that follows after. Hey chat, what does acquiesce mean again? Does that mean like to to, to like follow to comply? What what is acquiesce? Or like solve? Or is it like comply solve obey solve? Yes, like comply. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um I was playing Baldur's Gate with some friends today. And there was a part where it was like, acquiesce and follow the guard. And my friend read it as something like, acquiesce, and I started laughing. But he, 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 he like pronounces stuff really funny. I, I, and I just, I don't know how he does it. But he just does. He still says chasm instead of chasm. And one time he read a book and saw the name Teresa, and he, he, he unironically called her Teresa. I love him. Oh, yeah, special announcement. Yo, the kick? Let's go. He's nuts. You're goaded with only a little bit of the sauce? That's fine. I don't like too much sauce on my food. That's my uh, that's my other weird take. There you go, chat. Because of my whole dislike for, like, super mushy or, like, liquidy foods, if I make, like, spaghetti, I don't push too much sauce on it. If I make, for, like, curry beef with rice, I don't put too much on the rice because I don't want to, like, mush it, you know? I have fries. I don't eat that with ketchup or anything. Maybe with like plum sauce, but I don't overdo it. Cause then it tastes like ass. There you go. Someone stop him. That was, that's not even that bad. It's not even that bad. I'm goaded. Y'all just jealous cause I'm goaded. It's true. I'm a goat. See? Proved it right there. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me that wasn't a goat. You're gonna be like, damn, holy shit. That was a goat. That was the most goaded goat I've ever heard. I love my spaghetti drowning in sauce. There'll be no survivors by the time the noodles reach my mouth. No, it. Nope. It. If I hear like an incredibly wet slurp coming in from spaghetti, I'm out. And that, that's definitely a personal issue, but no. Nope. But. But. I'll pretend it is that bad. Nah, 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 nah. What you should be pretending is that I am. Um. An eldritch. A 5,000 year old eldritch demon god. Who is very, very cool. And that's it. What if my SpaghettiOs dry out the mouth? Dry, but the mouth is oh so wet. I I guess you can, like, cook the noodle. That's disgusting. Why, why would you even ask this? Why, why, are you, why are you making me think of this? Don't, don't, don't you dare. So what do you do when you can't eat hard foods due to sickness? I, I just, I just, like, stomach it. Like, I, 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 I still put myself through it. I know. Which is like incredibly like just not good. But I'll 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 just straight up have the hard food. Um or or I'll have like a booster juice. So like a smoothie with like a bunch of good stuff in it that makes me feel full after I drink it kind of thing. But I, I tend to have that or like uh crackers or bread, because that absorbs like you know, any kind of it, it makes me less like queasy. He eats raw noodles with no sauce. Okay, not gonna lie. There's times in the past where my mom has cooked like, like a while back, my mom would cook like some type of pasta, like spaghetti or something. And um, she'd start making like the pasta sauce next. And I would just go over there and I would just take like a bunch of like just noodles and just eat them. And every time she looks over, she's like, hey, stop that. And there's already like 50 noodles in my mouth. And I'll be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. She looks away again. I eat like more. She's like, what are you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. It's great. Not gonna lie, not too long ago she was cooking again, and I came on by and I I I, I might have done the same thing. This might have been like a few weeks ago. The last time I did it, it's been a while, but the last time I did it was you know three weeks ago. But it's fine. It's fine. I don't I don't I don't. She doesn't have to put up with me. I'm I'm goaded. I'm no menace. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to really feel the sleepiness. I don't even think I'm going to do anything after this. I might actually go straight to bed. This is the first time I've, like, started nodding off on stream in a long time. That's a good thing, though. Once I get to the area, I will take some melatonin gummies, and I will go past the hell out. Melatonin usually, like, never works for me, but maybe tonight's the night. Maybe tonight's the night where it'll actually, like, like pay off. <laughs> And after that, this is my final Xenoblade stream. No more chat. 
figure out the story yourself. I'm kidding, there'll be more. Maybe you won't need it? Yeah, you know what? That actually would be nice too, huh? The only reason I take it is not to like fall asleep, it's so I stay asleep. Um, because even when I'm super tired, I wake up like every two hours. That's part of what causes my sleep issues, so usually it'll like keep me passed out the whole night, but maybe I won't need it. That would be nice. I'm so scared of passing out missing out on the story. Well, the... if uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Uh, you did miss. Un unfortunately, you did miss um, Ryan shower scene. It's true. It's true. I just didn't mention it because I didn't want you to know. Right, chat? You guys remember that, right? And he's like, now it's Ryan shine because he's shining he, he, he's getting clean you know and he's like yeah squeaky clean a hey, what British it's true yeah it was hot yeah the shower was and then and then and then Fiora got mad at him dropping some random ass quip to Melia and uh, she turned she made the water really hot and he was like what are you playing at what a bunch of jokers it's true Ask him. Actually, chat. Um, I actually do have a guest star today. Um, we have to wait for her appearance to make it happen, but Fiora is here. I can just greet her in a minute. She's just coming down the stairs. Uh, Fiora, you might- Wait, Fiora, no! It's actually kind of an amazing time when the Chulk died when that happened. The grief, the grief hit him. Oh god! Fira, get up! What, what, what is fighting us? What the hell is that? What? When did the Pterodactyl show up? What? No wonder we're dying. What the hell? What level is- You know, it's fine. We got this. You deserve that? It's not my fault she fall down the stairs. I mean, we, got, we, we need to give her like the Stairmaster like shoe upgrade. Shit, I might take your offer to kick you. God damn it, I hate that I laugh. <laughs> damn, Suka, are you laughing at Fiora's expense? Wow, how dare. Not me though. I would never, I would never make a joke out of it. I would never, ever. Uh oh, clutch, 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 clutch. Wrong, oh, wrong thing. Uh, he's dead. Nah, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. I forgot what the shield thing was. Oh god. Oh god. No. Double spinning edge. Double spinning edge. I need that right now. I could use, I could use that right now, unfortunately. We're not in the market for that quite yet. Get the worker bee out of here. Interesting names they got. I wonder if these names ever get any weirder. Probably not. Probably not. Lela Lelapago Pateryx. By the way, that metal pipe song was surprisingly good. I really enjoyed the video. I'm glad to hear it actually, quote unquote, blew up. It's been getting like a shitload of views, so I'm really glad people enjoyed it. I had a feeling they would, uh, because chat likes, or not chat, the community on YouTube likes when I do meme shit posty stuff. But even then, I still try to make the song sound good because I'm like, I need to, you know, this is my portfolio. This is the one that everyone's going to see, not the other one. Um... But I'm really, really happy people liked it. I made the chorus part, like the melodic part near the end, uh, the same night I uploaded the video. So, <laughs> I put that together, like, real haphazardly, but it, it came out good. Put the quality into it. Um, I will say my favorite song I've written this year was, um, The Voice Beyond the Barrier. I don't think, like, I, I mean, I probably, like, of, of course I could definitely, like, top it at some point this year, maybe. But right now, at this very moment, nothing has topped it for me. I'm I, I'm I'm really happy with how it came out, and thank you only. I, I really appreciate that. It was good enough where like my stepdad like just straight up like called me and he was like, "Hey, uh, that song, really really good." And I was like, "Oh shit, I didn't expect that from like family." Well, not saying they don't like they like my stepdad, and my mom and stuff like they're always like super supportive of what I do and get excited. But they actually listened to it and liked it. And that was cool. Even Noma was like, hey, that song you wrote was absolutely amazing. And I was like, yo? Okay, yo, thank you, everyone. 
Holy shit. Holy shit. Yo, this chain attack is still going. Oh, never mind. It's done now. But damn, that was some damage. Quantum killer combo. You sure are, Shulk. You sure are. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I, like, I consider myself, like, very lucky for is, like, supportive parents with what I do. I mean, when it started off, they were definitely, like, scared. I mean, I, I get it. Saying you want to do internet stuff and also be a musician is, like, a double whammy for, like, concern for people. But they eventually, they, they, they at least gave me a chance to try it. And then they saw my progress and they were like, yeah, you made a good choice. We're glad you did it. Um... But there was a time when, like, my stepdad, like, believed in me more than, like, I believed in myself. And there was times where I really needed that, you know? Not everyone's, uh, you know, as lucky, and I, I, I feel lucky for that. Ah, shit. That being said, there are also people in my family who were, like, give up constantly, so... There was definitely, there was definitely a fair mix. But I'm at least glad that my parents could be like, hey, uh, shut up. You're not, you're not, uh, you're not his parent. Mm. Mm. By the way, if you're ever curious about uh, parent lore, if you ever want to know something about like my mom, at the very least, uh, she's in one of my YouTube videos. If in case that's something you ever want to see for fun, I did an April Fool's video where in the middle of the cover, she steals the guitar, says I suck, and then she starts playing. She actually can't play, but like I had her play over my cover. Like, just, like, air guitar. Like, well, she strummed the guitar, but... Um, and I got her to groove out. And that was the whole thing. You can also see how shorty is... Uh, sh short? Short she is. How shorty is. Nice. How short she is compared to me. She's, she's like, barely five feet tall. Which is why I ended up being a short king at 5'6". But she's also, like, the most, like, threatening person if you, like, cross her. Which, I mean, that is small, that is short behavior. But, like, she, she, like, she does good. I remember one time, like, way back, we went to, like, New York and we, like, parked somewhere. And, like, I don't know what it is with the drivers in New York. I don't know if some of you live there. I don't know if you can attest to this or, like, if it was just every time I've gone, it's just been that. But, like, the drivers there are, like, some of the worst. Like, they're, like, the most assy drivers of any place I've been to. We parked somewhere and some dude's, like... You know, yo, you effing like, you, 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 and, you know, that was my spot. And my mom just like gets out of the car and she's like, you want to go? Like, this was, like, where were you, jackass? Like, how come you aren't in the spot then? Huh? How come you didn't get the spot then, jack? It was, it was so funny. <laughs> and this guy's like, this guy's like nearly six feet. And she's just there being like, I, I yeah, I come closer. I dare you. And I was just like, oh my God, mom. Okay. Christ, please don't do this, but okay. Moms don't back down. Moms are wild, man. Props to moms, honestly. <laughs> like, they're, they're, they're built different. I don't know what happens. Like, like they, they have a kid and then just like, they unlock like their, their Bankai or some shit. Their seventh, eighth, I don't know how many chakras are on that little chart thing, but you, they, they unlocked like their, their nth cho chakra. <laughs> come on, come on, eat shit, come on. Do it. Please. Alright, fine. I'll fight this wisp. We're almost there, chat. I, I'm sorry, I keep killing time fighting these fools. But I'm having fun with video games. Okay, you know what? I might... I might not make it. I'm gonna try and make it though. Moms are like Polish women. They are nice until someone messes with their family. Hey, that's Nat. <laughs> that is literally Natalia Cat. Nat's like the sweetest person ever. She hates being confrontational. And then as soon as someone like calls out her friend or her family, she's all of a sudden wants to get. She she gets like you know, aggressive. And it's really adorable. Oh, and she's Polish. Nah, there's a number on top of my head, but I bet there's more. Yeah, I actually have like, um, 15 chakras. Um, I'm just better, chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have more chakras than you. Um, I also have a shield of invincibility, so if you ever try to hurt me, it just, it just bounces back to you. Um... 
Uh, also, um, uh, my dad could beat up uh, your dad. Also, um, I'm the fastest kid at school. Also, um, you smell? I, I, I that, that was that was that was almost personal because I um I remember back in like grade like three or something. Uh, there was this kid who like he bragged about being the fastest kid in school. And the thing is, is that, like, his lie worked for a while. Like, he never actually, like, proved it, but people, like, a bunch of other kids were like, yeah, yo, like, Nathan, that's the fastest kid in school right now. Like, he's so cool. And I beat him in a race once, and he, he cried <laughs> and ran away. Not, like, ran, ran away, but he, like, ran away from, like, me. He was just like, you're an ass or something, and I was like, what did I do? <laughs> Shoutouts to Nathan, though. I bet he's doing well now. Nah, nah, your dad could definitely beat up my dad, and my dad could beat my dad. No respect to my dad. And dad could beat up my... Who's the... <laughs> there's so... There, this is... We're, there's so many layers of dad. Oh, any dad? <laughs> Wait. You know what, Chris? If you said that, that would diffuse, like, any argument. It's always the... You're probably right. That just, like, diffuses people immediately. I feel like I'm making a, a mistake climbing this. Ah, screw it. Did he run away slow? Man, this is gonna sound like such an asshole response. It's slower than me, like supposedly, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, I felt bad. Even at that time, I felt bad. I'm just like, I, I was just running. And I wasn't even the fastest kid in school. I was just faster than him. <laughs> I used to be a pretty fast running. My dad could kiss your dad with tongue. <laughs> Chat? Yeah? You know what? That would, that would probably defuse an argument, too. That would defuse an argument real quick. That's the shit some people gotta do, you know? Sup, lady? I said sup, lady. That's how you know it's late. Sup, shady? Been a little bit since I caught a stream. Good to have you in, Salty Banana. Welcome back in, bud. Uh, I, I only have a bit more in me. I'm running out of steam. I am, like, passing out, but I'm here for a bit more. Uh, it's good to have you around, shady lady. Lady Cicada. You know, there used to be fan art of Lady Cicada. And she was really attractive. <laughs> I was like, damn, I would date me. I would absolutely date me. My dad... Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> I thought you said your dad ducks. And I was like, as a move, or he is, he's a duck? It's like, yeah, well, my, <laughs> my dad's a tomato. So everything you do, he just... Uh, ketchup. That's right. That's right. You got played. How do you fight ketchup, huh? Dip a fry in it. And... Then you better find some fries. <laughs> Is it like a gender band version of you? Yeah, it's basically just like a lady version of me. Um, which I mean, anyone could make one of their own interpretation. Uh, but it was it was it was always like interesting to see. Of course. Uh, Lady Sik of course Lady K is, is attractive since her counterpart is also attractive. Oh, y'all gonna make me blush. You're gonna make me blush. That being said, my hair is such a mess now, chat, because... And get this. It's not even a joke, so I don't know why I said get this. My main hairstylist is hospitalized, and he's not gonna cut hair again. He might not be able to cut hair ever again. Which, I, I, I like, I feel... I feel bad. I do. At the same time, I'm also in panic mode because the last person who cut my hair messed up and I can't find anyone else. I'm scared to find someone else and so my hair has gotten really long again and it's starting to be really messy. So, I'm trying to I'm trying to find a place this week maybe, but uh, I don't know how it's going to go. But yeah, I, I, uh, he's such a cool dude too. Ooh, I hope he gets better. I do. It was pretty insane what he had going on. Your long hair looks good. I'm glad. Like, I, I really appreciate that. It, it's really stubborn, though. That's the issue. Like, it t it's really hard to make it look that good. And most of the time, it, like, looks like ass. You could find someone shady. To, uh, there's a stylist that will work. Yeah, there'll be one. I got recommended one that isn't too far from me, so I'm going to try that. But if not, there's one that's, like, in downtown that's, like, a pretty lengthy ways away. But uh, they seem pretty good. Is that water purple or, or is that... The, I think it's just the, the shading. Anyways, uh, usually there's an enemy up there, like a really special enemy. I don't think I'd fight it anyways. 
It's probably like an eight, like a level 80 or a 90 or something. But I did want to find that area because it gave us experience to level up. So now we can finally go to the Mechonis by following that metal pipe path. That's right, chat. We played so many metal pipe noises that finally we are going to the metal pipe realm. Sweet. Steal yourself. The fight has only just begun. There's no fight. He's just hungry. Ricky tummy rumbling. I'm sorry, Ricky. I don't know why you took the drop like that, homie. You don't have knees to brace for impact. Actually, actually, that probably that probably helps him. Why do we got knees, chat? Do we really need them? <laughs> Pun intended. Do we? But no, really though. Do we? <gasps> grab it, Shulk. Grab the wall. Oh my god, that was scary. Do we really? Do we really need knees? Yes. Nah. No, we don't. That was a trick question. We don't need them, chat. If you say yes, then you're a knee defender. Derogatory, by the way. Absolutely derogatory. To walk. Psh. Look at Ricky. Look at Kirby. All right. Look at these real characters who exist, you know, in, in the mortal plane. All right. Look at him. You think he's struggling without knees? He's the most mentally stable one in the group. Chad has decided. Perhaps, perhaps the root of everyone's depression and stress are kneecaps. Yeah, look at B guy. No knees. Oh. Maybe he has knees you just can't see. Nah. Capping. Capping. All of all of what we see of Ricky is all of who he is. There's no way this man could hide anything more. I say that, but he hid his whole goddamn life story from us. He he actually he didn't. He did it. The game did for a bit. Alright. You guys ready? It's time to storm the Makanis. Next stream. But at least we're gonna go in there and I wanna show you the, um, you, you gotta hear the song. Meow, 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 meow. Well, enjoy the view, cause uh we uh we're leaving the Bionis pretty damn far. Goodbye, home. I say is I might be able to teleport for gem crafting next stream, but uh, goodbye, home. That's so cool, man. I love the views in this game. The progression is wild. Yeah. We come a long way from the shoe all the way there, all the way up to the head, down the arm, past the sword, down here. Oh, man. We've done a lot. Yeah, sure has been a bit. World design uh, in these games are next to none. I agree. I think this is my favorite, like, world design. Yeah, Suka, we, 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 we traveled that entire body back there. Oh, it's so different. Seeing them from this kind of perspective. Yeah. We cannot see it from here. But our people are still fighting up there. It's difficult to believe that two such huge things ever fought each other. But why? I wonder how the Machina felt at the time. Must have been horrible. Yeah, Scary sounded too. Sounded like a genocide, honestly. Fear robs us of reason. Out of fear, we commit terrible atrocities. And call them acts of self-preservation. Oh. Fear gives rise to more fear. A never-ending circle of hatred. Perhaps that circle can be broken. Fear. It must be what's driving this. What's made Egil act this way. Interesting perspective. Oh. What does he fear? What could our boy Egil... Man capable of killing all Homs. Fear. Also, why did she have those red eyes? Hmm. Kind of like, uh, I don't know. I've seen eyes like that before in this game. Certain, certain lights. Left leg cooling outlet. All right, here we go, everyone. Yes, here's the song. Here's the song. I'm turning it up. This is one of my favorite songs of all time. I've been waiting. I made sure to not tease it to you all. Here we go. We travel inside the Makanis. Remember, this thing's like the oldest thing, one of the oldest things in this universe. It's kind of sick to see it. Yeah, you just wait till the beat kicks in, man.
Makanis Field. Yes, the field of the Makanis is just a factory looking ass place. Which kind of makes sense. Oh no, the music! Okay, we're, hang on, give it a bit. Give it a we're bit. We're inside the Makonis. Let me turn it back down. Just a little bit. how I imagined it. It's all totally mechanical. It ain't gonna be easy getting up this thing. Egil is at the top. Yep. Next stream, we're climbing the entire Makonis. All right, back to the music. Let's try that again. Let's try that again, because we're saving like right around here, anyways. But yeah, all the way. Oh, hang on. Let's let's see if we can see all the way up. All the goddamn way. You can't even see the top, but we're, we're gonna get up there. Legitimately. Because the progression uh, in this game does not stop being cool. Good. Thank you, Ricky. Alright, yeah. I'll stand right here and hear the music. Here comes the beats. Coming in. Mm. Very Mitsuda sounding, honestly. It's time to save real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let it cook. Let it cook. What a chill song for this area, though, you know? Not to sound pretentious, but, uh, you know, definitely think about that when we're in the enemy base and it's playing this song. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on, though. Hang on, though. Let him cook. Let them cook. Oh, oh, it's coming. It's coming. Let's go. Ricky's dead. Whew. such a good beat. Oh, I wish I could groove more. I'm so damn tired, though, but uh, I'd be grooving. I'd be dancing right now to this. Mm. God, it's so good. This gives me, like, a retro JRPG vibe. It feels like the old days. Xenoblade just goaded. Okay, the names got weird, chat. We have things like Zebra and Grunt. The zebras don't exist in this game, chat. It's just fun wording. Oh, the reverse noises? Woo! Mm. Mm. But wait, but wait, we got the dun 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 dun. Wait for it, wait. Mm. God, that synth is so good. It's so clean. But wait, chat, they do the tried and true. They reel them in with that harmony. Synth gets a harmony. At some point. Come on, where is it? Does it play in the new version? I can't remember, but we're reeling them in either way. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. There you go. That's pretty much the whole song. It is fantastic. Uh, Jenny, one of my favorite things about your shit is how excited you get about music. It just makes you feel happy. Also makes me excited too. It's so contagious. <laughs> uh, uh, that makes me happy to hear. Like, I also, I also, it makes me feel nice because like, it, it feels nice that knowing that after making music my job, I can still enjoy music as much as I do. I, I, I always had this fear that that was like the one thing that would like actually start going away. Uh, but nah, you hear a banger, it just gets you going. And like every little thing, every little synth in there was just fantastic. It's just, oh. So if you guys can come along the ride and enjoy that too, then that makes me happy. And yes, that react stream will happen one day, chat. I promise. It's just, you know, I've been busy. But uh, I would love to. I want to do some song analysis stuff with y'all soon. Anyways, chat. Uh, let's do art. If you're new here, it's late now, so I assume most people are in bed. But if you're new here uh, at the end of every single stream we do have a fan art segment chat does draw things for the stream uh for the games that we play the jokes that we make or just stuff uh involving me or shady cicada lore in general um we play some chill music while we go through it so i'm gonna do that in just a second we also have a discord you can type exclamation mark discord in the chat whether you're a lurker or not or this is a vod you can just go to my twitch chat 
and uh, type exclamation mark discord. You'll get a link. And uh, yeah, lurkers are welcome. Uh, in that discord, you get to know when I go live. Uh, you can talk about video games, anime, whatever. Just be cool. And um, yeah, make sure you read the rules. And uh, you can submit stream art. There's a stream art channel. If you submit art in there, I will show it on stream. But like I said, just make sure it's related to either me or a joke we made or the stream itself or uh, the games that we are playing or have played in the past. Don't draw something in like five seconds for attention on MS Paint like a stick man saying, ah, favorite example. Uh, and you can submit up to five pieces of art per stream. That is your maximum, but yeah, it's per stream. That's that's a lot. It's a lot. There's also a channel called Your Art to submit your own original art, and one for music as well. So feel free to join. Speech over. Time for art. I have not played SCR 99 yet, by the way. I don't think anyone asked, but I have not played it yet. I hear it's really fun and addicting, though. I would like to try it. Okay, I'm starving. I'm tired. I am going to eat a lot of stuff, <laughs> digest it, and then properly pass out. But let's get some uh, let's get some let's get some tunes. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. One minute here. You've been playing it a bit, it do be fun. Yeah, it, it looks like I I was watching uh Vinny Vinesauce play it. And uh if you guys don't know when Vinny Vinesauce plays games, it's it's it, he either has like the most amazing skills or he fumbles in the funniest way. I guess that's kinda like me. But um he uh versus like computers, not even like actual players, uh he took the wrong turn. And uh, when he realized he took the wrong turn and was going backwards, he was like, all right, I'll just get hit by all the cars coming towards me and die. And every single, like all 98 cars jumped over him and he didn't die. He just had to sit there. Uh, that was <laughs> that was wild. That that alone made me want to play the game because I was like, that's just, that's just the vibe right there. My God, I need to live that vibe. All right. Nintendo Radio is on. Oh, God. Nintendo Radio is on. Oh, nope. There we go. All right. Excuse me a minute here. So it finally got me to get a Switch Online subscription. No way. You know what? That's a that's a good sign. Because this is definitely Nintendo's way of testing the waters for a new F-Zero game. 100%. And if people are buying the online just to go play that, like, if that, if they can, you know, realize that and it translates over to them, uh, we, we, we might be cooking with a new F-Zero as well. Okay. Give me one minute here. I need to see where I'm starting. Because I think there was stuff uploaded during the week or whatever that I was gone. I don't know how much of it... I don't know how much of it I actually, like, really missed. I'm just gonna... Oh, you know what? I missed quite a... Holy shit. Holy shit. How, how much art do we got tonight? Holy shit. Okay. Okay. I think, um, okay, let me just make sure I load this up. I showed this one today, and I believe I showed this one on stream, but I'm going to show it again because I love Nana and their art, and I love Uwu because uh, she's my wife. Yeah, I think we did look at, I think we did look at this one with the balloon girl who is in love with balloon guy. We, we did, yeah, okay, yeah, we did have that, and the sword being earth shaker. So cool. Cool references all around, and, uh... Uh, also, uh, hi. Sorry, hi with Riz. I had to do it that way because, uh, well, you know why. Very, very good. That was last stream. Okay, so the next piece of art's the new one then, which, oh my god, this is funny. From my mom said it's my turn on. They said definitely not using fan art as a mean of procrastinating. That's okay, I do the same with other shit. They said it's Flogard from the direct playing the trombone. He is trying to force the process and is bending the trombone. Oh my god, he's playing trombone champ from the direct. When, oh my god. <laughs> you know, from far, it I thought he was crying. From far. I, I, I realize it's like his hair. I thought he was actually crying at one point. That would actually be such a hilarious addition too, but that is fantastic. Very, very good. The muscle work's absolutely insane too. I could see him bending the notes out of like sheer will. Like he could physically bend the music notes if he wants to. I also see him bending the trombone, unfortunately. Um... He might just, like, push too hard on that thing and just destroy it. But really good, my turn. That is super funny. Super well done. And, uh, how in the world did you think of Flogger playing Trombone Champ? Either way, you blessed us with this. Very, very good work. Um. 
Suspicious cinnamon, nice. What's good? Well, welcome in, Lucky Tragedy. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. We made it to the fan art segment, so I'll be ending soon. But uh, it's good to have you along. Hope you have a good time here nonetheless, man. It's always good to see him. Uh, next up comes from Nana Desart. We got Chat Chan. Once again, if you guys don't know Chat Chan, it's another OC character. But Chat Chan is literally uh, you guys as an anime girl. It's basically a character that represents all of you. So if there's like a moment where like Chat did a thing, people usually draw this character to represent you guys doing that. Um, but I'm going to open the picture first and then read the lore. I have to say, so far out of all the character sheets that you've been like making, Nana, this is probably my favorite design of all of them so far. Like... I think I said so far a million times, but this looks really, really good. And there's kind of like a retro anime vibe to it with like the face and the hair. But man, she's pretty. That is such a sick fit. And the color scheme. Oh my god. Composer wand. Um, Nana does have some lore uh, here. Um, here's Twitch Chat Chan. Chathaniel, if you will. They ran away with the party from their evil mother, Twitch themselves. <laughs> she's the composer of the group, uh, but she also creates album covers. The grimoire is empty, but it's actually a book with infinite pages, which is perfect for chat because they have infinite ideas. That is clever, but also just the cutest thing ever. That's great. That is that is so, so clever. Infinite ideas, that's true. Her strongest spell is Hype Train. 5 a.m. edit. It says Thitch, not Twitch. Just percent it, it says Twitch. You know, because I'm on the 6 a.m. brain, I didn't notice you typed... Th you, you wrote... Fitch, but that's amazing. No, for real though, Nana, this is honestly, and I say this a lot with you because you always improve and stuff, but like, this is seriously one of your best works, in my opinion. Um, one of these days when I'm able to make prints, I, I, hang, can you hang on to these files, please? Because one of these days, I'd actually like really love if like I, I got to have these characters, like a print for like myself, like in my room to hang up when I move out. I would love prints of all of these characters. Um, they're just all so good. Really, really well done. I can't get over this one. Also, I'm shrimping. Sorry, chat. You just happen to be really pretty. <laughs> nah, real talk, though. Very, very good work. Um, Next up... Oh, no, oh my god. No way! Uh, next up comes from Solar Symphony. They said, I'm too excited about this that even though it's a work in progress still, I gotta show off where I've stopped for the night. Largely making things up as I go while trying to retain the vibes I caught from the music and video descriptions, having a lot of fun with it. Now, I'm going to give context to that. They've been making Aurelia art. Their interpretation of how the characters look and how the story might be going, that is very, very cool. That is real, and I really like the designs. I like the the protag design, the protag design in the front, by the way. Like really, really cool hair and everything too. And they have like that, you know, that whole like thing where it's like if you recognize them behind a silhouette, you have yourself a good character design. I feel like you can do that with all of these characters. Also, Nintendo, that's funny, but really, really good job. I love that you gave it the SNES like JRPG vibe as well, because like definitely that's that's like, that's like the vibe in my brain. Um, by the way, by the way, um. Aurelia art, I, I didn't mention this, I have to make an announcement about it, but Aurelia art is fully allowed um, because it might help give me ideas for this story as well. Like, I, I do have, like, the main story beats in my head now after, like, improvising the first two uh, videos. Um, I, I, I had, I, or after after doing the first video, I kind of had this idea, hence the whole weird barrier thing that I was talking about, the voice thing, but um, I, the next one is going to have a description for the main character. And... Um, yeah, yeah, anyone can feel free to make some art. By the way, even if I have a description, you can feel free to make the characters however you want. You can make them identify as whatever they want, look however they want. That's fine. I have the one in the descriptions. You can go along with that. You can go along with your own interpretation from how you hear the songs. It's up to you. What's Aurelia? So I have um, on my YouTube, I've been making... I, I, I've, I have a challenge or like a project where I'm basically trying to make a... JRPG soundtrack, like a full video game RPG soundtrack for a game that doesn't exist. I made it up myself. I've been imp improvising the story with each video. There's only two videos so far, but in every video, there's going to be a description of the story as it goes through. And I'm just going to improvise the songs in the story until I get to the end. Um, so yeah, that, that's what this is based on off the two uh, videos so far. And very, very cool. Why do I know this song? Hang on. Ah, Delta Rune, that's why. Um... Seriously, though, this is excellent, and I, I love seeing this. I'm so glad you did this, and I cannot wait to see how it looks when it's done. This is a work in progress. I forgot about that. It already looks done to me, in, in, like, in a sense, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, please, please share this when, uh, when, when you are finished, Solar Symphony. Take your time, obviously, but um, I would love to see it. 
Okay. Description. As soon as I met, because like this is the hard part. It's like trying to make this character's theme because I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. But uh, you'll definitely get the descriptions. I'll tell you this at, at the very least. Um, there are three main characters and it like stays like that. But th maybe there'll be more as I go along with it. But so far, I have three in mind. And yes, there is a himbo character. Because <laughs> I had to have one. I had to have at least one. All right. Um, next up. <laughs> Bruh. These look like they're from the show, Retro. What the hell? Uh, re from Retro Ghosteria. They said, uh, welcome back to... I made way too many cosplays. It's a This one's Adventure Time themed. Here's Balloon Guy. As... There's three of them. This is him as Jake the dog, which legit looks like it's just from the show. That's just his face. Like, very good job drawing that, uh, Retro. Because that is, like, legit, legit just Jake's face from the thing. You also gave him the dog tail. Very, very cute. Very, very well done. Yeah, Jake could literally become this form. <laughs> you know? So those who don't know, by the way, like, I'm, I'm a huge, um... I'm a huge Adventure Time fan. I have still not seen the final few episodes, though, somehow. I managed to do that. Because I think I want to, like, rewatch some stuff and then watch it. Because I know, like, the Fiona and Cake series is coming out. And uh, from the looks of it, it's looking like it might be connected to Adventure Time and not just AU. Um, so I'm very, very excited to see what's going to go on with that. Um, so we got to catch up. We do have more. We have Bimo, which, honestly, best character. And you just called him B-Guy. Oh, my God. That's just... That's just... It's so simple it's right there but it's so clever at the same time he just is b guy <laughs> and i honestly like bmo gives me b guy vibes in terms of like overall mood and how he just like or how they act um i feel like b guy has like a very similar kind of like vibe going on very very well done on that and finally of course we have we have finn um looking great even got the teeth accurate my god that's fantastic. Also, I, 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 I can never get over how great, like, Finn's hat is. It's, it's, it's so, it's so, like, goofy and adorable. Do you guys remember that first episode when Finn, like, finally took off his hood? And he had, like, the most, like, luscious blonde hair ever? That shit was the most hilarious reveal. But the lore was insane. Um, really, really good job, Retro. Lovely, lovely group of three. And, uh... Seriously, I love this. I, I love Adventure Time. Thank you for doing this. Uh, you got to do a Marcel uh, Marceline now. Marceline was my favorite. Marshall Lee. I wanted to cosplay Marshall Lee because I'm like, I'm literally right there. I have like, I don't have like pale vampire skin, but I had like the hair. I have my plaid. I play guitar. I like red. <laughs> I could be Marshall Lee, maybe. I, 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 I pretty much dress like him anyways. Um, Speaking of me in red... Next up, oh my sweet god, this is awesome. Next up comes from Nana Dazart. Um, they said, Fantasy Shady returns from his own 2023 redesign. A guitarist, let me show it first. A guitarist who was bestowed a legendary instrument by the spirit of the Woodwood Forest. The goal is to stop villain son, uh, in brackets, John Violence, question mark, from reviving the spite tree and destroying all life as we know it. Yeah, I'm starting to think villain son and, and John Violence might be like the same person. Um, also, yo, the, the lore? You're bringing back the old Spite Tree Woodwood lore? Let's go. Along with B-Guy, Shady also teams up with his own friends, Chat Chan, Uwu, Flogard, and Algonquin Jerry. I, I'm so glad you brought back AJ as well. That's one that, like, a lot of people here are not gonna know. So, like, uh, I will, I will re, I will retell them it once again. Also, I have to say, the way you wrote out my name is, like, super logo-worthy. Like, let's just start there. I would use that as a logo. <laughs> in fact, like, keep that. Keep that on you somewhere. I might ask you in the future sometime. I'm trying to save up for more commission stuff for merch stuff eventually, but um, hang on to all of these things, honestly. Uh, we have guitarist and music composer, certified bug man, honorary cat boy. I, ha I hate you. Never mind. Never mind. Delete it all. I'm kidding. Uh, proficient in axes and swords. Good. Good. That that's what I like. Him and chat can be found in the kitchen at 7 a.m. <laughs> Gummy worm enjoyer. Uwu's future husband. Crippling addiction to sweets. Oh my god, it's me. Literally me. There's a drawing of Balloon Guy on his hand. I'm too lazy to show it. That's fine. The hand in the pocket is also how I pose. Uh, sword can be unsheathed from guitar. That's so cool, man. Uh, magic strings crafted by chat. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, look, they're like pink. That's dope. Legendary guitar that formerly resided in the Woodwood Forest. Balloon Guy, taco shaped. Shady's trusty partner, lover of soup. It's true. He does love soup. I can't even deny that lore. <laughs> B Guy likes soup, chat. 
And the funny part is, I'm pretty sure, like, chat was, like, joking about it, but I'm the one who, like, actually said, yeah, that's canon. Um, this is lovely. I love this outfit so goddamn much. To the point where I, like, I, I want to cosplay this shit. I want to dress up like your goddamn designs and, like, you know. I also want to be, like, I also want to cosplay Flogard. Um, but really, really damn good job. Actually, funny enough, that's how my hair looks right now. Kinda. Um, shit, Nana. For real, like, uh, like uh, honest to God, you have gotten so, so good over the years. And it's so fun to see you do these redesigns. Because I remember how the old ones looked. I have them saved. Um, I show them to friends every once in a while just so they can, like, get in on that, like, lore. So it's really, really cool to see these. Um, and I, oh, man. I just look forward to your stuff. Just really good, Nana. You should honestly be really proud of yourself and all that you do. Speaking of which, I should have stopped the praise... I should have paused the praise because there is, the, the next piece is from Nana as well. Um, we have AJ, the legend, and his trusty pal, Woodwood. Oh shit, you gave him Woodwood. Okay, let's go. So, to those who don't know the lore of this guy, which by the way, sick design, right? He's like the proto Flogard. He's like Flogard before Flogard. And uh, I, I, the meme started off really dumb. I was like, yo, Algonquin Jerry, he could, like, the original lore was... He could hold an arrow in his hand. He doesn't shoot it with a bow. He could just throw an arrow around the curvature of the earth and still snipe someone. Um, but eventually, he kind of went it like he he got built up into his own character, and it turns out he's Uwu's older brother. Um, so oh wait a minute, that is an arrow. Jesus Christ, that that's an arrow. The javelin's an arrow. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm losing it. Oh my god, you actually did it. It took me a bit. I didn't read. I didn't read it. I looked for a second and then I saw Nana's like kappa face in chat and I'm like, wait a minute. Oh my god, reading comprehension. Let's go. Not a javelin, but a huge arrow that was likely used by giants. Oh my god. A guardian. Oh, that's actually a sick lore, by the way. That's a cool way to say. It. That's a cool reason for him to have a giant ass arrow. Guardian of the Woodwood Forest and full time woodcutter, Uwu's older brother. Flogard's longtime rival and mentor. Wait, is that mentor or mental? <laughs> I think it's mentor. <laughs> mental would be hilarious. He's just like, you drive me crazy. But you're kind of cool. I don't get it. Uh, prefers spicy food. Yo, same. Serious dude and rarely relaxes. Keeps the party from getting TPK'd. Can <laughs> get this chat. You ready for this? I don't know what that means. The, 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 the. The, 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 the poop canoe. The poop kazooed. Three poop kazoos. Total pock out. Total pissy knockout. Uh, the total party kill. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, getting TPK'd by a boulder. There we go. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Keeps from getting killed by a boulder. Physical strength runs in the family. Yeah, no kidding. Who was a goddamn freak with it? I mean that in the most affectionate way ever, by the way. Uh, and then we have Woodwood, who looks very cute. Spirit of the forest, Bee Guy's BFF. Originally didn't have a hat or balloon. Both items originally belonged to Bee Guy. Oh man, that's cute. Woodwood hasn't let go of them ever since. Yo. <laughs> Wait, that's actually really cute lore. And it's it's tied to his branch. It's tied to his branch. AKA the reason why B guy has a blue hat and a red balloon. Oh, that's sick lore. That's sick lore. A balloon guy would too. You know? That is perfect. Very good. And also, yeah, Algonquin Jerry looking good. We need more like I think you've you, you have drawn it a few times, but we need more rivalry art of these two like fighting. Oh man, this AU is this, this is a sick AU. And and of course we do have a banner of the whole thing. I, by the way, I haven't even reached the Xenoblade stuff yet. That's how much, like, sick art we have tonight. I just gotta take my time with it. But, of course, we have me. Oh, you actually have the class names and stuff, eh? Zealot? Zealot? Zealot, yeah. Light Magic, Axe Swords, Witch, Warrior, Dark Knight, Gladiator, Lionheart, and the Little Scrims. <laughs> their, their class? Scrimblo. I will not take anything else. That is the one shoehorn in lore. Um, But this is fantastic. Really, really good. And there's the banner. <laughs> this I, I got got to get that shit printed, and I also like the order. Like the first four also gives me emotions because the first four is the party from uh, Metopia. 
and uh, it's just it's just nice to see them together again. It's been a while, but everyone here looks absolutely lovely. Very very good. Imagine an RPG with these characters, Metopia. <laughs> that we did have one, we did have one, and it's still one of my best streams I think I've ever done, and it was it was it was so good. I honestly wish a lot of you newbies were here for it, because I think you would have really really enjoyed it. But. One day I'll go back. And I'll be uploading the VODs anyways for it. So, uh, you'll get to experience it yourself. And you'll get to see why these characters are so beloved in the community. Anyways, VOD win soon. I know, I'm, I'm so damn slow. I'm sorry, chat. I, I was supposed to do it, like, last weekend. And then, like, those doctor appointments came up and it just bummed me out. But soon, chat. Soon. Anyways, if you got more art, give me a minute here, please. Next up comes from, my mom said it's my turn on. They said, Shady Cicada, quote-unquote, Cicada. Shady Cicada Cicada. It's me, as a Cicada boy, playing guitar. Just being me. And you know what? That's actually kind of a sick design. You know, I thought it was going to be... Like, I by reading that alone, I was like, hey, this might be cursed. That actually kind of works. That actually kind of works really well. I never actually thought about me being infused with a Cicada like this. But you know what? I, it kind of... For lack of a better word, it kind of flies. Man. Really, really good job on this. I, I like the addition of the wings and stuff, too. I was just like the grungly like antenna and stuff. Because it, it, it also looked kind of like devil horns in a way. And I really like devil horns. That's why I always pick tieflings in Baldur's Gate. Don't judge. Um, But this is sick. Really good stuff. I, I also love the hoodie. Actually, that inspired me. I'll make this exact hoodie on the merch store. <laughs> Um, because they do have this color scheme. Or like that, the the sleeve color being different. Very, very good job. Um, I love this. Excellent stuff. Negative 500? Nah, I'm funny as hell. I'm funny as hell. Looks just like you. It's true. With the wings and everything. You guys want to hear my wings? Hang on, I can play it for you. Hang on one sec. Did you hear it? All right, new art. Next up's from Retro. They said just wanted to make it because of boredom, and we got ourselves just a little balloon guy. <laughs> he's surprised. He, he, you know what? You know, I'm gonna add lore to this Retro. This is balloon guy when he does a YouTube video. It's he's like doing the pog. There has to be like a red circle somewhere, you know, like uh, uh, calling calling Shady Cicada at 7 a.m. Do not try at home. And he just calls me, and I'm like. What? Yeah. You know, oh my God! Oh my God! Guys, subscribe if you want me to say words to him. S subscribe right now. Subscribe for the iPhone giveaway. Nah, this is really, really cute, Retro. Very, very good work. I love the blush, and just uh, yeah, excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Um. No clickbait. It's not clickbait. It's not clickbait. Click on the video. Um, next up comes from Ink Apparition. They said, they said, totally not a porn artist hiding in chat. No, no. The reason I read that out loud is because I I'm here to tell you, Ink Apparition, you're actually not the only one. There's actually quite a few. That's totally fine. We don't judge. Honestly, honestly, if you can draw all that, it, it, uh, I, I, I believe in, I believe in anatomy. If, if, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It probably means you're really damn good. Um, but from Ink Apparition, we have, I actually don't know. Oh, 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 you did it. You did it. You drew Uwu. You even drew the little Uwu balloon girl. And you drew the cinnamon sheep. Oh, let's go. You promised and you delivered. Also, I, I love the way you drew it. This is so cute. I also love like the little tiny like cinnamon sheep in the hand. Very, very, very good work. And super cute. I always love when someone's like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna goddamn do it. And then they do it. No, nah, no nose on here. I support Uwu here. I would, I too would eat the cinnamon sheep. It's adorable, right? It's super, super cute. And I believe this is Ink's uh, first piece of art. In fact, I believe this was their first stream. So I know they're not here anymore, but if they do catch the VOD, uh, welcome in Ink. And uh, lovely, lovely first piece of art. Feel free to submit more, you know, anytime you feel. And there's also, a, a, you know, a Your Art channel where you could submit stuff as well to just show off. Um, so, yeah, you did great, and I cannot wait to see more. I, I also think I accidentally reacted to the picture, but I'm going to leave the react there, so. <laughs> I meant to, like, open it. Um, yeah, very good job. I'm eating that sheep. Well, I mean, well, hang on a minute. There might be a second course. 
you might be eating more than you think because the next piece fart comes from suka sugar suka in chat and he said counting a cinnamon bun sheep to give you cinnamon bun dreams i'm so oh man oh look you even got like oh man there's like little like sprinkles of like i almost said seasoning but like the cinnamon on it and oh oh it's so cute look how chill look how chill this goddamn sheep is living in its best living in its best life whatever i'm gonna eat it <laughs> i wanted to like i wanted to really like dap this sheep sheep up and talk about how cute it is but honest honestly i just want to like hold it and just bite into its back <laughs> rip to that sheep yeah i'm sorry suki you made it too delicious and adorable and i love a, a delicious adorable sweets um so i guess say goodbye to your creation but at the same time this is so lovely you did an amazing amazing job on this and i love the colors i love the lighting and everything shout out to suka once again just just uh top of his game right here jesus christ um i will i will eat god i'm gonna eat both of these cinnamon sheep now if you draw a cinnamon sheep it's mine i'm sorry chat but i technically i saw them first actually technically the people in the discord saw them first but still they're mine i'm eating all these cinnamon sheep how may, where might I acquire one? Where can we get this done? I guess wherever we do it, we ended up in prison for trying to make one of these. But still, I'm tempted. Bro literally cooked. I'm saying. I'm saying. But really, like seriously, great work. And shit, I might buy some cinnamon bun now. I'm so glad when, when my like dumb little jokes end up becoming like really amazing art. But yeah, you know, all about complimenting, you know, Suka. I always love having you around here, and I love seeing your art. It's always really, really cool to see you do just about anything, because uh, it always blows me and everyone away. So please keep doing what you do, because uh, I will fight you if you don't. I mean, unless you really are comfortable, like, if it makes you uncomfortable to draw at some point. But you know what I mean. Like, I'll fight you. I'll, I'll fight. I'm just going to fight you in general. <laughs> uh, next up comes from QB. Someone else will fight if they stop. Uh, they said it's almost spooky month, so have a spooky balloon guy. This goes hard. Once again, QB's been doing this like really cool shading. I, I know QB's done this for a few other pieces of art, and I've really, really loved it. Um, QB just goes hard on designs just in general of like scrimblows and just like actual monster designs and stuff too. I always praise it, but very, very, very good work here. I also love how the balloon itself is ghost shaped. That is very, very nice. And and QB, if you manage to hear this, um, I would love to make this starting soon art. If you if you uh, if you are fine with that, this would be a great starting soon screen for um, for Spooky Month, which is you know literally next week. Yeah, you know, or an album cover. Yeah, honestly, it works for either. Like, I could use I, technically I could use it for both. Although I'd 100% pay for that. Which actually, oh shit, I have to message QB about something like tonight. Um, but yeah. Excellent, excellent work. He also kind of looks like a dumpling. I kind of want to eat him too. Oh, God. I got to get some food before I eat all my friends. All my little scrimblow friends. Very, very good work, QB. As always, dude. And finally, you're not going to believe this, chat. The final piece of art ever. No, I'm kidding. It's just for tonight. From Nana Does Art. They said Tomodachi Life shenanigans plus some Hiptum sprinklies. We really got to go back to Tomodachi Life. We really do. But here's some stuff from Tomodachi Life stuff going on here. Um, but we also have uh, Aster. Waiting for Mono to come back. Wait, who's Aster again? Uh, uh, Nana? Or is this like a new... Is this a new... Th you have a kid? You have a kid with Flogurt in your game? Oh my god. That's right. That's right. Okay, that's right. So, Nana went and had a kid with Flogurt in their, in their playthrough. That's what's going on here. Um, o hasn't been born yet, but we have Arya and Apollo, which are my two kids. <laughs> Mine and Uwu's two kids. I love the designs. Look at them. Look at them. If you've never seen the OC, like, children of me and Uwu, uh, the one on the left, her name is Arya. The one on the right, his name is Apollo, I believe. And he's, like, super chill. Arya's the one who's, like, a little gremlin. Um, I love it. There's also an Owo, and Owo's fun. Because when he gets mad, he gains two more eyes and becomes, like, demonic. And then he becomes, oh, oh, with, like, more O's. No child yet. Wait, y'all dated Jerry? Oh, my God. Chat, how many kids do you want? Also suggest names. All right, chat, go off. Also, that drawing of Chat Chan is really, really cute. Actually, all of these faces are amazing. These are all super emote or, like, profile pick worthy. Shit. 
<laughs> I just might. Nah, but like, for, for real though, these are fantastic. We also have balloon. <gasps> oh, hold on. I found the picture of all time. Give me a minute, please. Yo, hello? Hello? <laughs> Am I the only one seeing this? Hello? I've never, I don't think he's ever gotten a kiss on the cheek from, from another hip tum. That's adorable. I love that. I love that very much. Very good there. Old birthday doodle. I turned 24 on September 21st. I just uh, found this out just now and thought it was cute. Wait, what? Yo, seriously? Oh, hang on a minute then. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Nah, you earned, you earned it tonight. Hang on. All right, you ready? All right. You get the evil happy birthday. No, I'm kidding. Happy birthday. That's how it goes, right? There you go. Happy happy belated, Nana. What the hell? Damn, you're old. <laughs> old ass. Old age. Have an ass. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I like to do that to anyone who's younger than me. Um, But very, very, very uh, good work here as well. I love all these designs. I, I, I didn't check the right side, though, real quick. I also love Flogard's pose here, by the way. It's sick. It's sick. Thanks for giving them the yellow eyes, too. Um, Trying not to laugh. You can't even see me in this one. Oh, <laughs> Algonquin Jerry tall as shit. My God. He really has like cool ass lumberjack energy with like other stuff going on. I love that chat chan face though. That's fantastic. It gives me like a Wind Waker vibe with those eyes. But uh, th oh, God, the expressions are so nice in this. Very, very good. Very good. But yeah, uh, if any VOD watchers see this, uh, please uh, name a child and uh, name how say how many kids you want. And then name some children that you could have with Algonquin Jerry. Do it. Um, but very, very good work, as always. And, uh, yeah. No, it's genuinely insane. Whole ass Nana showcase tonight, and I'm very happy with it. You did amazing work. And, um, well. That's a, a hundred kids? Damn. Y'all want to beat Ricky's record, huh? <laughs> That's a... That's a tough feat, chat. I want to say I believe in you, but I'm also concerned. I am concerningly believing you. Also, once again, you know, thank you to Ann King for this wonderful starting soon screen. It's so good for late night starting soon streams. That being said, it's actually over. <laughs>